all been patiently waiting for. Uh, Today's Opie and Anthony show starts now. This is Larry King welcoming you to the Opie and Anthony show right here on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Isn't it brilliant? Forget it. The thing's out of control. Out of control. Great guests, interesting interviews, and of course, your phone calls as well. It gets my nipples hard, you know what I mean, son? Are you out of your mind? It's not the most talked about, not the most written about, and certainly not the most listened to show in the history of radio, but I'm still proud to enter it. Oh, you're going to have a ball. Yeah, yeah, good lads. America's most trusted name in news, the Opie and Anthony radio show. <laughs> Let's welcome our hosts, Opie and Anthony. By the way, who's Jim Norton? Hi, everybody. Hello. A very good morning to everybody uh, listening to the program. It's the Opie and Anthony show, uh, of course, unless you erroneously turn... On this uh, channel, yes. hoping to get something that Sam Roberts uh, is usually hosting, right. which is every other channel on the platform. Yeah. And this one. And this one. Yeah. Uh, Sam Roberts, I guess, in for the vacation in Greg Opie Hughes. That's right. Uh, <laughs> as they do on the news. I like when they do that. they got to tell the person that uh, is on vacation. they got to tell everybody. <laughs> Uh, and, of course, uh, Jimmy Norton. I am here. The angry uh, Jimmy Norton that, that has been written about in uh, oh, newspapers. And yes. <laughs> oh, it made you sound so angry. I was. It was, it was accurate. I do I think she... I 
the, that I, I, she said that I didn't agree with was that the audience was horrified. Yeah, when I read that part, uh, but she had a heckler problem at yeah. uh, the cellar, and you laid into the hecklers, and uh, they, uh, the guy was being this passive-aggressive asshole that was coming back at you with shit, and you just completely shredded him because that's what you do, and uh, what he does is, is be an asshole, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, and, and they wound up leaving. Yeah, and they, but they were, you know, it's funny, like, she started up this, I think we talked about this last week, but I walked down, the minute I walked out, I said, yeah, I'm going to Salt Lake City this week, mm -hmm. and she yelled something like, boo, or whoa, she made a noise, and then I played with her a little bit, and she's like, oh, don't go, so we joked a little bit, and then I think she got offended, and that's when her boyfriend got mad, so he was just talking the whole time after she left, and I was nice to her, Yeah, I didn't, t I didn't call her a bitch, or a, I didn't curse at her, anything, and so I finally said to him, like, hey, you know, I'm, I think I was talking about prostitution, of course. And I'm like, uh, hey, uh, you know, we're doing important stuff up here. Like, we'll just shut him up politely. It's like, I'm, right. I'm not trying to be too rough. And then he goes, sorry, you're just not funny. You're boring. Like, the, the paper, and again, the, the reporter was in the audience. I think she was seeing it actually as an audience member. So maybe she was horrified. She might not have ever seen that interaction before. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she said that the guy said, uh, I just don't find this funny. Which makes it almost sound like I asked him, hey, what did you, what, why are you talking? Why aren't you uh, laughing? Then I deserve it if I say, why aren't you laughing? Yeah. But I didn't say that. And he goes, you're just boring. He was being aggressive. He wasn't mm. just answering a question. And I fucking buried him. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> of course. I'm, fuck him. I was so <laughs> aggravated because he had that stupid passive aggressive smile. Ugh. It's like, I'm not your fucking wife. Yeah. You don't argue with me like that. And he goes, he goes what are you, angry? Oh, like, hey, really? look at what I did. Look, oh, look at the comedian. He's all angry now that I... Oh, shut up. What do you think? You're 15 and I'm your mommy? Yeah. Oh, I, I really, really set out to show him the error of his ways. <laughs> and I, I was saying that he should get out because I'm like, why would you sit there if you didn't like it? Yeah. And then that force... When you say that to somebody, that forces them to realize, okay, why am I not leaving? Mm -hmm. I didn't say get him out. He's being disruptive. I was like, why the fuck are you just sitting there then? Why don't you just leave if you don't like it? Go outside. I wasn't saying go home. I was saying go outside. Yeah, yeah. Be a man. If you don't want to watch this, go. Yeah, you and, don't uh, have to sit here and uh, enjoy the yeah. unfunny comic. Yeah. Uh, and I knew he was only mad because of what happened with me and his girlfriend. That's course. why I got so angry. Because it was like, if I would have known it was going to be like this with you two assholes, I would have taken the gloves off immediately. Yeah. But it's like, you can't heckle and then be confrontational about it and wonder why somebody bites your head off. This is, but this is what this country is. People are such fucking babies, they can't handle consequences. If you're in a comedy club, and you're being rude and then confrontational, whatever happens, all bets are off. And it's nothing new. No. It's not like any new ground was being broken there. You're in a comedy club, you open your yap, you're going to get fucking assassinated. You should. As you sit there, uh, unless the comic stinks. But um, obviously, we've all seen Jim Norton in action, and uh, wow, that can get ugly when a heckler decides to uh, be an asshole. With the, I, I'm sorry. I, what, what I liked was that she printed the the one thing I liked. The reporter did a lot was they they did contact me. Yeah, and she which did, they never do. It's they amazing. never do. They always say they're going to and they don't. Yeah. But she did, and then I I emailed her, and uh, she actually printed a good piece of my explanation, which I really liked. Oh, oh, thank you, Trevor. Yeah. Um, it's an ex Norton explained. Uh, She's like, a comedian Jim Norton went ballistic on a patron at the comedy cellar in the village who dared to utter, I don't find this funny. See, again, from an audience member's point of view, mm -hmm. like, that's probably what she heard. She might have been on the other side of the room. Yeah. But it wasn't like, like, he didn't just innocently utter something. Yeah. I don't find this funny. And then you unload. Right. It didn't happen. It, it was a build up to that point. I've had that happen where you'll, you'll hear people talking and you got to be really careful. Mm. Like, you never say to people who are yapping, what are you talking about? Because oh, then boy. you're asking them a question, so they could go, "We don't think you're funny." It's almost like you can't invite that because then you got no complaints. Yeah. But I didn't say that to him. I, he just fucking said it to be aggressive and shitty. And then he goes, "The uh, Opie and Anthony regular attacked the man and his girlfriend <laughs> who talked during his act." Which I wish is it true. was literal. I know. <laughs> you attacked it. just like, like one of those chimps. You ripped his face and balls off. Yeah, I was biting his, his testicles. His thumbs and <laughs> Jimmy just attacked him. He needs a face transplant. I bite his testicles and then he taps my head. He goes, "Easy, easy." And I'm like, "Oh, all right." Then we got along fine. And. Uh, to talk during his act, which they did. He attacked the, he had the duo bounce from the club Wednesday after blasting the pinstriped office puke. I didn't really have him bounce. Right. That's another thing I read and went like, well, no, nah, that, you know, there, there have been people thrown out of fucking sure. clubs. But th that, it seemed like they, you know, 
you didn't give them what they wanted as far as uh, uh, backing down and and uh, I don't think I don't think his attack on you got the result he was hoping for. No. To like, wow, look, I shut that guy up so he could take his girl home and go, ah, boy, I sure showed that comic. He looked like an asshole. You shredded him, and uh, he was embarrassed and had to leave. I think they were embarrassed. They were with another couple. And I don't know. The other couple might have hated me, too. I don't know. But I, I don't know. I think sometimes that will happen where you'll say something, and then you know your people are watching you. Uh -huh. uh, but I never – I don't believe I had them thrown out. I, when I was saying get out if you don't like it. Meaning, don't tell me you don't want to watch this and then watch it, dummy. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Be a man. Yeah, then but leave. Then he could have come back in and finished his drink. I didn't care. But anyway, uh, as, it's a short article. As a couple was escorted out, Norton shouted, I hope you get AIDS and hit by a taxi. <laughs> he continued. <laughs> and, I, and I did say that, but I, I, I said it in the, in the veins of like, right as soon as you leave here. I think I said as soon as you leave here, I hope you get AIDS and hit by a taxi. Right. Which makes it a little bit different because the ludicrousness of that statement. Yes, you can't step out the door AIDS free. Yeah. And then the second yeah. you pass the threshold, you have full-blown AIDS. And then you go, holy shit, I got AIDS. Wham, and a cab hits you. <laughs> but I don't think this is a case. I honestly don't think the reporter is being shitty. I think that she's just she's going from what she remembered yeah. as an audience member. And then, and then uh, I said, uh, I would fuck his girlfriend. <laughs> I actually said it to her. She, 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 was just, I, she wanted to throw a drink on me because she was standing there looking at me. And I'm like, look, all kidding aside, I would fuck you. And the fucking <laughs> place went nuts. And I'm like, believe me, I would do it better than him. And I, as she was like, oh Jesus! And then she slammed me with something. Uh, I said something about how great my tongue was. I'd eat it. The place was fucking going crazy. And then she said, "You probably just have a good tongue because your dick doesn't stay hard." And I, was, I was like, "You know what? She has a point." Um, so it actually, you know, I actually kind of liked her. Uh, and then it said, uh, and this is where I really like this reporter. She said, "Norton explained to us in an email, I would never slam somebody that hard unless they were being obnoxious pigs. He was every passive aggressive mid level office puke I've ever encountered, and it felt good to slam him." I hope you get AIDS and hit by a taxi or obviously things that would never happen back to back as soon as a person walks out of the comedy <laughs> cellar, but it was fun to say anyway. They were disruptive and then conf confrontational and they got what they deserved. Yeah, that is what I said to her. So I like the fact that she printed that because uh, a lot of times they won't do it. They'll just make you look like an, an asshole. And but, uh, yeah. that's my explanation for it. Yeah, they'll say shit like, you know, uh, uh, we tried to contact Jim Norton. Yeah. Efforts to contact. And meanwhile, they never did. But uh, yeah, that's cool. You were able to actually get your own words in there. And she was a gossip columnist. It's not like it's it's not like the Tracy Morgan thing where this is page three. Yeah, gossip columnist. It's like ugh, like if this is gonna pop up in a paper, that's where it's gonna be. It's gonna be in the gossip. But it wasn't like this is being covered as actual news. Yeah, which is not. Yeah, you know who gives a fuck. That's good. I found it very funny. Thank I you. thought the tweets were uh, <laughs> hilarious that were coming in afterwards. Of uh, I, I saw a bunch of people tweeting about the article of how. Uh, the people with AIDS that have been hit by yeah. taxis, organizations are going to be after you. That was funny. <laughs> I wonder, has there been somebody with AIDS that has been hit by a cab that was offended? <laughs> oh, I'm sure, but I guarantee you they didn't just get AIDS. No. Like, I had a lot of friends die of AIDS. It's a horrible... I, 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 I was worried that this was going to be like someone's going to go, well, he made an AIDS joke. Yeah. But uh, I was too annoyed. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not sorry I said it. I'm glad I said it. The guy was a piece of shit. Yeah. He, 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 was, he was being confrontational in a comedy club. That's what you get. That's what happens. That's what you get. I think there are too many people um, with other bullshit things. Uh, if it was the maybe 80s. Yeah, uh, and you make an AIDS uh, joke, even a reference, uh, mm, get in trouble. I think you're fine. And I got twittered by a guy. It's funny. I was talking to this Brazilian comedian. Who oh, I, I saw that. Yeah, Conan mentioned him in a tweet as because Conan is very funny on Twitter, and I'll check his stuff out. And he had said I just found out, and I forget the guy's name. Oh, thank you, Travis. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Rafina Bastos, I think his name is. Uh, Rafinas Bastos, yeah. Two and a half mil. He's got followers. Two, almost two million nine hundred thousand followers. Oh, wow, more than that. Yeah. Um. He's a, a, a maybe a very famous Brazilian comic, and he said he saw me at the cellar one night. Like, and I, I just, I just didn't know him, but he was telling me that he uh, he actually erased his tweets to me because he goes, "I'll wind up in the press tomorrow if I do this again." Oh, but he's shit. being sued in Brazil. Like, we think that it's bad in the U.S., but look at Canada. He fucking almost got arrested on stage, and he told me the joke. He it was very funny. It was something about uh, how how come all these people, com women complaining about rape, are ugly? They shouldn't look at it like it's an attack. They should see it as an opportunity. It was some really mean <laughs> rape joke, right. but it was a joke. Yeah. And uh, he showed photos of the protests outside the club. He said he's being sued by twelve different people uh, for calling them ugly. Like he's got to go to court. What? Like it's bad there. Like uh, so, it's not just the U.S. where everyone's being a fucking baby about stand-up comedy. Wow. Now, we're just doomed as far as this shit goes. You think? I mean, I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, it is. 
it could be worse in other countries, like something like that. Oh. But it is Brazil. Yeah. And, and but uh, but this country where you're supposed to have the the rights and freedom of speech. And, uh, there, there, there was an ad today. Uh, For Travis, Nivea, uh, N uh, yeah, Nivea, right? Just brought this to my attention. Uh, a Nivea ad. Nivea apologizes, of course. You got to apologize. For inappropriate and offensive ad that sparked racial outrage. Now, how much outrage did it really spark? Was it a lot of outrage? I didn't hear about it. To me, outrage has to be you. Everyone knows people are outraged because it's outrage. It's outrageous. Yeah. It's outrageous. It's where outrage comes from, Sam. Yeah. Take rage and you just, it's, it's out. Yeah. It's rage out outward. It's rage. It's all over the place. Everyone's got it. Uh, beauty brand Nivea is in hot water uh, after its latest campaign has been called racist. The uh, Nivea for Men's ad printed in the September issue of Esquire magazine shows a short-haired black man hurling the decapitated head of another black man with an afro and a beard, supposedly his former self, with the slogan, Look like you give a damn. Re-civilize yourself. Now that's the ad. He's kind of in a um, uh, stance where it's almost like he's he's hurling a shot put or something, a discus with his own head, and uh, he's re-civilizing himself. He's got his old self, which has a big afro and a beard, and he's throwing that old head away because he's found a new way to groom himself with Nivea products. And uh, the, the whole argument is if this was a white guy. With a you know a mullet and a goatee or something like that, and he and he's he's throwing his old sure. head away. No one would say anything, you know. Yeah. But but the fact that he's a black guy uh, sparks what I like to call outrage. <laughs> uh, and um, I, I guess they they felt they had to apologize. Thank you for caring enough to give us your feedback about the recent re-civilized Nivea for Men ad. This ad was inappropriate and offensive. It was never our intention to offend anyone. And for uh, that, we are deeply sorry. This ad will never be used again. <laughs> Diversity and equal opportunity are crucial values of our company. But the, you, you're right. Did you hear what the model said? You're right. The model said. The spoke guy up. himself, the campaign spokes, uh, supposed uh, model, BJ Williams, uh, posted online that he wasn't offended by the ad, according to Forbes. Can't believe I'm asking this. But had the man been white, throwing a white mask, uh, would the media respond to the same? Answer that honestly, he wrote. And, of course, it's no. Uh, it, there wouldn't be any outrage. It just goes to show you the double standard there um, on that end yep. where uh, Whitey will just look and go like, Oh, boy. Oh, we better apologize. Oh, boy. The Negroes are outraged. Meanwhile, there's no outrage. There's no reason for it. Um, re-civilize yourself. It means nothing. The word civilize, I think it was poorly worded. Re-civilize is probably what did it. They should have just re -phrased. It's like, if you're looking at that, it's like a black guy with an afro. You might want to re-civilize. Ah, they should have probably just phrased it a little bit better, but I don't think it means it's racist. It's I think just... if there was a bone through his nose <laughs> and a plate in his lip and he's hurling that, there could be an issue. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, you know, with the big afro and the, 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 the beard, he just looks unkempt. Yeah. Um, you know, hey, hey, this ad could have been me. I could have taken a picture of me yes. from the uh, 80s, early 90s with my giant afro and uh, beard and everything and, and doing that. And, uh, of course, I'd still look uncivilized, <laughs> even in the, the picture of me throwing my own head. But you know what? We, we always say that they don't mention race in the, in the media. And I Twittered a link. I yeah. was incorrect. Uh... They 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 did during finally during a flash mob they mentioned race so I apologize. Oh, they did. Yes, for all the times I've called the media absolute fucking cowards. If any of you are listening today, all the times I've accused you of being just fucking <laughs> sickening cowards. There was a rapper who called the flash mob, and uh, finally the media mentioned race in relation to a flash mob when it didn't have anything to do with the story. They did had nothing to do with the story. There were no biased attacks. They just mentioned race. So congratulations to the media for oh. finally not being God. cowardly twats. Finally, yes. Wow. Let me see. Um, let me see. Someone posted a picture of a shirtless rapper uh, revealing a uh, huge um, MGK tattoo across his shoulder. Yeah, looks a little a like Eminem, almost. Yeah, he does look like Eminem. He's a white guy rapper, huh? Yeah. Hmm. In handcuffs on Twitter. 
Uh, fans soon posted videos on YouTube showing hundreds of people, mostly white teens and young adults, <laughs> gathered in the mall's food court watching police wrestle with the rapper and chanting MGK as the officers led him away. So they're mentioning yeah. a flash mob yeah. of mostly white teens and young adults. Yeah. Now, why is that? That's because they, they know that they, they've only been showing blacks and never saying, and they feel right. so guilty. These fucking white reporters are so awful and guilty and copy editors uh. that they have to say, see, we know it's white people too. They wanted to clarify, so you don't just think it's blacks we're picking on. Right. They're so afraid of the perception. You know what? Silly. That's ridiculous because... Every flash mob I've seen on TV and 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 st and by the way, did they steal stuff? What were they doing? Or were they just getting together chanting the rapper's name as police hauled him away? Or were they in the food court um uh jumping the counters, stealing the food and running off, not paying for anything? It looked like they were just running around through the mall. <laughs> they were just, uh, just they were, chanting and being they were assholes. They chanting. Yeah. Okay, I'm 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 looking at a video. Was there any violence? Some violence going on. No, they're all Is there chanting. some sound on this? Yeah. Ah, Sam. Oh, Sam. There it is. They're all just jumping up and down. Yeah. There's a celebrity there. Yeah. Let's, let's see a couple of hoodies. MGK. Yeah. All right. There's some cops there. That's a uh, security. The they just seem to be away. trying to keep him away from the... The throngs of people that are there to see him, but this looks like a, a, a mall appearance yeah, of some, a celebrity. It's basically he showed up. They're all like teenage white kids yelling and screaming. Yeah. Although then again, the media mentioning that it's mostly white and it, it, there's no there was no violence with it. Maybe that's why they're mentioning it. Yeah. Well, I don't see this as a flash mob like we see at the shirtless rapper guy is being cuffed by the cops and the white crowd loving it. Yeah. Wow, look at that. We we got ourselves a white criminal rapper. Wow. <laughs> Those cops, by the way, are up against the railing, like over a rink almost that you'll see in the mall. Yeah. And they're not in any danger. No. Everyone just holding up their cell phone cameras. There's no fucking problems. Yeah. But it annoyed me that they mentioned it when it's not connected to anything. It's not like there was a biased attack and they should have mentioned no. it. No. So you guys that think I'm paranoid, we harp on this shit. We're and not again, paranoid. I don't see any thievery going on. It's not closed circuit cams of... Uh, a lot of people walking into a store and stealing shit or punching people in the face. Uh, and I did see a, a couple more flash mob videos over the weekend. And um, there, there is a giant problem in the black community with these fucking criminal flash mobs. Was the race mentioned in the... Uh... No, yeah. not at all. Young, young people, teens, teens <laughs> young adults, unruly teens. You'll hear all that shit. But never the fact that no one addresses. It's like, hey, can someone address why? Uh, now I have to say ninety nine percent, point nine percent instead of one hundred percent of of these uh, bias, uh, not bias, but uh, flash mob things are 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 black. What's going on? Why isn't this being addressed? Why aren't any black leaders coming out and going? You know, except in Philly, the Philly mayor did come mayor. out and say, I, I love that guy. Yeah, he did say it. But it's like Halloween. They go in with bags now. They go in with like pillowcases and their own shopping bags and they go in and just grab shit and run out and then store owners left to be like i did not know what to do it was terrible and, uh, this poor guy and meanwhile if you if you look at like say a bunch of young black guys come in and you and i'm not talking about a fucking 60 year old black guy and his wife but if you say five young black guys come in and you look at them differently or what you you'd be seen as profiling oh, and racist course. and inappropriate it's like you can't win yes yes if there was a security guard at the door and he denied entrance of 15, 20 blacks that wanted to come into the store uh, for any reason, maybe they just all wanted to shop together. Yeah. Maybe it was a flash mob where they had mops and um, and some uh, Windex and we're going to just clean the floors and the windows for the gentleman <laughs> that owned the establishment. Uh, but if you said, no, you're not allowed in here, there would be, again, outrage and race would absolutely be mentioned within the first paragraph. And it would all be... Here's a video of a pack of young ladies 
<laughs> and by the way, I don't even care about the flash mobs that much. It's shitty, but look, there's a lot of crime. Yeah, yeah. M my fucking hatred is just the media. Yes. It's not even the, you know. Say it. it. Really, it's just the media because they're the same people. And again, I apologize for belaboring this point. Is that the way to say that word? Belaboring? Yeah, that's good yeah. enough. But we're the same ones. Uh, the media is the same ones that will fucking get us fired. They helped get I'm oh, yeah. They're the same fucking guys. Drives you crazy. They only bring up race in certain circumstances when it's a uh, bias crime against uh, blacks or uh, it's uh, white people, you know, f a flash mob of white people. That wasn't that wasn't what is now considered a flash mob. Flash mobs, when they first started, were white people that would do dumb things. They'd all get together and do a fucking the thriller dance, the Michael Jackson thriller dance. It's like, hey, let's all meet. At this place, uh, and and at exactly 8:01, we will break into the thriller dance. Yeah, and uh, they should, by the way, be met by violence. Uh, I, I was going to say, I actually find uh, blacks tur turning a store upside down is less offensive yes. than 50 white people meeting and dancing in public. Exactly. Liverpool Station, this is a T-Mobile dance that they're doing. Um, 30 million 30 views. 30 million views. Out of nowhere, they just decided to uh, do a little flash mob thing. Oh. And people just start like dancing. Oh Where's my it? god, this flash mob is crazy. <laughs> yeah, they used to, you're right, there would be people who organized and met in weird places and blew bubbles or did all this weird yeah. shit, but they weren't out to attack people. No. And this is dumb white people flash mob. Look, they're all doing a dance. It's harmless. It's stupid. That looks like almost a rehearsed dance troupe because they're all in perfect coordination with each what other. What the hell are they doing? Oh no, hide your purses. They're going to dance on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just silly. Oh, it's silly. But but now when you say flash mob, yeah, you don't think of this. No. You're you're thinking of uh, cuz look at how well this is uh, recorded too. Yeah. Multi -ca multi camera shoot yeah. uh, on the floor, down the escalator, on the balcony. But there's only one view of the new flash yeah. mob, and that is through security cameras. <laughs> and, by, and by the way, this is obviously because the music is playing over the PA. Yeah. So this is obviously a coordinated, coordinated event. Coordinated event. So you think Howie Mandel's special that he tried to do where he was organizing flash mobs would be totally different now? Yeah, yeah. Than a that, year ago when he that, did it. It would be hilarious just watching Howie Mandel uh, <laughs> in blackface running through <laughs> yeah. a store stealing stuff. But not touching anything because he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. <laughs> no, that yeah. lunatic. Pointing at stuff. Could you take that for me? And could you take that for me? Blackface and white gloves on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You look like a cartoon from 1910. <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot about good call. I forgot about Howie Mandel. Yeah. Fucking wanting to do that. Want to do the flash mob show. A couple got married via flash mob on his show. They did. Nothing got stolen. They had a wedding. That's crazy. You need stuff to be stolen now for it to be a flash mob. Flash mob. The, the word mob is now more important than the flash part. <laughs> right. It's just now a mob of people walking in and uh, stealing things. Do you think people are here? It's like I feel like people do hear this. Like I get a lot of twitters from people. I think that actually that tweet that I sent was from from somebody who sent it to me. Like. I think are people. I feel like people hopefully are listening and getting this because you feel like yeah. you're just alone in a room yelling it and you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. You feel like you're just over and over again saying the same thing and no one's listening to you. Uh, but but then you watch the news and realize no one's listening. <laughs> they they this has to be brought up as an issue, even just to ask the question: Why is this happening in the black community? Leaders like like uh, uh, the mayor in uh, Philly. Philly uh, that actually brought it up and said, "Knock it off! You're, you know, you're hurting your own people. You're hurting your your race, the, your image, uh, the city's image." A and he had the courage to say something. But where is everybody else saying, "Look, can we address why this is happening and why it's really being left alone and 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 nothing's really trying to be done about it?" It it it, it astounds me that no one's bringing up the the issue that it's a black problem. It's weird how we look at, like, we just, white and black, we just look at things differently. You know when different. I first, the first time I realized that, like... Oh, I was, uh, it was, I, I hung out with weird kids. Like, my friends as a teenager were black, I hung out with, like, uh, black guys from the projects, and I hung out with skinheads. I had, like, a really weird, I mean, talk about diversity. Before oh, it was popular, man. Um, you know, <laughs> I really had a fucking bizarre group of friends. And I remember me and my buddy, um, Tyler... Went to see, uh, I think it was Do the Right Thing. 
And at the end of the movie, it's a great oh, movie, oh Spike boy. Lee, yeah. where at the end, Spike Lee is a pizza guy named Mookie, and Danny Aiello is the white pizza owner in the black neighborhood, for anyone who hasn't seen it 28 years ago. Yes, yeah, spoiler. <laughs> and, yeah, spoiler alert, exactly. <laughs> Spike Lee's 70 now. He, Spike Lee takes a garbage can because this guy, uh, was, it, was it Radio Rahim, I think, was choked out by the cops. So in anger... He was choked out by misbehaving in the white establishment in the black neighborhood. So the fucking Spike Lee throws a garbage can through the window, and they burn the black the black guys in the neighborhood burn the white pizza place down. And I was so angry that they did it. Like I sided with the uh, with Danny Aiello and his family. I'm like why would they do that? They had been good to the neighborhood people. And Tyler and he was like, no, but I, I get why they did that. Like. It was our our gut reaction was immediately uh, split. Opposite, right? And it was fucking bizarre to me that somebody could see it that opposite from the way I saw it. After yeah, just walk, we, oh, I knew we had just gotten the same information because we were sitting in the theater watching it. Right, you saw the same movie. It was like we saw the exact same thing. We were handed <laughs> the exact same information. There was no spin. I saw how he got it, and he's and we came to one hundred percent polar opposite conclusions. So I guess it's like with stuff like this, you just see it. Different. We, yeah, they're, they're, but that's another thing people don't want to address is the, that in diversity, you get uh, uh, different opinions based on your experiences growing up and uh, your parents' experiences put on you. And uh, we, we don't think the same way. We just don't. But people love to think we all think the same way. We all have the same ideas and ideals in our country. And we as a, no, you know what? No, we don't. Some people think much differently of the same situation than others. It's, it's, it, and, and for people to not want to identify that, or if you do identify it, you're called, you know, racist or, or a separatist or whatever the fuck it is. But we have very different ideology. But the funny, you, and you know what, you're, what, what, can you look up the lead, the definition of diversity? Because it's very funny how they, they talk about diversity. They love that word, diversity. And the differences that make it. But if you come out and go, hey, blacks and whites are different than that, you're seen as a racist. Yeah. Or if you go, no, no, well, Mexicans do it like this and we do it like this. You're a separatist. It's almost like if diversity is bringing different people together, but if you mention what's different about you, yeah. you're considered a racist. Yeah, the whole idea of what diversity is to be diverse. It is many things, many choices and differences. And... Uh, the second you talk about him, you're fucked. And they don't want to look <laughs> at, at, like, the, the fact that diversity is, it's the state, or, or, oh, okay, or fact of being diverse, difference, difference, unlikeness. Unlikeness. Variety, multiformity, a point of difference. So, when it you say- It means different. It means different. So when you, they say we, we celebrate diversity. That means we celebrate our differences. Yes. But if you mention the differences, and I guess if you don't mention it in a 100% positive way, you're a fucking racist. Right, yeah. They have the deck rigged, where if you don't go hand in hand and fucking drink that fucking nonsense Kool-Aid, you're a racist. You're a racist. God, I hate them. And by <laughs> them, I mean the people making these fucking decisions, which are mostly white. Yeah, oh, black of, people of course. Are crying. The black guy wasn't offended by that ad. No, he didn't care. Most black people are not that hypersensitive when it comes to race. The fucking black mayor talked about race. It's fucking you pussy racist white people that are afraid of being seen as racist. Yeah, somebody over there at uh, Nivea for that uh, re-civilize yourself ad got some complaints. Probably uh, got, got their board together. Bunch of white guys cowering in a corner yep. that, uh, oh boy, oh, we look bad, damage control. And then they got their press people on it, and the PR came in, and, and they all had a meeting. We've seen this happen. They all had a big meeting. They penned their their uh, apology and put it out there and said, we're pulling this. Now. Ah, knee jerk, knee jerk. Ah, black people, black people. Ah. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and, and that's exactly how, how uh, uh, people react. To this uh, alleged outrage, which, well, like I said, I didn't even hear about this until uh, this morning. Do you know, it, with with people seeing things different, I, what made me think of that Tyler story was uh, I follow Wendell Pierce on Twitter, uh, who was bunk from The Wire, who was yeah. fucking great when he came in with uh, Clark Peters. What fuck movie did I just see him in as a, a young guy? It was an older movie, too. Oh. I'll have to remember. You play a cop? Um, I don't think so. He was just playing some some black guy <laughs> he did a um 
a thing on Twitter. He, he's talking about. He talks a lot about race issues. I love following him, and because uh, he's you know he's in uh, Treme in, in New Orleans, so he's kind of down on the shit there. And he said uh, that he saw the help, or his mother saw the help, or somebody saw the help, mm -hmm. and he was saying how at the end of it, all these white people are just crying softly, and he said his mother, who I think had done that, like I guess worked in a black family, was just fucking seething, really was angry, and it was. Uh, I, now I want to see it because. Uh, I was just interesting that he pointed out how this 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 thing I think was he's like something about how Hollywood always shows you the white hero yeah, and he's right yeah, they do yeah. they always show the good white person that comes in and saves all the darkies I mean I'm paraphrasing by <laughs> saying that <laughs> of course. but to me that's what it is and I, I fucking loved that he said that but I, I guess it's about a white woman who does the right thing I do you know Sam yeah I saw the help okay it's like this one brave young... I thought I was sitting through the help I sat through half of it and realized I was in the wrong theater. <laughs> oh, I bet I know what it was. <laughs> I don't think it was the help. Uh oh, <laughs> what happened? Uh, yeah, so uh, what happened? Yeah, it's about this one, like, uh, young, brave white girl, Emma Stone plays her, mm -hmm. in oh. the South, well. uh, who wants to write about the experience of black maids. Right. And Spoiler all alert, uh, they're treated poorly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all the black maids are afraid to stand up to their white bosses but it's like Emma Stone brings them out of their shells and ah, gets them to, in trouble. You know, well, she keeps it anonymous. Ah, But you you know what? That's I totally agree with him on that, Wendell Pierce, because that's that's what they do in Hollywood. They make these fucking, these white hero movies. And, and again, these are the people who try to dictate to the rest of us how awful we are to notice race in a negative way, or yeah. even when it should be. But, like, you look at Mississippi Burning, which was a fucking great movie, a true story about those three civil white, uh, rights workers, I think one black and two white, who were killed for pushing for black voting in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. But the movie is about the heroes, Gene Hackman and Willem Dafoe, the hero white FBI agents. Um, and I guess that this is about the hero. And I, and I think in Amistad they focused... Uh, on the hero white people. They always focus on the hero white people. Yeah. And uh, I, he's fucking 100% right. But mm. the, 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 this, if you were to tell the people who write this stuff, you know, you're kind of subtly racist. You really, <laughs> you're fucking paternalistic. You know, you want to show blacks how, look at how, like, how nice we've been to you as children. Have, look at us. We took care of you. Yeah. Everything's cool. Is By it good, way, Sam? I'm sorry. The movie was Sleepers. I was watching that uh, with those, was he in that? those young, the young boys, oh dear, young boys, and they go to that, um, youth uh, prison thing and get completely Kevin fucking raped that? by Kevin Bacon and, and the other guards. And um, so when they, when they grow up and uh, go through that whole revenge segment, um, if you remember, they had a football game against the guards. And uh, no, really, they, they did. And, and they beat the shit out of the guards. But the one thing that gave them an edge was they got one of the black kids uh, in the reform school to, to play. And he beat the shit out of a couple of the guards. The guards beat the shit out of him and wound up killing him. And uh, Bunk, very young Bunk, was the brother of that oh, black kid wow. that the uh, guys came in and gave information to as to which guard killed him. And they bring him out by the airport, beat the living piss out of him, take him out. And when a plane's flying over to make a little noise, they just unload onto him. On Wendell so, Pierce? And, uh, no, on the, uh, the, the guard uh, that, that killed Wendell Pierce's uh, brother. Oh, wow. Okay. Because Wendell Pierce was like, a, he was a, a black... Uh, organized crime figure oh okay yeah, yeah it, it was cool because i was watching going like oh my god yeah that's he's a young, great actor young man. fucking bunk i want to see Tremaine. i haven't watched i just have to talk for me to get into a new series but i fucking love him yeah i know it is it's so fucking hard to just get into a new series like that especially with actors you like from another series you were really into obviously the wire yeah uh it's so hard to like just be yeah it's a new character i don't know i'll catch it next week <laughs> he wrote he, he, he first noted uh, actors never cease to amaze me. What they do with the material given to them is crap. I think he's saying how much he liked the film, the acting. But then his criticism of the story became more pointed. Oh, okay. The movie The Help was painful to watch. This passive segregation light was hurtful. I kept thinking of my grandmother, who was The Help. He went to reveal that his mother told him for the first time when they saw the movie that she too had been the help and had raised white children. Pierce said that his mother was hurt and insulted by the film because her experience was in fact significantly worse huh. than was portrayed in the film, which he was referring to as Jim Crow light. My mother said it was a good story, he said, but she knows difference, uh, She knows a different reality. And there was a thing where he said the white hero is not in that particular thing. It's, Travis, if we scroll down more, is it there? No. Now, he, did, he did say something about that white hero. I didn't just make that up. Now, is that movie... Uh, 
is that subject matter too heavy for the movie itself? If the, if they would have gotten into like the real brutality that was going on, would that have made the movie like I thought I was going to get some chuckles here? Yeah, there's a couple of things working because I think that in order for like mainstream to really embrace it and for the academy to look at it and all this stuff that that I think they wanted because they wanted women because it's based on a novel that a lot of women read. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so they wanted women to go see it and like you know. That's uh, hence um, you being in the theater. Yeah, exactly. There with a fucking woman. Twink. Fucking yeah, exactly with a fucking. Ho- I get pictured him with a house dress. Yeah. That's not, e- not even sexually dressed, but like a really shitty long, <laughs> ill-fitting house dress and fucking white lady slippers. Ill-fitting. Yeah. Yeah, I had pants on. Oh, you did. Um, but yeah, I think that they couldn't go. Je- Jess's pants. <laughs> Exactly. She they couldn't go much. Them in the family. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't go much farther than uh, the help having to use separate bathrooms. Oh, really? Yeah. And I think Hollywood also knows that if they didn't have a white hero in the movie, and if it was just about the black people, yeah, white people wouldn't go to see the movie. Was the word nigger used at all? I. Th- it might have been not see, now, a lot, now, obviously. Now, now that should have been used because that probably was used a lot. Uh, during during that word. Jim Crow, yeah, yeah, it, it was the the word. I think it was used, but not yeah. not ad nauseum. And was Emma Stone cast in this because she's kind of known as the funny, quirky girl in movies? Is this a purely dramatic role for her, or or was she being comedic so that it would have been awkward to throw in some really horrific racist moments? Uh, she wasn't being comedic. She was more playing to her feisty self oh. than the sort of you know feisty girl yeah she was yeah. the feisty like you know i may be young but i went to college and i'm gonna go get a job yeah even yeah. though women in this time period don't she's hot even though she does look like one of those fish you bring up from the deep water <laughs> and they kind of decompress and their eyeballs pop out of their head <laughs> yeah here's the here's the actual tweet that he is oh watching the film in uptown new orleans to the sniffles of elderly white people while my 80 year old mother was seething made clear distinction. Wow, that's great. The sniffles. I love the sniffles love of Wend- white people. Wendell Pierce on Twitter, I really love. Oh, oh they went through so much. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like they just couldn't use the same bathroom. Hey, don't use my towel. Yeah. You're monogrammed. <laughs> yeah, I just I just think that uh he what he's he's saying is he's just sick and tired of these fucking on the tip of your nose. What do I do? I don't know. Something white. Oh, is it uh, something white on the tip of my nose? <laughs> yes. Then it must be good. <laughs> um just sick and tired of White people have a really way of, weird way of doing that. It's it's like the whole the whole culture of throwing other white people under the bus yeah. to fucking uh, to hide their subtle superiority shit. It just fucking makes me sick. Do you think? Because I'm always thinking uh, as a, a white person that that black people need to change uh, some of their ways sure. in order to assimilate into um, uh, white society better. But is it the other way around? What would happen if? If white people stopped being this paternalistic, uh, apologetic society, would it make things worse? Would it make some black people go, oh, wow, now no one gives a shit about us? Or would it finally be like, look, you're just like everyone else, members of our society, and you'll be treated as such? I don't I don't know. I think a lot of what, and again, it's, it's, I really do believe that a lot of what goes on with like uh, in certain black neighborhoods i do think a, a good amount of it is poverty related i'm not and again, i'm not explaining away all behavior but some mm. of it i think is poverty related i don't know if blacks need to assimilate into white society as much um i just i just the way it's talked about so dishonestly it almost makes it look like the problem is swept under the carpet so it's not addressed so yeah i do think mm. if it wasn't as apologetic a lot more would get done because people would just deal with it honestly because yeah you, you think farrakhan doesn't look at that and go look what these fucking guys are. he's not dumb yeah he knows what's happening he's been calling black people out for years but he also calls out white people and that's why nobody listens to him yeah that's yeah. why white people don't like him because bill cosby doesn't call out white people bill cosby who is right calls out black people and he yeah, calls them yeah. out, so white people are like, look what Dr. Cosby's been saying. But <laughs> the, Farrakhan... That's when they call him Dr. William H. Cosby Jr. Because Farrakhan <laughs> is fucking... Look, and I don't agree with a lot of Farrakhan. I, I'm tired of people hating Jews. I'm fucking sick of it. It's so old. It, it, it really is, and it's not How accurate. How old is that? Like thousands of years? Yeah. It's like they blame <laughs> Jews for everything. It's boring. It's like, yeah. stop it. But uh, the fact that he fucking attacks that fucking white paternalism, too, and he doesn't want to hear it, that's why the white media just vilifies him. I he think. also thinks, you know, that the spaceship is uh, up in um, 
hiding up in space waiting to take black people to some kind of paradise. That so. is idiotic. <laughs> but you know what? If you didn't listen to people based on religion stuff, you would really say to the Pope, could you take that hat off and explain how the man pushed the rock away when he was dead? That Go. Is, that is true. <laughs> I'll give you that one. No matter how dumb a religion is, we just kind of talk it like, all right, well, you're, we, we're afraid of religion. It's sacred. It's yeah. fucking nonsense. <laughs> you're all assholes. It's hokum. I call it hokum. Language. <laughs> Uh, you, I, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I got my sandwich I'm here. I'm hungry for you. And, uh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Yes, people say, no, I guess I hope he's on vacation. Yeah. He's on vacation, uh, this week. Where did he wind up going? Uh, I believe he's, uh, in his usual beach place. I don't know the if he... The beach place? I don't know if he won't, says... The, the beach he says, yeah. Oh, okay, the Outer Banks. He oh, never, the Outer no, no, Banks. He never that specific. No. What are the, oh, Sam blew it now. <laughs> yeah. just, the Outer Banks. How are going to track <laughs> exactly. them down in the Outer go Banks? Down there and look at them on the beach? <laughs> Jesus. Well, who's that standing next to the turtles? Oh, it's all... <laughs> yeah, he says it every year. Yeah. Well, he that's goes where there. he is. I can't believe it's a fucking year ago, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Was that the Hurricane one? Hurricanes, yeah. Alice! It was the... Uh, uh, the hurricane or something. Oh, oh you, oh, Hurricane Irene, uh, working its way up uh, the coast. Uh, yeah, actually the Caribbean. So, and Opie's gonna be there the whole week. So we may actually get well, another said, uh, hurricane. Uh, they said on the news that it'll be right around South Carolina, like Friday ish. Yeah, and if that happens, it will be. If if it does go up to the Outer Banks, it will probably hit on almost exactly the same day to the year to the year that last year because it was the end of the first week. Yeah, when he was on vacation last year. I think the townsfolk there are going to just uh, pitchfork and 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 torch his ass uh, <laughs> out of the out of the outer banks. It's him because it seems to be him. Yes, it's the OP uh, jinx. He has the sports hurricane. jinx as well as the fucking uh, yes, hurricane jinx. The hurricane jinx. <laughs> hey, before we go to break, before I forget, I just want to say uh, yes, sir, I had a yes, great sir. time in Utah. I just wanted to thank uh, uh, Keith Stubbs, who's the he's a comedian, kind of owner of Love Wise Guys. Fucking hardcore ONA fan. Oh, cool, he is, yeah. and so is the audience. I mean, uh, ninety percent of them that came were hardcore ONA fans in Salt Lake City. Oh, that's fucking cool. And Salt Lake City, uh, nice. Where, fucking. Cool. I, I didn't yeah. do much. I slept all day Saturday. Um, but the people were unbelievable. Oh, that's really. I, cool. I haven't liked a road gig that much in a long time. So, wow. Uh, Did you see some Mormons? You know, it's funny. We came off the plane. We're going down the escalator, and there's a sign. Somebody said, "Welcome back, Elder Potter." And I'm like, really? oh yeah, it's this is where you are. Yeah, I, it, it, you didn't feel like you're anywhere different until you see like the occasional uh, guy walking around with five chicks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> but that was that was the only difference. I mean, I didn't notice it at the shows. Yeah. But they were exact. The ONA fans are exactly like they are here. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so thank you to. I just want to say thanks to Wise Guys. Utah, not China. <laughs> no, I know that, but <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's just like I was here. I couldn't believe they were just like Americans. <laughs> it's like when you meet a black person. I couldn't believe he was he was very uh, well spoken. <laughs> so well spoken and articulate. But yeah, I was just. It's like you just forget that the people in Utah are just like they are in Jersey. So I loved yeah. the gig and the fucking club was amazing. I really, oh, I cool. haven't had that much fun in the gig in a long time. And uh, I have just been single for four months and have been jerking off like a <laughs> banshee. <laughs> Do you li I literally jerked off watching porn until six in the morning oh. and slept all day Saturday. Oh. It's fucking awful, my life. Now, till six in the morning, but how, how long did, when did you start? Like, time was the gig over Friday night. <laughs> I don't even think we ate. I think I'll, I'll see you later, Kenny. And I got room service. And I think I was holding a shrimp cocktail with left, my left hand and a, sh a shrimp jimmy with my right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, who do we do we say uh, we have today? We have uh, Bob Kelly's coming in shortly. Yeah, Bobby. Amy Schumer and then uh, Marnie Kinry. Uh, she's a wing woman. She's like a chick who helps you get laid in bars. Yeah, and I just was interested in talking to her. Yeah, and I guess she's got a book that tell, tells about uh, uh, how a, a girl can like help you out. Does she? Like, does she teach other girls how no, to... No, she teaches guys. Who she teaches guys to yes. be wingmen? She, yes, the wing woman. No, no, she's a, the wing Help woman. Help me out here, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to bang this broad. <laughs> <laughs> the wing woman method, uh, she tells guys what girls are thinking and tells them what's going wrong in their dating life. So but we were they getting can... the coffee. He was getting the check. <laughs> Shut up. You fucking hag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not going to get off that easy. I'm going to ruin another series. <laughs> okay, Hill. Why would I go out with you? 
I don't know. Why do you talk like that? <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Karen, she... shut up, Karen. Yeah. You're ruining the movie. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to find they had me. <laughs> Why do you talk like you're half deaf? Uh, they never would have found talent from you, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going through the Sopranos again. By the way, we could talk yeah. about it when we get back, but I'm, I forgot. I literally, I still prefer The Wire. It was, I thought it was better. Mm -hmm. But I, God, I, for, I mean, it sounds ignorant, but I forgot how great. Even season six, The Soprano was so great, man. Yeah, I know. I, I think watching it now, knowing how it goes and how it ended, uh, and how e even each season, some things didn't tie up and wrap up. I think with that knowledge and without the expectation. Right. That I'm going to get some answers. You can actually sit back now and watch. Just enjoy the journey, not the destination, I yeah, like to say. You're right. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> she starts crying. There's oh, a great right. uh, song I've been obsessed with. I don't know if we can find it, but it was at the end of the Gloria Trilling's first episode where the Sopranos used music so fucking well mm -hmm. at the end of their shows. And like uh, it, it was when him and her on the boat uh, and they're like just they're just starting to meet. It's called The Captain by fucking... Uh, Oh, uh, what's this broad's name? I, I'm, I'm pretending I don't know because I just put it on my iPhone this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but they yeah, used it. Uh, <laughs> uh, they used it uh, at the end of the. Uh, what's her name? Um, there's some Casey Chambers. That's it. Okay. But they Casey used it at Chambers. the end of a Sopranos episode. I'm like, God damn, they fucking picked out some great, yeah. great songs. All right. Oh. That was it. Wasn't that one, but whatever. All right. I should I go to break. Yeah, I'll, I'll, eat, I'll eat a sandwich. Tomorrow we'll have sandwiches. <laughs> See you soon, folks. Spaggy music. <laughs> as pretty as I was, I've kicked myself at times because I am mine. So I will have to learn to stand my ground. I tell them I won't be around. I move on over to your town and hide. You be the captain, and I'll be no one. And you can carry me away if you want to. And you can lay low just like your father. And if I tread upon your feet, you just say so. Cause you're the captain, I am no one. I tend to so I owe one to you. The Opie and Anthony Show. On the virus, Sirius X, Sirius XM. Coming up on the next episode of The Spectacular Suicide, the notorious villain, Anger Man, is hurling helpless children from the windows of the Little Leper's Orphanage to the streets below. Who can stop this deranged, diabolical, demented mastermind? No one... Nobody can... <laughs> I stop me. I'm invincible. Um, um, come here, little Timmy. Uh, would you like to see? Would you like to see if you can fly? <laughs> come on, stupid door. I'm kicking you. Now open. Oh, wait. Doorknob. Stop it right there, anger man. <laughs> Sewer, uh, suicide. That's right. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hey, right where you are. Don't come any closer, or I'll, or I'll throw another hopeless child to the streets below. This ends right now, anger man. Leave those children alone, or I'll. Or you'll wh what? What? Um, what? Uh, what? Okay, okay, bye. That's what I thought. Up, up, and away! Oh crap, I forgot. I can't fly! Oh, my leg! 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 Oh, my 
Statement. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm unstoppable. Stay tuned for another episode of the Spectacular Suicide, where Police Commissioner Vic Dumb calls upon Suicide to stop another diabolical villain. Serious XM. Serious XM. The virus. The Opie and Anthony Show. Oh, look at that. E Rock, right on the uh, on the is. ball with that song, because we were talking about the uh, Sopranos. No, it's not a best of. <laughs> yeah. We are here live. Um, Tom Chiasano is off today. <laughs> no. Um, Anthony's going on a cruise soon. Opa's out sick today. <laughs> no. But um, it looks like uh, 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 Jones and I will be doing a. Uh, what was his name? Oh, cunt me. I can't think of anything. <laughs> Fat boy shit hat Jones. Sorry, K Rock. <laughs> oh shit hat. Remember him? Yeah. Oh cream uh, pie Jones. Cream pie. Yeah, we were just, uh, just talking Jones. about how how much better it is to watch a series like The Sopranos now yep. um, on on your DVD, on your DVD or yeah, whatever the fuck media you, you choose, because you don't have to wait two years between seasons and the best is to watch i said it during the break with somebody who hasn't seen the series or doesn't remember it because jess is pop culture illiterate in a lot of ways like she doesn't know things have happened like she didn't know there was a sequel to the godfather after we watched the godfather i was like see i couldn't show you the cover of godfather wow. 2 because al pacino is obviously in full mode and she goes they made a sequel they, holy <laughs> shit. Wow, that, is, go, that yeah. is pure innocence. Where did she grow up? Candyland? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's a, but she's, she's seen an empty vessel. She's seen the Father of the Bride fill. series oh. multiple times. Well. But she had no idea the big pussy gets whacked at all on The Sopranos. Oh, spoiler alert. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so going through the first two seasons when we were watching on DVD, I just had to avoid any... Sopranos conversation like he was on a reality show uh, and I couldn't watch it because whenever you see him somebody mentions big pussy and getting and whacked getting whacked yeah getting killed off oh but man but she finally saw it and it was amazing because it was from over 10 years ago at this point and he gets on the boat on that in that scene and she goes oh no <laughs> oh no she saw it coming because I point. asked her like midway through season 2 I said who do you think's going to survive like all the way to the end of the series she goes well Tony and pussy, obviously, and then oh Jesus! And then she started. Was she wrong? <laughs> go, the okay. first major yeah. character to be fucking whacked yeah. out was pussy. <laughs> but yeah. it reminded me of like what a surprise. Like nobody really thought he was gonna. Like he was as big as all the other guys were in the first two yeah, seasons. Yeah, he was yeah, massive. Yeah. yeah, that was that was it. We're talking about uh, the lay. You guys raised in the break the layoffs. That, that I forgot how long the show would be off, and that would infuriate you. You'd you'd watch a season, get to the season finale, and then they'd leave you hanging, and you'd be like, "Oh, great! Now I got to wait like two fucking years before yeah. I, I know what's going to happen." So it infuriated you even more when you you weren't getting the uh, wrap ups on some of the storylines because it's like I waited two years, motherfucker. Pay off. Yeah, and they basically just implied that something had wrapped it up while they weren't on the air. Yeah, for and the, you never during knew those two years. Was. Just fill in the blanks yourself. But look, like season four to season five was two years. It was a year between most of them, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. And then five and six was another two-year break. Yeah. Between four and five, it went 2002 to 2004. And then 2004 to 2006. Fuck. 2002 to 2006, you only had one like, there was almost two year and a half breaks with a season in between them. Yeah, yeah. So it was almost uh, three years with one season in the middle. It was really weird. Menno and AJ are grown ups by the time you. Exactly. They're, they're, they're children. They were, they were children. And then they were just grown adults. Yeah. Kind of silly to even have them at the house. You're just, eh, what? That's My dad's adult. favorite line in the series is still episode one when little tiny 13 year old AJ goes, so what, no fucking ZD? Yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the, the fucking, how funny was, uh, the lines, the, the best lines in the series were, you you said Paulie, which were yeah, great. Paulie had great ones. So did Phil Leotardo, though. Frank Vincent had some yeah, brutal yeah. fucking yeah. lines <laughs> when he's yelling at Christopher's mother, and he goes, where is he? I'll shove that Walkman up your box. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nick DiPaolo is obsessed with fucking Phil Leotardo because yeah. he is Nick. I mean, they're the same fucking awful person. It's true. But Nick always reminds me of what funny lines uh, 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 Frank Vincent had in The Sopranos. <laughs> and God damn, he had some fucking gems. They just know how to cast him. Yeah, he was amazing. Anything they put, they put him in is hilarious when, whenever he opens his yap. But there was... Uh, a great fucking line uh, in the hospital. We were talking about that one. If you haven't seen it yet, just a spoiler alert. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's, yeah. It's, it, it, it's when uh, Tony is in season six. Tony is in his uh, coma. Yeah. After being shot. And Paulie has not seen Tony in that situation yet. So Meadow is walking him into the hospital and she's just telling him, like, to uh, Paulie, just you have to be positive. All right. So he hasn't seen him yet. <laughs> they even tell you a spoiler warning. And then he gets to the door, obviously. Plus, is now's our moment. The main thing, when people come to sit with Dad, the doctors want positive talk. It helps in his recovery. Got it. <laughs> gets to the door. Oof, Maron, he looks terrible. <laughs> you can't say stuff like that. You have to stay positive. Yeah, it's just... Nothing prepares you for that. <laughs> nothing, nothing prepares you, you for that. One person at a time, please. <laughs> She's a ball buster. All right, Finn's on his way up. I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Oof. Remember, stay positive. And by the way, I almost talked over it. What a sh I'm just trying to let people know that that's what he, he's saying that at the door. <laughs> what a fucking, what a worthless radio <laughs> anchor oh, I am. You. My apologies to the audience. I just, it's like if you're hearing that and not seeing it, you might not know he said that as he walked in the yeah, door. Yeah, he's walking right in the door. Oof. Like, <laughs> like oof, my own. own. Wouldn't have tipped you off. <laughs> I, sorry about that. That stunk, <laughs> asshole. Jessamy just started season three, so she met Jackie Jr. And Jackie Jr. is, you know, hitting on Meadow or whatever. She don't know, uh, what, she don't know what's she coming don't know to what's him. Coming, huh? Nope. So, so do you sit there and then, like, and then, like, peer over when you know something's going to happen to see what her reaction is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's probably she a tip-off. But I love it because she's very... A very honest person with her, so she should just go, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Or like, like she did not see, like she hated Richie Aprile. And so she thought, like, she thought there was something building towards, you know, uh oh, he's gonna get in trouble. He's gonna, and then all of a sudden Janice just shoots him and she goes, what? Yeah. <laughs> I hated that, by the way, when she shot him. I thought that was such a fucking shitty way to end that. Yeah. Like a cop out. Yeah, I felt like, oh, this is when, uh, is this when Paulie's talking to him? Or, oh, that's Richie Aprile. Yeah. Can't hear it. 65% historical chance of rain on the 12th. So he wants to get a tent for backup. So She's just Janice. blubbering. I can't decide on shit like that. Janice, come on. Janice. But when you start bitching, when you see the bill, don't. My kid hit me up for five grand today to go to England for these uh, dance contests. Yeah, but little Rick is still coming to the wedding, right? Rick. Rick. I gotta Rich. watch all these again. Yeah. How many fucking times I got to There's Bobby it Kelly. Was little Ricky when he was 12 years old. Jesus. Take a seat, right. Bob. We're watching The Sopranos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're just watching. <laughs> We're just watching. <laughs> We're watching TV. He's still coming, right? Uh, he wouldn't miss an opportunity to uh, fucking foxtrot and tangle. How long do they make this clip? They should have just shown us. Dancing is a legitimate art form. But you don't see it coming. Name. No. You really don't. And I think that's the whole thing. The, the build up. Bad. I kind of liked this. Uh, this was not the like Jackie. he was a big character, and this was like the that. episode before the finale. Yeah. Right. You so you figured he'd get off in the finale, and all of a sudden, day. yeah, yeah. You know, I I've been in this house cooking. You yeah, because it's just and taking care. Of that it's just couple blubbering and just arguing. Yeah. So you don't expect the uh, and they argue all the time. Janice is a terribly Janice is disagreeable, a fucking awful She's woman. Horrible. Not likely. My fucking dinner on the table and keep your mouth shut. There you go. Uh -oh. But just because he's a ballroom dancer, you think your son is gay? And what if he was gay? What difference does it make? Well, oh, oh he oh. sucked her right that. in the mouth. He punched her. It's like you shut up. <laughs> Boy, she was not having that. <laughs> no. <laughs> he just turns turns his back on her too, like that. Yeah. That after a nice belt in the face. How's the Italian food here? <laughs> Sits down with this fucking horrible shirt. Whoever picked out the shirts in this series should still be winning awards. They're fucking terrible. Ooh, come on, don't touch me. Come on. He's eating his ziti. And she's standing there looking at him. You won't cry now. 
<laughs> you oh, yeah. oh boy, that was the wrong thing oh, to say. say. He probably should have just said, "I'm sorry." Yeah, bad and timing. And left the house. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. Pride will do that to a person. Yeah, she got that gun oh, quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in no move for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The shot you fucked on his face. Right in the oil pump. His last words were, "I'm in no mood for you." I'm in no mood for you. And she shoots him again. Oh yeah. Twice in the fucking chest. Jess didn't even know that Tony's mom, the actress, died. Really? So she didn't, she figured, she didn't know how long Tony's mom would, she figured his mom would be around forever. How fucking, dude, I, to me she was the best person in the series. She was so great. He should go shit in his hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's the greatest. That's nice language for your mother. <laughs> Miserable I old bitch. don't God. like that talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was fucking Pretending great. she has Alzheimer's. In the <laughs> end, you die in your own arms. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking! How sad that she died second season, man. Yeah. At the end of second season. And then they try to computerize her it, face. And it actually worked okay though. In, I don't know because you knew it. At one point, her head was too big for her yeah, body. Yeah, and you sitting in the chair. And if you're watching the DVDs. Like, you'd just seen the episode, you'd know oh, where yeah, those yeah, lines right. came from. Yeah, like, when yeah. you're watching, there'd been a year off, and you were like, oh, wow! that's true, yeah, yeah. But when you watch the DVDs, you're like, I remember the episode where she said that. Yeah. Was Hi, that where the... Hi. Hi, Bobby. She Bobby should've, Kelly. She should have said something like, I'm oh. back from the dead or something. No, that wouldn't have worked, Chip. <laughs> what about when, uh... <laughs> fucking hate Chip. Richie is fucking Janice with a gun to her head. Oh, yeah. And then Tony's mom comes down the stairs on that electric yeah. <laughs> thing I mean, on the wall. The electric yeah, mm -hmm. seat on the, on the staircase. What's going on? <laughs> She's just so toxic and Kill horrendous. Joy. <laughs> I can't stand her. Bobby Kelly, as we said, is in the... <laughs> well, I, Bobby just showed me a picture of his... His wife with uh, like a goofy <laughs> eyes and glasses saying, I can't wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hate her. Is she doing the chip voice? She's dead. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I went home last night and carved her eyes out, her real eyes out. <laughs> she likes chip. And I wrote tiss tiss on her chest. <laughs> In excrement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> How are you doing, Robert? Um, I think yeah. I'm going to die. Actually, Why? you're doing What's bad. We're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I you think gotta, it's, it's. You got a cough? Cold so, that won't go no, away. No, I don't. I'm not. I think in my heart is gonna <laughs> stop. Why? Well, why don't you just change what you just said and put a T on the end of it, and maybe you fucking extend your life a little bit. I think I'm gonna diet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not a, not wow. a great joke, but also helpful information. Yes, it wasn't meant to be a joke. <laughs> it was just so fast and confusing. <laughs> now that you put a fucking D in, it put a bit of he in, it gave about a hold of mana. Fucking limerick. I. <laughs> Why? What's the matter? You're feeling you feel hand jive when you tell that. Uh, 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 so you're not feeling uh, like a healthy guy. I don't. I, I don't know what it feels like. I, I'm. F I'm just a piece of shit. I feel like shit, dude. I. Do I can't you? stop smoking. Yes, you can. Oh, I'm you fucking chain knock smoking that now. Shit off. I'm. I'm literally coughing on the way over here with a cigarette in my mouth, out of breath. I fucking. I, I can't. Uh, I feel like shit. I, I don't know. I get like pains. Oh shit! No. Wait a minute, dude. That's Don't hard say that. Water, I'm just saying. You know, you, you gotta be careful. You with gotta those stop, pains. Bobby. Stop smoking. Seriously. Yeah, stop smoking. I did. If fucking Voss, if that bag of shit, who is a slave to his fucking dumbness more than anybody, can quit smoking, <laughs> dude, he used to fall asleep with cigarettes in his mouth. Yeah. He's fucking there was black spots on his floor because cigarettes would fall. Oh, he should have burnt. <laughs> He, he got it quick. He did. It's, he just wasn't there. Oh, I know he wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't even spoken to Voss about that I whole know, thing. We got to get him on. Yeah, about his burnt you guys out have condo. A, you have, you have, your good friend's house burnt down, and you haven't. I know talked we to haven't him. said anything. I talked to Voss. Yeah, oh, you talked that to him. night. He called me. Oh, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Say yeah. 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 I was thinking of Voss last night though, because I was watching. Okay. Um, uh, what the fuck movie was it? Where he was doing the lines from it. Uh, Louis Beans. Oh, yeah, Bronx Tale. Yeah, Bronx Tale. I was watching a Bronx Tale. I was watching a Bronx Tale last night, and uh, when that whole line comes up, and it's a little different in the movie because it was the actual stage uh, one-man show yeah, it was not version Johnny, of the it was script. Funny. Yeah, and it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't Louis Beans. It was Louis Dumps. Call him oh, Louis Dumps in, okay. uh, in, in the movie. But, um, yeah, watching that, though, you read, Sean? Oh, <laughs> shut up. That was at the old studios, right? Yeah, the old, yeah, yeah. Old. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Fucking, you gotta stop though, man. If you're feeling the chest pain, that's your body. That that's your body going. 
<laughs> That's your fucking body going, like, letting you know. <clears throat> you know you're, you're, you're my age, man. I just got a new cigarette case, though. It's kind of uh, jazzy. Yeah, yeah cool. You're James Bond. <laughs> You'll have a nice case to lay in, too, stupid. <laughs> no, because a cigarette pack won't fit in my jeans. I needed something thinner. <laughs> You're not, bum, you're not 20. I'm not trying to bum you out, but you're fucking 42. It's like I'm not 42. I'm 40. Whatever you are, you're Jeez, my age. It's a almost. big fucking wow. difference. But that literally, you are at that age where your fucking body will shut down if you don't stop smoking. You got to stop. I I stopped. If I I love to smoke, I get it. I'm, Everyone I'm a loves slave, smoking. dude. It's just fun. like you and my, kids. It I'm makes not you look cool right either. Anymore. I love to compulsively eat. Like I'm, I'm Bobby. You and I are the same fucking guy. I know. I know. Um, I acknowledge I like trannies a lot more than you wait, do. Wait, 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 believe wait. me, there's a lot of cocks out there with your name on them, my friend. <laughs> Quit smoking and start stop sucking. Being so selfish when I ask you in the QT, <laughs> and you go, I don't hurt her. But you got to stop, seriously, man. And it's like fucking. Uh, you because you, you're Bobby. You, Bobby's a compulsive guy. Like when you're going to the gym. Yeah. You go a lot and you get into shape and you lose your weight. You can lose the weight. You got to stop smoking. You got to just bite the fucking bullet. Fuck it. It's so fucking. Take everything else out of your mouth. Pretend it's a piece of cake and bite it. It's so hard, though, fucking being married and losing weight and quitting smoking. She smokes, too. We usually wind up quitting and I'll get stressed out and I get fucked up. I usually get my anger issues come back. Yeah. I mean, I fucking hate everybody. Really? Yeah, my therapist has been gone. They all go away for the month August. of August. They just go away. Is that like what they do? That's yeah. the big like that's the month. Big, yeah, big vacation month. So nothing happens in August uh, where you, you need like a, no. A lot of shit happens. Chat? A lot of shit happens. I'm just talking to myself, muttering down the street. Fucking women, fucking twats. <laughs> they all fucking suck. I was at the cell the other night, and every woman that walked up, I, I don't hate women. Wow. But that voice. You do. That fucking voice. That, excuse me, um, it's like the gay accent. Like, why do gay guys talk like, oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. Women have an accent. Fucking dumb women have that. Excuse me, do you know how to get into the cellar? I mean, it's it's like a, an octave above the rest of us. Yeah, it's called a girl's voice. Yeah, they, it's an octave above <laughs> usually. Or if you're they with have Jimmy, stupid it's holes. an octave below. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like trays. <laughs> 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 so, so just their voice alone, not like a because I can understand a woman that's talking like this. That doesn't bug me. That's just a woman's voice. That doesn't bug me. A chick, hey, how you doing? That doesn't. Girls like, hey, how are? They have regular voices, but there's that girl, like rich, white, young girl. Sometimes they they go into the. Older chicks too, but it's that. Excuse me. Um, we're trying to get into the cellar, like that Valley Girl. Oh, oh I got it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah, yeah. and they're at the restaurant, and they're louder than everybody. You know, you whispering like, "Yeah, man, uh -huh. that was really good." Time. And they're in the back, like, so he comes in my house, and I'm like, "Get out of here!" And it's like, "Shut the fuck!" Wow. Fucking, don't you know restaurant voice? I don't want to fucking <laughs> listen to you. You f and I. Every girl that walked up to me Saturday night, and it fucking hurt my self-esteem because I can't sit out in front of the cellar without somebody thinking I'm a door guy. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm a comic. I was on TV. Anything? Yeah, nothing. nothing, nothing. The worst is when they say that to you at the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you were good. You were good. Thank you for letting us in. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my eggplant was cold. Good <laughs> improv, because that's what you order in a comedy club. Oh, <laughs> eggplant. Ass, all I have ass, ass, black guy with a sweater yeah. on. <laughs> You're at Voss's comedy clubs, because they're at fucking real restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is Parmesan? <laughs> all right. Can I have Kenoki? You gotta, quit, you gotta quit smoking. I used to bug Voss all the time too after a certain point. You were just gonna cough, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you gotta stop. I cough so bad in the morning now. Oh, no. Alright, really? I'm gonna tell you this. Oh, I cough so bad in the morning I almost pass out. Like you get your blood pressure in your head just like <laughs> No, like like it, I and I and I'm starting to like it. Like Oh, it's like a high. Like, it's like I'm getting to the point where I'm like I'm like, you know, you're almost passing out where you go numb a little bit. Holy your head goes shit. numb. Shit. <clears throat> this is not a and, good and I, thing. But wait a minute, I blame it on the AC. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Because I have a deviated septum, the way I sleep, I'm overweight, all the phlegm gets stuck in my chest. Uh huh. Um, and when I wake up, I have sinus issues and stuff. When I wake up, it's all phlegm, you know, from the AC and the room being cold, and I it just gets trapped in my throat. No. How many packs a day you smoke? 17. Oh, that's not bad. I thought it was more. All right. Yeah, I, I have to two fucking rip the filters off now, which 12. bugs me. Was it a pack, pack and a half? <laughs> I smoke... What do you uh, smoke, too? 
I smoke. Uh, I can't tell you what I smoke. Come on. Why? Because Why I'll show you. Virginia uh, Slims. Yeah, I smoke. I like them. I like them. <laughs> I like them slim and misty. <laughs> Misties. Slim, uh, no, slim and sassy. That's I hated when I was smoking and having a bum of cigarette, and and, and it would be right. like, hey, you got a cigarette, and a girl would give you like a misty or a fucking Virginia Slim. I like one of those. Just something you just smoking oh, like those. Buford T. Justin with your hand wide open. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He'd, get, he'd take a drag of that cigarette with his hands like he's saying, like he couldn't fucking, he's telling someone a mile away the number five, five. Yeah. He's holding all fingers up, puts it right in front of his face. Mm. Yeah. Hey, boy. But his fingers went out. When he took a haul, they went out a little bit. He went, yeah. And then they closed back up. Yeah. Here you go. Funny, Here you go. Gleason. This is what I smoke. Camel, uh, Jesus. Camel, Camel number nines. Number nines. A lot of people are smoking. They're very trendy. Well, they're actually smooth. But I used to smoke the American Spirits, but those really, I was those are horrible. I would wake up all night and cough off of those. Engine cigarettes. I gotta say, I'm getting like, I'm getting freaked out. Your health is, your body is telling you that if you don't stop, your health is going to fail for real. But I'm thinking that sometimes when people get a heart attack, it's the thing they need in life. <laughs> To jumpstart the rest of their lives. No, it's the thing people it, around them need. To jumpstart the rest of their lives. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, Jesus. It seems like so after somebody gets sick, yeah, they get their shit together for like 20 years. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, unless it's too late. You know? <laughs> unless it's fucking too There are some people that have health issues in like their 60s. Yeah. And it's just over. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, yeah. If you get colon <laughs> cancer, oh, was it prostate cancer in your 60s? They're like, you know what? Just keep it. Uh, don't worry. You ain't going <laughs> to die until you fucking would have been dead anyway. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, if you're a big fat fuck and you're, you, you know, as old as fat fucks live to, just don't even die it. But, but yeah. it yeah. also, uh, you can have a stroke, man. It's not just a oh, fucking yeah. heart attack. Yeah. Stop being that comic. Oh, oh no. Dude, we already had for you. the bear eating uh, your face we off had, we comic. Had burnt Bobby. We burnt had Bobby. We did bear have, Bobby. We had, wait, what happened? We did have, we had burnt Bobby where he did the act after he was in a fire and he had no ears, <laughs> no <laughs> lips, and no eyelids. And he's up there still being funny. Yeah. Still got the spirit. <laughs> and then uh, just recently when he was on the show, we had mountain lion <laughs> or bear attack Bobby where his face was eaten away and it was all just scar tissue, no eyes left. Yeah. Someone's got to guide him up on stage. Yeah, I have no hands. No I'm hands. Yeah. Your yeah. two stumps grab the stand. Yeah. My stand. It has to be left there. But if, if it falls down, an audience member has to help you. Yeah. Yeah. But I make jokes. I go, I, I'd applaud too, but I can't. Look. Oh, and <laughs> then just smash your stumps together. Yeah, it's, it sounds like wood clanging There's together. Uncomfortable chuckles in the uh, audience. Everyone's just horrified. You keep in your pocket like a smoking jacket. Keep both stumps in your pocket because you're repulsive to look at. <laughs> and then the stroke, Bobby. We don't want to say uh, <laughs> uh, no we don't want to see that Bobby. you know people are saying to me how do you get around and i say i just a stroke or two uh, what? Uh, you know what you try what you would try to make it yours you know what? i used to play golf <laughs> but now i'm down in a stroke uh, uh, i wish i could take a stroke off my game of life <laughs> You know, when I swim, I do the breast and face stroke. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. And now some impression. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Dick Clark. <laughs> Oh, see? Uh, no, Dick Clark is nine, eight, seven, six. Two more numbers. Five. <laughs> Two more numbers. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, wow. Why don't you start with 40? <laughs> I did start it. <laughs> oh, you really, uh, yeah, you, you got you to gotta quit the smoking. Uh, smoking is probably the single worst thing you could do to your body. You smoked, smoked right? I think. Oh, yeah. How yeah, many I years you smoked for? Many for? Years. Uh, on and off <laughs> from the time I was like 17 till like wow. early 40s. I've been smoking since I was 10. Oh, on and off. Yeah. Sure. I quit for nine years, though. Yeah, yeah. I quit I, for I, nine years. I, I quit for like five sober. years at one point. Yeah. And then I, I quit for like a year. And then you just go, eh, fuck this. I got I to gotta smoke. It's great. I quit when I got sober for nine years. And then I started smoking cigars mid-sobriety somewhere. Yeah. And 
So I just put you over the up. edge. Yeah, I picked up bots. Then I quit for two years, and I quit. And then I quit last month, last year for like six. <laughs> six I remember months. when you quit at one point, and like Bobby, watching Bobby, because again, we're the same dude. Yeah. Like when you start smoking again, I'm like, I can't have one. Like, it's tempting once in a while to have a cigarette. Like, oh, you know, of course. But then I see Bobby, who's right back to it. It's like, well, why? If that happened to Bobby, it'll happen to me. I'm not better than him or, or different than him. Yeah. Uh, you gotta Except stop. Career. Oh, House, uh, please. women, I got nothing, dude. Money I, after two thousand fucking penis. eight. I seen your dick. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's fucking, <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's it's been in a lab getting tested on. <laughs> it has been. The lab is it should called... have a it should have a numbered tattoo on the side of it. The lab is called the meatpacking district. <laughs> Fucking, uh, they don't hang out there anymore. I'm just oh. <laughs> you, you got to, uh, you got to stop, man. And then you fucking come on. It's like there's no, there's no day that will be magically. Um, you know what made me stop? I told you it was that contest we had. Oh, and God, fucking yeah. uh, that guy. at WNEW, it was fucking December seventh, two thousand one. And I'm sitting there, and Anthony said, "I think you were, you were stopped at this point." Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there, and I smoked Parliament at the time. And I'm like, I would go in the hallway and smoke. And I'm like, All right, I'm gonna quit after this pack. And Anthony just got so disgusted. He goes, just throw him out. Throw it away now. Just quit. Because everybody wants to have, like, one more pack or one more cigarette. It's like, if you want to quit, you got to just throw it away right now. And I always said, you never, you never uh, end up just with a cigarette in your mouth, lit, inhaling, going, what happened? There's a whole chain of events that have to take place before you are actually smoking a cigarette. Yep. And during that time, you're an individual. You're a, a smart guy. You know to be like... All right, if I put this in my mouth and put a match to it, I'll be smoking. Let's not do that. <laughs> well, I had one more. And then you're not smoking. I said, I'm going to have one more cigarette. And I took the pack and I crumpled it up. I kept my last cigarette and I went into the hallway at NEW. And I still can't believe that that was my last cigarette. Yeah, but as, as, up to, to now, that was it. And uh, I but, went right down to the cellar. They were still smoking in the cellar at that point. And fucking Esty marched me down the street to get the patch and fucking, I just, I just took it just a day. Didn't want time. you in the club. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I see, I'm supposed to be on stage. It's okay. Don't worry. Eventually, you're going to call people, tell yeah. them to get AIDS and get the taxi <laughs> and get bad press for the club. She put the patch over his mouth. <laughs> yeah, or over my ears or something. I don't oh, know. Something like that. It's fucking AIDS. You got to quit though, bro. And I, and I know no. Yeah, but I don't like to not quitting, quit right? If you like uh, addictive personality, it's sure. a, it's a gene. If you you have it. Mm -hmm. It's it, you know scientifically proven that <laughs> yes, some people are we do yeah. addictive. When I have addictive personality, you do. Yes. Voss does. Everybody we yeah. know does, right? Yes. But okay, if we give, if I give up smoking, and then you know food is fucking killing me too. You know yeah. it's back on the fucking menu. Yeah. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then and then I quit smoking, quit that, and you quit the sex addiction. There's nothing left. I mean, I'm, I haven't done drugs or drinking for 25 years. This is what goes through my head, though. I know. I, it's like, okay, and am, am I going to go to that, and then I'm going to ruin my fucking life? With, and, 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 you know, at least with the smoking and the eating, it's sociably acceptable and tolerated, and people really don't fuck with you every once in a while. So you can kind of hide in the darkness with it. You can, you, can, you can sneak that shit and get fat, get skinny. People make fun of you. They say you look good. No, they don't. It's a... <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on, I'm not really? going to interrupt you, Mike, but what you said right there, what Bobby just said, I I'll look at sex like that. Like, the the rationale you're using to smoke, like, that's what addiction is. Like, and I'll think to myself, like, yeah, so what if I fucking get a whore? I mean, at least I'm not fucking giving myself cancer. At least I'm not huh. doing drugs. It's like every addiction is the at least. And if you, you're shooting heroin, you can't go at least. You go, well, at least I'm not as bad as that guy. But that's the, those at least are the fucking worst words of the English language. Yeah, it allows yeah. us to do anything. But I, I understand that, dude. Yeah, it's it's scary though because I don't want to. Mm. I know how fucking weak my brain. I look. I know I've quit drinking. I know my brain is that powerful. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's amazing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Wow. <laughs> but it's <laughs> be terrible. Like what? What do you do when you don't drink? <laughs> Shit! But there's, a, there's wow. something they call when you quit drinking. They say we're afraid we're going to be the hole in the donut, like we're not going to exist. And that's how I felt say with donuts. <laughs> but that's how we stay addicted to shit. You feel yeah, like there's yeah. nothing that will replace this giant piece of my life. But there's oh, then you realize it's just a horrible distraction. I get so much more shit done when I'm not like jerking off sexually. I write more. <laughs> I'm fucking, when I'm not acting out, I'm being creative. Yeah, when it's, I'm not it, passed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I, like I, was I was talking to somebody about alcohol. I don't, I don't get it. I don't care, you know, if people drink, but I don't, it's, it's fucking poison. 
it's fucking poison that they yeah. have to add shit to to make it tolerable uh. because your taste buds instinct as soon as you put it in your mouth your whole body goes ugh, ugh. you yeah. can't swallow alcohol without going ugh. i mean it's fucking it's a, it's gross a, it, when you think about it it is a deadly poison it's a deadly poison it, 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 in, in 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 quantity it can kill you in right. one in one sitting not uh -huh. even over time yeah. or things like that but it poisons you just enough to fuck your body up and make you like, ah, this is cool, I'm drunk. <laughs> that's right. really fucking, that's odd when you think about it. It's like, I just want to poison myself enough to stumble around a little bit and not being able to talk, not be able to talk. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it really like is Like I was weird. talking to my Jack Vaughn about it. I'm like, I don't get it. Why these people, because I was down the cellar Friday and Saturday, and it gets so crazy down there yeah. you know, on McDougal. But and everybody who's there, young and old, are there to poison themselves, just just enough Get housed, so they don't die, right? Yeah. And the, and you can see the beginning of the night. It's like, uh, excuse me, do you know where? And then it had the guy. Tw at two o'clock is like fuck the fights, people screaming, dumb girls stumbling with one high heel on, holding the other broken <laughs> one. So hot. <laughs> I love that Listen shit. Listen to yourself coughing. Bobby, they're, um, they're going to pull a piece of your fucking tongue or Jesus, jaw out. Oh, tell oh you. God. you got to stop, Oh, brother. no. If I can quit. I don't, I don't like that he actually got happy when he said that. <laughs> oh, no. Like he, he Roger would buy Ebert. My, he would buy my jaw off eBay and put it, have me sign it. I would just, no, I would just, I would, I would put it in a bottle like a ship and say the fucking, the, the something that has launched a thousand dumb thoughts. <laughs> You got I'm serious, man. You got to fucking stop. Hey, that's that's funny. the, jaw, the that's jawbone funny. of an ass. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I just said that over him first. Let him punch I it. I really should. The something. I know. Something. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about me talking about something stupid. Saying stupid thing. He goes, the something that said dumb the, things. Why don't you go get the patch today? Just have one more cigarette, dude. And no, it's, it's, it's the summer. Uh, you know what really fucks me up is I have two cartons at the house. Oh, at wow. 100 Oh yeah, at how much money is that? That's one hundred and twenty dollars. How much is one fucking? How Amazing. much is how much is fucking one gig you lose because you're having fucking radiation? It's just I mean, probably the same amount of money. Oh. So I would say probably. Oh. See something saying to me, sooner park away. I was <laughs> get rid of the fucking I'm so, cigarettes. I'm man. such a dink. I was doing the math in my head. <laughs> yeah, like what? he was seriously asking me. <laughs> don't, you don't need to finish two more cartons. You you can quit after these cartons. I'm yeah, done. But dude, that's <laughs> the irrational part of it. Is that you know my chick smokes? So what? And she, I mean, it, it's like that's what's always brought me back. That always got me back smoking. If I broke up with a girl, got with a new girl, and she smoked, yeah, bam, I was smoking. Your chick's but, a good it's girl. It's even with though, food too. No, she's a great. I, I'm Ask fucking. Ask her not to smoke in the house. Here's the deal: is that even with food, like she's been on my my twat for the last three weeks about what I eat. No, you can't get that. We have to get, and I, I hate it. Because I've been depressed and fucked up, you know, uh, but I, I, it's been working out. But yesterday she she was like, I want ice cream. And I'm like, ding, ding. I'm like, okay. Ice cream. Yeah. The, uh, it's like drugs, man. And I'm like, well, go get one. And I start manipulating. Go have an ice cream. Feel, live your life. Come on, be happy. If it's going to make you happy. So she had an ice cream. And then later that night. I was like, I want an ice cream too. And she's like, oh, and she felt bad because she already yeah. had one. She's been a cunt to me about it. So then she's like, she she went, we went and go. I was okay for me to get an ice cream. And then this is what a fucking sicko I am. We go down to get an ice cream. She gets one cone, one scoop. I come up with a bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm lying. I'm lying. She goes, what's in there? I go, I just wanted to get a bag because we were walking the dogs in case I have to pick up shit. I'll puke if I have an ice cream, you know. She's like, okay. We get home. I take my ice cream out of the bag. She goes, oh, my God. <laughs> you just load it up. Four scoops in a fucking giant vat. Did you eat the whole fucking thing in one sitting? No. <laughs> of course you did. Yes, <laughs> I can look. First of all, I don't think ice cream. I think I have a superhero power. Yeah, and ice cream doesn't affect me. Oh, okay. Because I can eat a gallon of ice cream and I don't feel like shit. I no. can go right through it. If I eat pizza, I feel like shit. Chinese food, I feel like uh, any type of shit like that. I feel like you feel like a fat fuck 
I've never eaten ice cream and felt bad about myself. You're not after. supposed to eat so much ice cream that you feel full from it. Yeah. That's just it. Like Chinese food, pizza, everybody eats to the point where they're like, yeah, one more slice, or and you're like, oh, I'm packed. Uh, you're never supposed to say that with ice cream. <laughs> ice cream is a dessert. It's a little snack uh, while you're watching TV or something, and not a, an entire fucking container. It's really like just liquid. I mean, it melts. So before, yeah, yeah. So yeah it's, it's just it's like a. It's it's like water. Yeah, it's like it's water. It's just like water. You know, if you have like... Uh, like <laughs> so you... it's good for you, what you're saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just... it's a gallon oh, ice cream. It's like a gallon sure. of water. It's just like a gallon of water. <laughs> How about you have some fucking frozen, like, sugar-free stuff? Like, I try to always find stuff with low sugar. So you, you, you can eat... It doesn't taste as good. It's I not as that. good, but you know what? It t does help fucking kill some... Like, I eat these stupid... 60 calorie sugar free puddings. I'm not saying they're great for you. I have them, but they're better than the ice cream alternative. Yeah. I, you know, what I did last night. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fucking Jerk great off. eater. Yes, into my own mouth. <laughs> I made guppy noises. <laughs> no, I fucking do. This is what I did. I bought some peanut butter and I took one. Oh, hang on, I, gotta get, I have to get that visual out of my fucking <laughs> yeah. head. I just pictured you with gills on the side of your I cheeks, go, mm, 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 making mm. guppy noises. I got one thing of peanut butter. Took, strings oh, between us. I took <laughs> one <laughs> scoop of fucking light peanut butter. Like just one small scoop of peanut butter, a small te teaspoon, uh, and then I just fucking ate. It was gross, but it satisfied. <laughs> I had a fucking a low fat whipped cream, sixty calorie Ooh. pudding, and I'm fucking dipping it in the chocolate pudding, and then the whipped cream, and I'm just like, your house is a party. <laughs> but I mean, it, it, it's opposed to Jizz eating a pudding, <laughs> yeah. a thousand calories of ice cream. It's hard yeah, not to yeah, eat, dude. It's yeah. fucking hard. A hundred calories of jizz. I I, re <laughs> very hard. I, I realize the only reason it's, my house is packed. With goodies, yeah, I have goodies I all over my house, but I don't eat closet. the fucking things. Yeah, it's an, that, a, uh, uh, it's an entire closet full of like fucking chips and, and dips and uh, <laughs> what, and then the candy. There's like fucking, and that just got restocked by the way, so you'll you'll love that. Yeah, your New house Kit is like Kat Willy Wonka, and fucking uh, <laughs> Hershey bars, like chocolate bars and stuff. But the the one thing that saves me is nothing goes good with beer. And if I'm going down to the bar area, and that's where, like, all the big glass jars of chocolate is, uh, I'm not going to grab a Hershey bar and a beer. It just doesn't go together. It's so I grab the beer. Greatest rap <laughs> I've it? ever heard. I just rationalized I why wait. I'd rather have I the beer. I can't wait to hear that in an AA meeting someday. <laughs> I, thought I, was, I thought I was dieting. Uh. Yes, I, I avoided the chocolate. It's funny, too. I go to Ant's house, and I always fucking feel... I got to start bringing stuff there, because I go there, and fucking piggy tits... <laughs> Runs right to Ant's fucking pantry. I literally don't even acknowledge he's alive. <laughs> Hello, what's up? Hello, Ant. Bad gift treats. Because I feel like I'm not going to get fat if I'm eating at stupid's counter. I don't know why. <laughs> he's got candy everywhere. He's got jars of candy. I know. There's like candy oh. everywhere and, and, and just snickety snacks yeah, everywhere. 15 year olds and candy. Oh, a big pool. <laughs> candy. Ant's house is a magical retreat. It really is. It's amazing. I mean, you're not Instead more of a, of a disaster than you are. I it is amazing be, yeah. you function at all. Instead yeah. of flowers, he has, he has 18 year olds buried up to their neck with their <laughs> yeah, pussies right. open like a flower. Like you can look hell. You go by. Like Rory Calhoun, you <laughs> lock their heads off and fuck them. Up, upside down, looking like Preservatives. An <laughs> it's amazing Ant comes uh, into work at all, though. Like, literally, I, I would oh, never I have him come into work. Believe me, I don't know how you do it. It's so hard to just leave. I, come on, stop touching at me. any given moment, I would rather just be home. Where are you this weekend? This uh, Friday night, I'm at uh, uh, Uncle Vinny's. Uh, in, How about in, Saturday? You back in the city? Uh, Saturday, no, I'm I'm, I'm at SUNY Delhi. Oh, okay. remember that gig? Yeah, yeah I know oh. it was a Saturday gig. That gig, we we did this gig. It's a up college, way up in the middle of nowhere. You either bomb or you do good. I mean, I've seen people just eat. I mean, bomb. They Ugh. fucking bomb. It's a predominantly black audience. Um, I'd say what seventy percent black, maybe. Yeah. The, the SUNY Delhi. Yeah, from like the Bronx and Brooklyn, and right. they go up there and they. And uh, they're usually cool, but I I did great up there, and I was so cocky. I was going up with Norton a long time ago, and he was I was mi I was middling. He was headlining. I was like, this is gonna be fine. I walk out, and I s I just said the wrong thing to this girl in the front row. Would you drop the end bomb? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> angrily while pointing in an accusing fashion. I went, hey, what's up, Ashy? <laughs> he she went, what some lotion, bitch. Uh, have you had cocoa butter? Uh -huh. <laughs> something something stupid, and they just fucking. I was just bombing the whole time. Ugh. He goes up and just annihilates. And and by the way, and, and anyone that knows Bobby and my act, like in that situation, um, I never should have 
because I don't like going on after Bob. I, in the cellar, I don't give a fuck because, you know, uh, you follow anybody. But if you, I don't want to go on. I don't know how Gullman or Dane or any of these guys fucking follow me. I've said to Dane, like, what the fuck's the matter? Why would you bring him? Yeah, don't bring Bob. Like, he's literally going to fucking, <laughs> he's going to he's gonna murder. Yeah. So, I, you know, it's like, you don't want to follow Bobby in those situations. But that one, I was like, fuck. And our friend Heather was there, who's a waitress yeah. uh, from the cellar, who's, uh... <laughs> You know, it's her hometown. It's like you don't want to bomb in front of your fucking uh, cute friend. No. Oh, that was oh. a, that. But if we did that a thousand times, oh. nine hundred and seventy-five times, <laughs> I would bomb after him, and then twenty-five times out of a thousand, that would happen. He fucking he and I. I mean, really had a set. And I'm saying, you, you I'm not. I love Norton. I don't wish anything bad on him. But as soon as you bomb, yeah, in your head you go, no, oh, he's gonna fucking oh, please bomb too. Bomb, yeah. I walk upstairs to the 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 upstairs room where you can look down on the stage of the theater. The guy just laughs at me like, ha, 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 like Marty? a bomb. Yeah, just starts laughing at me because he doesn't give a shit. The guy who books it, <laughs> yeah, he's just a great it's guy. Like, ah, ah, you yeah, suck. Yeah. I did one joke at the end that pulled it up at the last second. I went, I got a ha, 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 and I went, good night, thank you. Yeah. And he goes, you pulled it up at the end there. You were, bu you were just crashing. And then I look out, and Norton comes out, and I'm like, oh, well, let me watch this. Because you, you don't want it to be you. When, it, when both guys <laughs> yeah. bomb, it's like they then you the can audience sucked. Yeah. Then the ride home is going to be yeah. awesome. Oh, that place, those motherfuckers. Right. They didn't give a shit. Yeah, it's going to, especially with Norton's rage and my going back for three and a half hours, <laughs> fucking, and all the fuck. It would have been brilliant. It would have been like music. <laughs> and. He goes out and fucking annihilates. I mean, really has a one of the greatest sets I've seen up there. Oh, Just kills it. So the ride home must have been uncomfortable. Yeah. The ride home. Oh, you did good too, Bob. You did good too. Oh, no, the ride home was great. We fucking. I'm like, dude, you mind if I can get some food? He's like, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. I'm like, yeah, we're oh, I don't hungry. That, did I? He goes, I just want to get home. If we see something, we'll, we'll stop. But I, I really wanted you to get home because it's a shit ride through the mountains and blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a Far. sudden we see Triple X Book Shop on the other side of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Cuts. With the cops cut over on the highway? Yeah. Uses yeah. that. The no U-turn yeah. thing. Uses yeah. that U-turn, goes in. Now I'm, I'm starving. I'm depressed. I just ate my dick. I'm in a bookstore. And now I'm going to go eat a stranger's <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, I don't even know what the f I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm just trying to peruse porn, <laughs> right? And then he comes out. Fucking motherfuckers. He's angry. And I'm like, I'm running out after him. Like, what's wrong? Are you all right? He's like, the fucking assholes. Fucking goddamn cock sucking queer the guys kept it was a gay jerk off booth oh so shit. he went in to jerk off to some fucking porn the guys kept knocking on the door while he was in there just hey hey and he's like I i'm in here i'm in here i know <laughs> <laughs> i'm out here hence the problem i vaguely remember I, that <laughs> but fucking uh, believe me hence the problem i doubt he said it like that <laughs> when i would just yelled let was, me suck your was, cock through the door he, he was one of the three musketeers <laughs> <laughs> when i went hence into a place problem, like that it was uh, like j-lo walking in they <laughs> fucking uh, you can almost see the lights dim and a fucking spotlight go on me Young yeah. nubile boy. We all started doing a musical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they love you. Can me. sacrifice the sacro sitting in the back row. <laughs> no, I would Dude. actually walk in tunes. I would go, ah, cha cha. Everybody wants to get into my mouth and asshole. <laughs> he really was a gem. But he, he wouldn't stop for food. Wouldn't but stop the, for the food. Triple X place, He's, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not kidding how how the timing of this, I was like, dude, I'm really hungry. Yeah, I just want to get home. Really angry. Like, he's wanting to, I'm like, all right, cool. But he's like, if I see something, I'll stop. <laughs> I don't remember that Fucking part. right across, comes out, we're gone. That's the <laughs> night we went and we saw the guy. We stopped at the McDonald's next. Washing his dick in the sink? Washing yes. his dick in the sink. Maybe he was down the road. <laughs> and then we sucked him off. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, me and Bobby walked into a rest area. It was like it was like one in the morning, whatever it was. And we walk in. There's a guy standing. He was probably a trucker. Yeah. Or he just fucked somebody in the air. He's oh, standing probably, at the yeah. sink with his dick in oh. the sink washing it. Oh. Uh -huh. He probably had just fucked uh, either, either one of those lot lizards yeah. or whatever. Oh, you know what? And his dick probably yeah. stuck. Dunk. Never thought of that. He might have just fucked a lot. Anthony's probably right. Yeah. You know what's great? And then he sat to leave blah, 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 and just goes <laughs> and realizes his dick is is reeking over the the, the diesel fumes. <laughs> he can't even smell the diesel fumes. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like viper shit. Horrid <laughs> pussy all over his dick. But he sh the best part, he penguined back to the stall. 
That was oh, right. just dance around. Exactly. Yeah, he just he had to swing his hips from side to side. That is a guy that just doesn't give a shit. Mm. Why? Why That's care? Great. I don't remember that. I, I remember that, but I remember him going back to the. Uh, yeah, why he, care? He, yeah, it was fuck. That was a fucked up night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I mean, we all <laughs> had the wash the dick in the sink episode, but you know you do it in in private in a regular bathroom, not in a public bathroom. It's hard I, to do in your. You ever had to do that like like before you leave or something? I've had especially to wash the dick. Yeah. Uh, you're somewhere you're not supposed to be. <laughs> if you have like, dogs, too, especially. I have dogs. Oh, they'll I, come right up and fucking start sniffing like yeah, a drug dogs dog. Will, yeah, dog, if I you jerk got off. You a kilo in your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I jerk off, do, they'll fucking rap. They'll come up. Really? Yeah, they, but did, they, they smell just, like pussy on well, there. Well, they smell yeah. like a hundred times more than whatever the fuck that stat that some nerd just went. It's a thousand times. It's a thousand times. I got to type in. Uh, somebody know. call. It's, it, Sam, I want to tell him it's a thousand times better Footer. than yours. How many? <laughs> um, <laughs> we have a caller for you, Bob. It's a thousand times. <laughs> fucking stupid. Um, yeah, they'll fucking rat you out. Wives should watch that, I guess, huh? The husband comes home and the dog just sticks his fucking nose uh, into the crotch. Fuck yeah. You want to know if your husband's cheating? Get a shih tzu. <laughs> <laughs> get a shih tzu. Why? When he comes home and he's got fucking bacon in his crotch because the dog won't stop smelling his asshole and balls. <laughs> that's fucking foreign pussy. That's, uh, wow, I never thought of that. That's kind of a... Yeah, now there. guys are just going to come home with real bacon in their fucking balls. Yeah, here you go, boy. What are you... What, did you fuck somebody? No, I just dropped a cob salad in my shorts. Yeah, look, I brought some bacon home for the dog. <laughs> it's like throw him off the hook. Like in a video game when you got to get the guard dogs off of you. It's like, go to the room, put in the combo, get the steak from the fridge, throw it to the dogs. You got to come home with fucking bacon and throw it around your house. So you talk, leave a trail as you run to the shower and wash that whore off your dick. Yeah, kibbles and tits or something. See, that's funny, Chip. Ugh, Not really. I fucking hate Chip. <laughs> oh, we do have a, a from what I hear, there's a, a Chip, uh, a new Chip production piece. That's right. Ooh. Chip, uh, Chip getting just oh so famous. Well, Chip is very sexy, and a lot of the women want to fuck Chip's yeah. brain out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> women want to fuck Chip. You bet they oh, do. That's... Women love imitating Chip to annoy their significant others. <laughs> yeah, That's, apparently. They found a new way to just bug the shit out of their uh, loved one. I and can't wait till Chip. I make chips out of my wife's teeth. What's that? <laughs> Next time she does it. <laughs> yeah. You like Chip? <laughs> yes. How about this? <laughs> Whammo! Yeah, ice chips or something, right, Bobo? Oh, God. Bobo! Oh, oh, no. Oh, I, hate he, I hate when he enhances the character. <laughs> <laughs> Every day he makes it more real and real. Uh, Babo, fuck less off. Less funny. Chip. More real and less funny. I think we're going to have Amy Schumer coming in, too. Ah, the lovely yeah. Amy Schumer. Yeah, she's That'll into me. Nice well said, Sam. I she is, Chip. Yeah. <laughs> I know she is. I don't think so, Chip. Yeah, Amy Schumer should be Amy later instead of soon or something. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, uh, Amy's the best. She got me a pitch, a picture with Ad Rock in uh, Montreal. She is fucking. Oh, from the yeah. she's boy? fearless. She came. Oh, out, yeah, yeah. Ad Rock comes out of the fucking elevator. Amy's with her, this other comic, and she's she comes out. You know, Amy's a real pretty girl too. You she's know? just a fucking pretty girl with a <laughs> sense of humor. Where, do, where does that come from? Molestation. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I can> only hope. <laughs> But she comes out. I oh plan on making some comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Your history so far. I think you fucking. I think you, you've caused eight Roseannes, one Rita Rudner, and a, and a Latifa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, she's, she, she's coming. She is great. She, right but home. she got me. Uh, she goes Ad Rocks. I'm like, oh, give me a picture. She ran like to the elevator. And went, hold the elevator, and faked like she was getting on to go to the floor. And then we all got on the elevator, and uh, I, oh, what a shitty, I just, I, I caught his eye, tried to look away, because I didn't want to, I wanted to pretend uh, I, I, I just recognized enough. him, but I already saw him, <laughs> and I fucking kept it, I just kept going with it, uh, and then I turned around again, I went, hey, uh, <laughs> I literally did a circle, hey. I saw him, went to the ground, came back, action, hey you, oh my god, who is it, and then my, I go, can I get a picture, he goes, absolutely, and go, my wife goes, oh, this is creepy, like, out loud, I go, shut the fuck up, yeah, stop, <laughs> and then a he, moment he, here. he goes, 
He goes, oh, no, I'm creepy too. Take the picture. And I got the picture. Oh, it was a fucking brilliant picture. That's, in an elevator, they usually say yes because it's like no one else Where is are they around. Going? Yeah. 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 Well, I was nose to nose and I had him in the corner of the elevator. So, <laughs> yeah. We take a picture. <laughs> Me and Kenny followed Springsteen onto an elevator back into the building. And that's how I got my picture of Springsteen. We followed him onto an elevator. It was me, Kenny, Bruce, and his and guy. And he knew. Really? Of you course he did. followed him in the Dude, elevator. Dude, we followed. It was the same thing. We followed him on, and I'm just like, hey, and Bruce, can I get a picture? He's like, yeah, man. He just worked out. He didn't care. Yeah. Right. And we fucking went up to his floor, and he goes, you guys got to hit a button or something, because he got off, and we had no buttons. I'd we just rode back down. Uh, <laughs> I'd point to the camera in the corner and go, ask the security guy for, you know, for a picture, because he's got them all downstairs by the desk. I don't like that you would Oof. that you would think that you'd be like that that guy that would point and say that. No, you wouldn't. You're a I, nice guy. No, I said Bruce should have said that. Maybe. Oh, oh. Like like, hey, it's on security. Wow. <laughs> we should have went to the chip piece. No, fucking right. goddamn yeah, mustache almost wow. fell off on that one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh. That's all right. No, he should have pointed. <laughs> Oh. So we, should we break or no? Pilot to Bombardier. Yeah. Pilot to Bombardier. <laughs> yes, we will break and with Amy will be this. in shortly. Yes, Amy. Chip TV show on YouTube. Mm. Do you want to get off to the world's number one cyber star? What's up, baby? You want to get some dirty talk going? Then log on to Chip Chipperson's cyber sex chat and stuff. Dot com. Yeah, get it. I'm going to give some cyber sex. Uh. Once we have all your credit card information, we'll connect you directly to Chip himself for your very own private video chat. Oh, that's a nice dark nipple. I wouldn't mind getting some milk out of that. Ah, uh, watch and listen as Chip tells you his innermost desires and things. I'm, I'm gonna lay you back or something, and I'm gonna lick all the way down your neck like this. I'm gonna take my tongue and just go like, Ugh. He knows what you want. I'm gonna get down there and just start licking your fucking cooter really good. You're gonna come so much that your shoes are gonna make sloshy noises. He'll tease you. I'll just, I'll open up your cooter. I got, I got like long nails on my middle fingers. So I'll dig my nails into your cooter lips and I'll open them up and I'll just go like, oh, 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 oh. Explore you. And I'll get in there until you come so many times or whatever. Dominate you. I'll stick it right in you too. I'm gonna climb on like you're a tree or something and just cram my oats in you. Mm. If you were feeding a horse or something, visit Chip Chipperson Cyber Six Chat and Stuff dot com. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Oh, 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 oh. The virus, Sirius XM. Hi there, this is Troy, phone screener for the Opie and Anthony Show, here to help you with a helpful tip. When calling into the radio show, it's a good idea that you turn your radio down. Oh, and hey, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, make sure Opie knows he don't know shit from shit. Turn your radio down. What? I can't hear you. Am I on the air? Hey, asshole! Am I live right now? Hey, turn your radio down! Hey, you! Turn your radio down! Thanks, man. Punch it out. See? Wasn't that easy. It gets you on the air faster, and it makes you a better caller. Oh, and if you want to call the show, just look down at your radio. Yeah, right there. Take your eyes off the road and look down. See the number? Just call 866-WOW-1-WOW. That's 866-969-1969. Thank you, and have a nice day. Serious, serious XM. The virus. The virus. The Opie and Anthony Show. Oh, any reason we're playing ACDC? Is it no. an anniversary? Nope, nothing. Something? No, you just decided that was a good song. Yeah. I, and I agree. This no. is good. I just saw that Bobby's cough. Yeah. We, we, only, we only have the loop wow. that keeps going and going. I can Amy. do a good I can do an Hello, Amy. Good morning. Schumer. You didn't like my joke? I said the oh, song's no. about Bob's cough. Shoot me all night long. Yeah, we, we, night heard, we heard you. No, it's oh, going. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just I read know. your shirt, too. Gut mule. Oh. Ugh, fuck. Hi, Amy. Hi. Yes. Good morning, gentlemen. You Amy look gorgeous. Schumer. Uh, <laughs> all of you. Yeah. Yeah, we really, we gussied ourselves up you today because we knew you were coming in. Anne and has uh, like a Persian eye this morning. Yeah, I love yeah, what you did yeah. over there. It's fantastic. Fabulous. I want it to look like I want it to look like Pharaoh. <laughs> that is exactly what you look like. <laughs> uh, I was I was talking to you, uh, about about your Twitter account. I saw yeah. a tweet that said my Twitter account got hacked. Yeah. Sorry if you got like something. Yeah. And all I'm thinking is that's a great excuse 
<laughs> if you get a little ha hammered yeah. and uh, tweet something you're not supposed to. Right. And then you just go, shit, that was hacked. And I know, you know, Wiener tried that. By, but but that's like sending a picture and thing. If you say something inappropriate on Twitter, you could absolutely get away with it like once and go, I was hacked. But are there any hackers that just want to like drop the N word all over Twitter? No, they usually, it's uh, usually to hack more people. That would be, let me tell you, I just want to, <laughs> in advance, head this off at the past and say, Whoever hacks my account, that's what they'll do. Okay, yeah. that's true. That is absolutely what they would do. Well, they're uh, going to hack it in your voice. Yes. So. Yes. And if they hack, you know, my dumb basement show or anything on video, YouTube accounts, <laughs> yeah. it's always going to be that guy. Yep. Uh, he, <laughs> uh, well, actually, sometimes Keith the cop, if he comes to, uh, in my house and sees my computer open, he'll <laughs> check and see if I left the Twitter open, Facebook, and just put horrific things. Uh, on there. Well, that's because he cares about you. He really cares. It's mostly about gay sex, though. Some type of gay sex thing uh, that uh, I've been engaged in. Oh, okay. Uh, something so I had no clue about. Truth. But, well, that's yeah. a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's just trying <laughs> to get me out, mm -hmm. open myself up, let people know who I am. Yeah. And uh, so I don't have to live this lie anymore. No. Mm -hmm. No. We what, accept you. Yes. Thank you. What did, what did they uh, what they do to your your Twitter account? What did they do? They just um, Jesus oh Christ, Jimmy, Jimmy. What a, what a, loud. There's a girl what a in loud. here. I'm a lady, Jim. I'm wearing a skirt today. God. Come on. Um, uh, oh my God, I just queefed. <laughs> uh, Let's see which one smells worse. I'm gonna win this one. I'm gonna win this one. Yeah. Skirt ruffled this like a party favor. <laughs> Old pennies versus flounder. <laughs> I could be. They're both gonna smell like cum. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god mine smells like my dad i'm confused <laughs> oh, i'm confused uh yeah they didn't do anything they didn't do anything bad no uh, nothing really it was yeah. lame it was a lame one yeah yeah i i uh do, do you tend to tweet more if you've been uh drinking on the sauce a little bit for yeah sure. yeah i'd like to, i i just realized you can delete tweets yeah that's been helpful uh, probably yeah but if someone copies it first then you're like then you're kind of and then everyone knows you deleted it yeah, yeah so then it's like oh i see yeah you're embarrassed by it and then i because i notice i i do tweet a lot after uh i have a few i noticed that too about yes you. <laughs> yes uh, at like 3 a.m on a, a friday or saturday night Oh, every other tweet's mine. It's Yours amazing. is always, frame, frame, Yours frame, is always frame. a retweet too. You have a lot, like the, what the guy said, and then your response. Yeah. Yes, because I I don't really tweet a lot of my own stuff. I take yeah. other people's stuff and then I yell at it. Yes, I get very. I'm a fun guy to hang out with when I'm been I've been drinking. <laughs> Just yeah. ask Jim. Yeah. Oh great. Oh, he's a ball of a yeah. really good time. I, sometimes you don't hear the same story. You're like, I want to hear that 80 more times <laughs> to make a hundred percent sure I got you, it. I really do. Just you retweet redundant. yourself I, in conversation. I, in conversation, it's like being at fucking Billy Batts's party. <laughs> kind of like I it. gotta get what's fucking coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> just you're in shorts with a gun. Oh, oh my terrible. god, that's how I picture you. Well, not you. in the pool though. No, you not know. in the pool. The pool, no, you got to put the pool. gun up by the edge of the yeah. pool. Yeah, sure. That way, uh, if any, you know. Undesirables. No, actually, if any unruly teens, as yeah. I've been noticing in the paper, uh, they just call uh, criminals unruly teens. Yes. Yeah. They showed up at your house, they'd just be looking for their girlfriends. Yeah. Isn't that your dating pool in? <laughs> <laughs> unruly teens. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I know but, why you hang out in the pool. You don't need your gun there because you know everyone in there will be white. That's true too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I, I just if anything happened, I would just have to go to the deep end and <laughs> yeah, go. Ha, exactly. ha, what are you going to do? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Try to get me. Yeah, <laughs> we get it, Anthony. No, that's <laughs> trouble, trouble swimming. <laughs> <laughs> no, swim. but, but but I'm not an, I'm not an angry drunk. I might repeat my stories eighty times and uh, uh, laugh a little too hard at things and talk too loudly. Uh, but I'm I'm home, so I don't care. But but uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't get nasty. I'm not like a nasty drunk, but with Twitter, I will get really nasty w reading someone's tweet and then yeah. retweeting it. I have to be like, yeah, your mother's fucking cunt stinks. <laughs> right. and, and, and it's like, really, why did I have to? Why would I write that? Well, you wanted them to know. Yeah. <laughs>
That's like the literal ones, yeah. which are You're occasionally like, I have that to tell happens. you this. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to have to tell you this here. But... I know your mom, <laughs> and I her cunt does indeed cunt. smell. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes someone will just say something like, you know, you suck, and then I'll put your mom's cunt smell down. I don't even really All know. All mom's cunt smell, though. Exactly. Come on. They have to. Well, they've had babies. They, they haven't had sex. <laughs> yeah, your dad's dirty fingers yeah. in them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's oh a mechanic. It's like when you buy an old car, the back seat just smells musty like ghosts. Yeah, like a, there's a new car smell and an old car smell. Yeah, mom's cunt that an one. Old car smell. Mom's yeah. like mom's cunt is an old car yeah. smell. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how many of those pine tree freshness do you well, jam I'm, in there. I'm thirty, so what? Like, where would I be in the car? Twenty eight. Yeah, you'd be a new. You'd, yeah, you'd be a, well to continue talking. If you're talking to him, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. For him, yeah. I'm like tales from uh, the crypt. I'm yeah, like the crypt keeper. No. Your pussy has vines on it. Oh. <laughs> The second the hair grows in, that holds the smell. I'm done. Oh, God. Put down the rattle. Come with Papa. Yes. Get over here. Oh, God. No, it, His dream it, is a girl with two baby arms. I'm like, yes. That's great. It's legal and it works for me. Yeah, nothing better than seeing a hand yeah. grab your cock with those inverted knuckles. <laughs> a pussy that never grew. Oh, God. Oh. I hate tiny pussies on adult women. What? No, it's fucking awful. Like a really? little midget pussy. Well, like tiny. Bird lips. <laughs> what? You don't like Sometimes bird they're lip really lips. tiny. Oh, they're awful. Yeah, like a little underdeveloped pussy. What? Uh, it's awful. called a guy's asshole. <laughs> yeah, what, you, <laughs> that's what it really means. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are you talking about? No, Eat my pussy, I, I don't Norton. think I've ever seen a. Like, what do you mean? The lips themselves they, yeah, the aren't fat? Bit, yeah, they're just or the thin and slit itself? He doesn't like, he likes big. No, no, but I mean, even, pussy not lips. even big. Like, Inside? I, yeah, just sometimes just pussies are dumb looking. It's yeah. like shallow. It's like a belly button. You just yeah, get in there. Just and like, what is that? It what, like a, a puppet on Avenue Q? It's like an what, eye. What do you mean dumb looking? It's like an eye. <laughs> is, really? Oh it's God. just not, not no. quite. I like uh, a package. I like. I, he likes the big pussy lips. I like the. I like a little pussy lip or the package pussy, and you open it and there's some lips. I don't like big, huge pussy no, lips. No, he likes the explosion at the Steakums factory look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wants like, to feel like it could swallow oh. him up. Yeah, yeah, a very Venus flytrap pussy. Yeah, yeah like, I want it to look like a fucking, like, the, the end of an arm after a hand has been ripped off in a grinder. <laughs> oh, God, that's yeah. so awful. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, the type I, of cunt I like. I, oh, oh, Jim, whoa. come on now. Whoa. I had one, I almost threw up. I had one of those the, I guess they can open up their pussies if they control the. It, it, what? It's what? Just, oh, like pussy, they could do it with their mind. Open yeah. Wow, their that's vagina. fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's a superhero power. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm but, doing it. Don't nobody talk. Oh wow! Nobody talk. Oh my god! I need to god. focus. That's okay, amazing. It's shut, it's shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I just was going to say something, but sometimes you know it's just going to bomb. Uh, oh, thank God. No, Wait, so uh, you saw a girl opening and closing it with her, like using the force? Yes. Well, she fucked a guy Jedi before pussy. me with a big, big cock. Really big cock. How soon before? Like three seconds? Like during. Yeah. Like you just pulled out. But here's the deal. <laughs> you cuckled. Here's the deal. Back in the day, I banged this chick with a friend of mine, but his dick was just fucking gig it was like the thing holding this microphone up wow, a mic boom. with the microphone yes, mic you black? <laughs> he was black yes thank you amy <laughs> i didn't want to say it oh, okay well because that's I didn't why wanna... i'm here <laughs> they are black though the boom i'm so telling you he's fucking accurate. he walked in we were hanging out he walked in and we both went wow really wow and yeah, I had to get like I. You I, gotta watch how you say "wow" at a guy's. Yeah, you, you're getting excited. I, I, if it's I amazing, him, it's I like that, "wow, did, that's that's big" or "wow." Hmm. Well, <laughs> hello, no, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. It wasn't sing songy fag. <laughs> I go wow, 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 hey, big wow. spender. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it was. I told him, I go, dude, I'm not gay, but I'm gonna look at your cock for at least ten more seconds. Yeah, just <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen a dick like this in my life. Wow. Not even on a fucking move like holy shit well let's let's hear more about this yeah so he laid he wound up fucking her and she was i i almost i was i was just you know when you do a two uh threesome you're supposed to get one guy gets girls one guy gets head (laughs) (laughs) one guy gets gets head and the other one fucks her you stay away and then you make goofy faces at each other you're supposed to go you know high five once in a while and then go back to ooh ooh ha ha you know (laughs) maybe in junior high (laughs) what the fuck are you doing but he he was was fucking her one on one Texas Hold'em on her back (laughs) with your pal Uno throwing cards down (laughs) flock smacking on her sweaty back sticking you have a dealer (laughs) yeah 
Now that's a threesome. That is one in the, the one in the pussy, one in the mouth. She's on all fours, a dealer, and you're just playing cards on her back. Fantastic. And the river. Oh, man, yeah. oh that's gonna hurt. I'm all in. What? The hand on my cock. Very to the balls. I'm all in. <laughs> Uh, oh my god! <laughs> so you're uh, you're you're tag teaming. You're high, yeah, you're making up handshakes. She uh, she uh, she was screaming like she was being murdered. Mm. Like really, like I was I was kind of looking down like concerned. Do you need help? But you're still blo like making <laughs> yeah, her but, like fucking her face. But, <laughs> Are you okay? Tell me. Like, just raise a hand. Raise an yeah, arm. Yeah. Listen, lick Blink my nose. Mumble, mumble it around my <laughs> fucking dick like Muggsy talking yeah. around his cigar. <laughs> Tap on my balls three times with your tongue if you need help. Man, my pussy hurts, see? <laughs> so he's banging her bad. Yeah, but, but he, well. I kind of backed out of it at one point. I got a little, for me to get uncomfortable, I can handle some freaky shit. But I, I got, un, I was like, eh, fuck it. And I backed away because she was real. She couldn't even blow me anymore because she was going, oh. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! Or maybe she just Help! made her choice. <laughs> Police! <laughs> Dad! So I backed off. Yeah. I, I came off. And he wound up banging her doggy style like on the couch. And I went in the other room and I kind of took my shit, you know, my sh my rubber, you know, all the shit that I had on. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Rubber. And I came what back out. Galoshes, he means. I would assume. He's wearing rain gear. Yeah. No, Mike Vecchione wears galoshes when it rains out to cover that's, his sneakers. Oh, his awful. feet should be chopped off. He's to cover his sneakers? Uh, he's fucking, from the past. That fucking barrel-chested Superman <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> Is he OCD? No, he's just a fuck. He's fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't want to get my sneakers dirty. Oh, fuck off. They're sixty dollars. Yeah. Stop this shit. He, what happened? So, uh, I gotta know. So the, like, he was the on the couch. Game. He pulled he backed away from her and she was on all fours on the couch, kinda of leaning up against the wall. And she felt bad for me. Like she she I was still naked and I walked in and she went, Come on. And she kinda of like looked at her ass, like, come fuck it. Come oh. on, try. And I looked at it and it was like you could see inside. Oh, it had, it had been. You, could, like, you know see the her ovaries. What was that? Wow. What was the monster in in Star Trek? The sand monster. Oh, I don't know. I was raised up? by my what biological was parents. Star Wars. Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. Sorry, Star Wars. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. The thing they tried to land on, but then they flew out. <laughs> it could be that one or, or no, the one. No, the sand wow. monster. That yeah, yeah. That was a job. Eight job of the huts. Little fucking. Do you know any worm monster? How they have the any worm monster. If they have the mouth inside of the mouth, yes, yes. like a yeah. mullet fish. If yes. you Google mullet fish, if you look at, they have a mouth and then another mouth and then a mouth. And that's what her pussy looks like. The sarlacc pit. Uh, <laughs> apparently, we're getting a lot. People know it's the sarlacc pit. So she had sarlacc pussy. People should pussy. light their fucking. What did you do? They've never do, seen Bobby? real pussies. <laughs> well, that, well, now they know what pussy looks like. Yeah. It looks like a sarlacc. <laughs> you fucking geeks. I, I almost threw up because I, oh. I have a weak stomach, but wow. I, I I put it in and it, it my dick is not. A, I have Rattling a six around. inch dick. It, that's all I have. It was just like putting a camera in there to look around. Yeah. Else. <laughs> like, gr like grandma hitting the triangle for dinner time. <laughs> Bob can actually put his cock in another cock hole <laughs> and see <laughs> <laughs> and process and put a camera on it like of scientific purposes. Yeah. It's like inner space. <laughs> yeah, and then tag it. <laughs> put a oh, national no. graphic tag on it oh, so we can God. follow this cunt around the fucking world. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking black guys in hotels. Wow. She uh <laughs> did you uh I almost it, it opened itself up like it like a, a what is that? The pro, what the thing you should the like prolapse 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 vagina. vagina. It opened up and it looked like a fucking monster. It was oh. huge, wow. huge, big, fat pussy lips. Nice. Ugh, <laughs> Jimmy's like red, yeah. fat, oh. big, meaty. I think that's the fucking uh, the, the storyline for the next Sex in the City. All of, <laughs> all of their thing. pussies just prolapse, <laughs> and they feed each other peanuts with it like an <laughs> elephant's trunk. <laughs> and it all, it's, it's from a pepper spill. They all start sneezing, and the force of the sneeze is pushing the vagina <laughs> out. Their all their organs fall out on the floor. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and then they have to get a vaginal mesh, and it doesn't work, so yeah. they call the lawyers from TV. Her cunt, her cunt falls out like a foot going through ice. <laughs> yes. Well, let me tell you something. My pussy just fell out. I am so a Samantha. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Which one are you now? Be a girl. Okay. If we okay. have to pick each one that's from Sex in the City, who are you like? I'm the redhead. Uh, <laughs> I'm you're just the a, lesbian. I'm the uh, cunty redhead. Oh, uh, <laughs> gosh. I'd have to say Samantha, too. Oh, no. But we can't have two we Samanthas. Can't have two so we'll have to kill one off. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> they're making another one, though. No, of course they're yeah. not. Joe yeah. DeRosa tweeted yesterday that it, yeah. he's happy that they're making. And, and, and seriously. What's wrong with him? He's, he's an idiot. Yeah, he's, he's Egyptian. Oh, that must be That's it. That's the problem. He probably liked the last one where they went to Egypt. <laughs> they went to his homeland. Like, oh, yeah, let's ride this it, camel from the underside. Yeah. Every scene. <laughs> I fuck animals. <laughs> every scene he was looking for his real parents. <laughs> Are you my mother? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Fuck that. Anyone wearing heavy eyeliner, Joe's like, Mom? <laughs> he doesn't know his real parents? Yeah, anybody yeah. who's really tired. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know if he knows his real parents. I don't know. No, he doesn't. He was adopted. Oh, that's nice. Oh. He was adopted. It's a very nice mom. They're very great. They're great people. He's they very are. lucky. So Wouldn't that be cute. amazing if he was, like, from royalty and had, I told like, them that. billions of dollars in oil and yeah. they just gave Those him away? Those shoulders can only come from inbreeding. I'll tell yeah. you, he's probably royalty. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> and it, it was probably like a Spartan thing. With he was born, and they looked and yeah. went, "We can't keep this we one. Can. Throw him back." Yeah. Instead we, of throwing him off that yeah. Sparta cliff, they just kind of <laughs> give him away. Yeah. This guy, I like guarantee, this cocksucker. If that happened, mm -hmm. he would dump his real parents in a second. And they're the sweetest just, people in the world by email. And just like, yeah, oh, go on back He'd to... dump him by Twitter and then not even on Twitter. Oh, he'd turn into just a, a raging anti-Semite? He'd be gone. Turn into. <laughs> oh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But seriously, he looks like an earthworm. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, would, he would. He's actually going to the gym now, so he's actually uh, really, really nothing is buffing up. Oh, that's <laughs> he's buffing up. He's great on Louis. He, he enhanced so no he shoulders on the table. Yeah, yeah, table read. Oh, he was really funny on there. You know, it was really good. Yeah. He was great. Yeah, the Dane Cook one was fucking great. Yeah, Dane was Jimmy, good, was, great yeah. Yeah. Jimmy yeah. was great on that. Jimmy was great on that. I so believed you were an awkward pervert. I really <laughs> bought it. Really was. <laughs> and was Stanhope was fucking amazing. Oh Stanhope was that was great. It was a it was a really good episode. The only funny parts were during the stand up. Yeah. Because yeah. everything else was just so dark and yeah. tragic. You were great. On the there, whole Bobby. season's been like that though. Like there. It's just been a fucking dark show. Yeah. But Stanhope was... F I can't believe how... He was really a good actor. He was right? no... Yeah. I mean, yeah. no fucking joke yeah, yeah. acting. He was real. That scene was fucking brilliant. That was a really great yeah, scene. Yeah, he put That's across heavy. that he was that guy. And we all kind of know... I don't. I don't know if you. I mean, you're younger than me. I'm 40, but I. We. I know that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, I spent know... time with Stanhope. Yeah. Or you no, mean like I that mean, guy? That guy. guy oh, that, that who's guy run his just... course and he I, should kill himself. Yeah, like who you have. The, hey, man, what's going on? And you see them at the comedy cellar. You've hung out with that. You are that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you just haven't realized saw, you should off yourself. Bobby, yeah. This I is saw actually Jimmy's, an intervention for your I life. Saw, <laughs> I saw Jimmy's eyes going back and forth. Oh, and what do you get the idea? He's not listening to me. And then they open wide. Yeah. Like a lizard seeing a mosquito. It's like that cat clock. <laughs> and then it comes up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, God damn it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't know Doug had that in him. He really, uh, Fucking really did a great job acting. Unbelievable. That's really funny. good. Yeah, that's why I was thinking maybe he... That's a little close to him. Like, I don't want to give him credit yeah. for being such a good actor. I'm just like, well, well, I guess Doug's going to kill himself. Right. Because that's... No, uh, no. Not, Doug's not... I mean... He's happy. I don't know him. Yeah. Know him. Probably Jimmy knows him. Or you guys... I don't know him well. I've met him a couple of times, but he's not like... He's kind of, you know, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? He's kind of out, you know, hey, what's up, fuckers? He's like, what's no, up? No, no. He's, he's a kind of quiet pretty guy. reserved, mellow guy. Yeah, reserved dude. Even when he came in here a couple of times, I mean, he's, yeah. you know, just... So he's to a do that acting wacko. Yeah. I, we were roommates in the Vale Comedy Festival. He sleeps with all his possessions on the bed. What? what? <laughs> Doug had all of his fucking stuff on it. We were roommates in the Vale Comedy <laughs> Festival in 95. All right, that's a little crazy. Or 96, and Doug sleeps on his bed. All of his shit was on his bed with him. What do you mean, well, all of his not, shit? Describe you, like, his that's shit. That's because you were in the room with him, Whatever Jimmy. I would do with. the same thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, want, I don't want to get jizz on all my stuff. Yeah, like, fucking, I'm all I don't want to get book. hooker shit on my fucking toothbrush and <laughs> my DVD player. Fucking cum flying <laughs> yeah. like an old 60s sprinkler. Yeah, that was <laughs> the only time <laughs> he's <laughs> ever <laughs> done that. Yeah, he never does that. That was just... <laughs> you sleep cum. Yeah. He's like... <laughs> 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 oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so no, 
love you. He, he, he uh, likes. He's, he's good. He, he likes drinking. He's, he's awesome. He does like to uh, to party. That's yeah. that's one thing I've. I've he's not afraid I've of a great time. I think. Uh, yeah, uh, Rogan introduced us to to him initially, because I guess they they know each other. Oh, he and won the Rogan likes his. Uh, his he won drugs. the San Francisco <laughs> comedy. It was him and Dane. Wait, I remember that's when I first Dane. heard about him. Dane Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> I was Taylor in Boston. Dane. Dane went out to San Fran. It was him and Stanhope in the finals for the and Stanhope beat him. Oh, and, wow, really? Yeah, Stanhope was living nice. in his car while the competition was going on. And he wound up fucking winning and you know, getting his shit together. So and, that's kind of a living in the car thing, like the character. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. Maybe there was a little Stanhope in there. I'm sure. Maybe yeah. he isn't that good a fucking actor. Well, he doesn't live in a car now, <laughs> dickhead. Good. He's got a house. Just kidding. Right? He's got a house yeah. in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, Arizona. Who can't have a house in Arizona? Yeah, yeah that's true. What about 10 bucks? No. $4 a square foot for yeah. land in Arizona. <laughs> hey, fucking great. That infuriates me when I, uh, I I pick up a paper and uh, and you see ads like uh, for houses in Arizona or Colorado or some fucking place you'll never live. No, no thanks. And, and I, I'm I'm going I can't fucking I can literally have like a a Waco compound yeah. kind of a thing. You yeah. see your right. house for eight dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yes. same exact house. Same house, yeah. only on a hundred acres of land. Uh, yeah, yeah. That would, I I I would move to Arizona though because it. In the summer, it gets like fuck you it's hot. It's crazy hot. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah. walk outside in bare feet because the, the the tar will stick to you. But who burn cares? Your face. Yeah, what do you, why, why is that the thing so you, you want to do? Well, because you don't. I mean, that's fucking hot, hot. You Desert. turn the air conditioner yeah, on. Okay. You're in your 120. House, you have a pool, and then you fucking uh, you uh, never go out. You, that sounds like my moments. life. <laughs> and I live in New York. And, but you can shoot shit right in your backyard. There you go. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, yeah. you'd be, I smile I, on if you that. could kill coyotes and I lizards. To, I have to wait for intruders. Accidentally in order shoot to do Jimmy. That now. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to shoot me? Because you look like a. That's my new guy. Ta, ta, ta. <laughs> hey, we have this, uh, this uh, girl showing up. Ooh. What's her name? She's. This wingman thing? Wing, she's a wing woman. Marnie. Marnie Kinry? Marnie. Yeah. Marnie's a very cute. Why woman. is it in Penthouse? Ooh, I didn't see this. Ooh. Pardon me for a while. Well, oh. let's just excuse it. Who fucking looks at? Look at this. What's the with the blurry pictures? Are they trying to be artistic now? Because you could just get hardcore smut on the bit, internet. Yes. Mm. Can they? Oh, good. A naked cowboy fucking. Article. <laughs> we haven't heard enough out of this fucking tool. What's he up to? Oh, look at him. Oh, look. There's people around him and he's in oh, his they underwear. They have a finger in the uh, vagina now, huh? Penetration? Oh, a little penetration. Wow. You know what that what would have she, been like no, in 1977? She shoot, she shoot, <laughs> looks like she's shooting gang signs at her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. This, uh, no, this is very ethnic. I don't, I don't know. Uh, her vagina and asshole are, are very close together. They're almost a team. Mm. Yeah, just, you know what? I used to have a much yeah. better time looking at the ads in the back of some of the porno <laughs> than I did the actual you wanted porno. A, you wanted a hovercraft? They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a popular a mechanics jetpack. I'm jerking off to. <laughs> yeah. was, but like sometimes they would show uh, like blowjobs and stuff in a little thumbnail yeah. before we knew what thumbnails meant. Um, and, and that was kind of better than some blurry fucking playboy picture yeah. of some girl with a giant bush they always put the the fucking uh, little uh, obscure dirty little edgier ads in the back yeah in the back yeah. and that's the ones where like we oh. used to jerk off to photos Anything. photographs yeah. i haven't jerked off to a photo in 20 years yeah gotta try it do yeah. it right now go ahead <laughs> And, and then Here, it's Elizabeth of, Taylor. Go. Oh, there you go, Liz Taylor. <laughs> How hot was she? Boy, did yeah. you pick the worst photo in there, though? <laughs> you, you could. It was, it was, it was jerking off to photos, and mostly just photos of nude girls. Mm -hmm. There wasn't like a sex act going on. If you could get one of those magazines, I remember a, a very rarely you'd, you'd hit pay dirt and get those magazines. They had about eight pages in them. They were all thick, like glossy pages of uh, blowjobs and penetration. And that was just the insta fucking hard on. Well, you had to pretend. You had to actually. That's why the old holding. You would pretend the centerfold was for you to hold up and pretend that you were fucking her. Point of view, yeah. 
It was you point, got the of view. point of view shot. Yeah, you. I used to hold them up and, and have to fantasize and look at her and then look at her and look back and forth until I created this video in my brr, 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 oh, baby. Yeah. And then you cut in. Oh, you like that? You had a Nickelodeon <laughs> eyes yes. going. Yes. Were you crank? <laughs> Were you ever surprised when you look at the pictures. picture and it was fr it was frowning? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I stepped on you for that Jane. mediocre no, that's joke. Fun. It just I looked. It. I like that. It looks disappointed yeah. when you're done. It's like I don't remember her face it's being like, like that when I started. <laughs> Why does she have vomit on her collar? Oh, <laughs> oh god. I remember. Uh, I, uh, did you uh, accidentally uh, jerk off to that? Uh, is, that, uh, is that a rhino? Those are big <laughs> sheep <laughs> balls. Oh, that's not look okay. at that. That see, this is the stuff I'd find like in the thing that I would yeah, that find you would hot. A little uh, two yeah. chicks kind of. Yeah, yeah. this one's a little dirty. She's got a little Japanese tattoo. There was and a magazine, a, um, an old <laughs> hustler that. years ago, and a buddy of mine was like, check this out. Dude, it, it's, it's the first ever scratch and sniff. And leave it to hustler. Yeah. And they had a scratch and sniff vagina centerfold. Really? And no. you'd scratch and, and sniff. And I refused to, uh, to do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I just didn't want to know. <laughs> I was a kid at the time, and and yeah, it was it was pre. Uh, I had never seen her. Or... Would they use old potato skins? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't know what they. Hey now, hey, hey, stop being accurate. <laughs> 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 so, no, I didn't know, and I didn't want to. Like it, it just freaked me out. Was it just perfume or something like that? I don't know. To this day, I don't That's know what it was. was. To this day, I don't Is know. Is there what pussy it was. Per perfume? Do they have that? If they do, the cab so. drivers here wear it. <laughs> 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 Hang on. Rank pussy perfume. Uh, and, and then finally, when I was uh, with with a woman for the first time. With woman? Um, he said that in quotes and with, said with woman. With woman, with woman <laughs> for the first time. Actually woman. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was, and it wasn't the first time I was with her. She was the first one I was with. So it was probably two or three times since I had first had sex. And, and then she started wanting to delve in a little deeper. You know, so she turns around and gives me a blowjob, and I'm like, oh, this, this is great. This feels really nice. And then she was like, well, you know, you could do that to me. I'm like, what? You don't have a cock? No, <laughs> no I did not say that. But uh, I was just like, oh, no, no. I was just petrified. Oh, of it. yeah. It Jerk. was big, black, hairy, like, very coarse black hair. Oh, pussy. And, and, and like, <laughs> and just a meat cleaver whack in the middle of it. Ooh, and the thought scary. of putting my face in there was just, I didn't want to do it. I, 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 you know, I made up for it later. Oh, let me oh, tell you, ladies. Oh, wow. You really got her. Pussy, <laughs> pussy is something you have to, you have to get used to. It's an acquired. And you uh, have to, you it. have to do it. You get used to it, but it's not something you initially go, oh, I fucking... It's awful. You know what helps? It's wet. Booze. Because yeah, the second I had a few drinks, I was down there like, like it was let me fucking it. cotton candy. I don't think it's, I could do it ever. It's, no? It's, it's no. fucking crazy. Mm. It's a fucking hole in somebody's body that's wet. It's weird because we mm. never see our own pussies, so, like, there's no reason for can, it. They have the yeah. app. They have the pussy app. No, they the pussy have the pussy app, app. The and I just saw mine for the first time. <laughs> you hold your camera under, and it fucking it leaks on it like when fucking Alien was looking it's at Sigourney it. Weaver. Oh, God. <laughs> the slime just comes dripping yeah. out. I've the been The second set of teeth comes yeah. and rips your fucking heart out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your pussy sneezed on your fucking camera. Oh. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. It is uh, daunting, though, uh, to, to uh, want to to do that especially the first time ever uh you, you're just kind of young and you don't know what the fuck is going on and and i just i i didn't have any confidence either mm -hmm. that i would know anything about that area at all do you ever try to lick inside uh, i didn't know that you were supposed to hey, lick around the clit the pussy put a yeah, finger in. i tried to yeah. get i thought you had to get just in get your tongue get in there as your deep in there as possible Ugh. rookie you're mistake I've had like, that lick, yeah, yeah, licking that's... the bottom of a starfish just fucking <laughs> inside, it's all bumpy. Yes. Banging your head up against there. <laughs> trying to get your tongue as deep inside. It's like, what are you doing? It's sour. You're like, that's not going to. Yes. It's sour. <laughs> what are you it is. It's like the end of a T bone steak when you're trying to get that meat off the bone and, <laughs> and you can't get in that little crevice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. So you just break her legs like you would a fucking T-ball? Of course. Break her legs. <laughs> That's um uh, yeah, it, it just it was a daunting you, task. You've never you've never had a sexual experience with a woman. Yeah. I have. No, Jimmy, oh, um, Jimmy. He's talking oh. to me. <laughs> Amy uh, Schumer. No. No, I haven't. No. no. Uh, but I would think I would. Like I've been attracted to girls, really? but uh I couldn't I cannot girl imagine. Crush? Yeah. That I, doesn't go sexual though. No, it goes I, I'll oh. feel like something, well. but it doesn't I just I cannot imagine 
t- like dealing with somebody's pussy. I yeah. cannot imagine it. Yeah, believe just, us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's not something that you like to do at first. It's something you have to do. Well, hearing you say that was encouraging, Robert. I yeah, thought maybe so, no, see, I could get into it, but I don't know. See that? I don't. I don't believe that because it, it. I think it's it's great. It's good fun. Now it's you just do. Fucking great. Oh, when you first did it. Yeah. Now, no, no, no. When you first did it, it's terrifying. It was. It was. But it was. It was more a confidence thing, I think, than a ah, I'm disgusted thing. You know, you just didn't think you'd do a good job. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to be bad at it, you know. Yeah. So I kind of avoided the I whole situation. I think that situation. happens to a lot of guys. That's yeah. why you you don't like you have to just show them what they should be doing. If they make that rookie mistake, if they try and fuck you with their tongue, and you're like, oh, we got a first timer in <laughs> oh, here. Oh, this is cute. You just <laughs> you just sit on him like That's... you know like you're a hat. You just kill him. <laughs> yeah, just kill him you with your suffocate pussy. him with what? your clit. <laughs> what are you trying to get at in there? Yeah, but girls There's nothing don't... in there for yeah. you. Girl, no. a lot of girls don't say. Listen, uh, lighter. Cause no. Some girls like it hard. Some girls like uh, their clit suck light, very light. Mm-hmm. Some girls, you know, there's all kinds of there's different There's a way, though, that a guy is supposed to pick up body language and subtle moans and stuff to let them know, like, maybe that's a little too much. Maybe yeah. that's not enough. Like, some the second she's got to actually vocalize and go, could you fucking, you know, move it yeah. up about same, a quarter of an right. inch? It's the same thing I use. To, yeah. It's the same yeah. thing I use when girls get near my assholes. <laughs> oh God, 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 God! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Yeah. And then they go back up to my to... dick, and I stop talking. Subtle uh, body yeah. language, <laughs> like fucking doing the hula dance, yeah, yeah. is uh, yeah. But get, it's kind they of go down my balls. They go down my balls to my assholes. Like yes, yes. Oh God, oh God, yes, yes. Oh, eat my pussy, eat my pussy. <laughs> 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 That's how they know. Yeah, like, you you right. gotta let them know. Wow. Subtly. Sure. No, it's <laughs> little clues. I give a thumbs up or thumbs down. Is that sex yeah. too. <laughs> like Big thumbs down all the time. <laughs> you gotta occasionally look up yeah. and I'll, see I'll Amy just going, thumbs down. Nah. Yeah, like a Japanese <laughs> MMA fan. Nah. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. Yeah, but I, I think it would be good if girls. I like when girls go. Listen, do it soft. Do this. Do that. Because then I just want to make time. it come. Yeah, it I saves time. It, yeah. Why not? You know, throw the guy yeah. a bone. But it does feel good as a guy if you get no vocal direction yeah. and you're able to just steer it in on instruments. Yeah, Norton's, I like that. You know, Norton's. I mean, I'm not blowing smoke in your ass. Phenomenal. Yes, for it. <laughs> At eating pussy. He really has a, he. I've tried to do it, but my tongue. I guess you have to have fucking lizard in you, or just not constantly have food getting in the way. <laughs> that was a back to backer. Oh, that, that was a ro- that was a log jam of yeah. fuck you jokes. Yeah. Wow. I had, he, he saw one coming out, and he fucking yeah. no. He he is really good at fucking eating pussy. Now, how do you know that? Yeah, I've heard. Uh huh. Because I've drawn pussy lips on my asshole. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he's done the technique on a hemorrhoid. Yeah, you have a technique that you use. Yeah, it's where I'll, I'll stick my tongue out like this, like a quarter inch. Oh, and then I so and then I take awful. her then I take her ankles and arms and I move them back and forth very quickly <laughs> like a harmonica. Yeah. Oh, I play God. the pussy like a yeah. harmonica. Yeah, it so only works on like midgets. you're eating corn on the cob. <laughs> yeah. That's why they don't call it a harmonica. Oh Ooh. God! <laughs> oh, Chip Jim. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, I, I guess we we should break at some point. Yes, I we should. I don't should. know when we should or shouldn't. I don't even care. Oh wow! I'd rather not. But I know there are commercials, and if I don't do them, I, then I then I, I get stuck having to do them at the end of the show. And we break now. We can play thirty four seconds with Jerry Springer. Ooh. I want to hear that. We Me had, too. Yes, we had Jerry Springer on the show. Yes, we did. And uh, we love just taking some some uh, segments from these interviews of these little celebrities and uh, and, and we take them out of context and they sound uh, moronic or oh. something. Right, yeah. Bob Kelly What's the matter, Bob? Me. I just don't like how fucking comfortable this little fucking twink is in like that chair. Do you like how smarmy he got? Oh, he, yeah. he, 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 he waved me in quiet. this morning like it was his show. Waved he went, you in. No, he was yeah. waving you waved not to in. come in. Oh, that, oh no. All right. When it goes problem. like this, yeah. no oh, one sorry. waves with the back of their hand facing them. <laughs> no way. Bobby's from the school of no means yes. Which <laughs> it's called it's, rape. Yeah, it's yeah. just rape, basically. <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we'll play this. Uh, how many seconds? 38? 34 seconds. Oh, shit. Springer. That's oh. four seconds we're being robbed of. Yeah, I feel like that 34 too. seconds mm-hmm. of Jerry Springer. We'll be right back. 
And now 34 seconds with former politician, talk show host, and solicitor of prostitution, Jerry Springer. Let me tell you something. Okay, here you go. Well, it, what's, I mean, I won't be, I won't, oh, it, it, yeah, he's, uh, no, I, it's just, but well, what would it, you know, you, uh, I, I mean, you know, um, uh, um, uh, no, uh, in the, the uh, 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 okay. Uh, it, 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 well, uh, well, uh, uh, I'll, I mean, it's, uh, oh, they, uh, we, yeah, we're, we're uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, well, the, uh, yeah, well, the, sh uh, 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 okay, uh, 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 where, uh, where did that come from? That's un that's unbelievable. That was 34 seconds with talk show host Jerry Springer. You're listening to Obi and Anthony on the virus. Sirius XM. This is the virus. <clears throat> And now a reading from the book of Ted. When the wine was gone, Ted had his disciples fill the drugs with water. And then a miracle occurred. And Ted said, I took water and I turned it into crystal light. The wine was now crystal light. When the food was gone, Ted's disciples gathered and the Lord Ted proclaimed, I took a bunch of fishes and turned them into more fishes by cutting them in half. I had 30 fishes and I said I present E with 60 half fishes. It was the second miracle Ted had performed and Ted then divided the fish among them. I am working miracles. The king was not impressed and ordered Ted to be arrested. Oh no! They misunderstood me! Ted shouted as he tried to explain himself. I had an erection! It was tenting out of my robe beautifully! But the guards just ignored him and Ted was taken away. The Lord Ted was to be crucified. Ow! My hands and feet are hurting! Ted shouted as the nails were driven into his flesh. As the crowd looked on, Ted looked to the people and announced, I have it! I have it not! You go with forth! Whatever that means, this has been a reading from the book of Ted. Sirius XM. The virus. You're listening to Obi and Anthony. This is Robert Kelly, and I'm going to be at Uncle Vinny's <laughs> this Friday, uh, August 26th, uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. So go to Uncle Vinny's website. Uh, That's Uncle Vinny's Comedy Club yeah. dot com. Uncle Vinny's Comedy Club dot com, the worst yeah. comedy website ever. Is it really oh, that, at, that bad? There's it, not. You can't find. The shows, it's just <laughs> old good shit that happened there. Oh, really? Yeah, the whole front page is it's like, like celebrities dice. that walked by. Yes. <laughs> How about fucking putting what's going to be there? That's what you want. That's why you go to a comedy website. Yeah, you want to see club. the guys that are there this week. Yes. Yeah, no, you have to click on the calendar. Oh, well, God. the Pittsburgh Improv has got a great website, and I'll be there on Thursday. <laughs> oh. And Ooh. doing her own show, so you you got to fucking go down yeah. and support. This, Please yes. come out. Most Pittsburgh of the money is going to her oh well no i actually 100 percent of the proceeds go to um uh, wish all right yeah it's to me it's all <laughs> to me but uh you know still i've got a good heart right yeah, yeah. you want to give it away it'll actually go to the bartenders at the pittsburgh improv <laughs> let's be honest <laughs> Bobby, you want to sit there and let our guest I'd love to. We're yes. just moving Bobby into OPC where Sam. Sam is way too comfortable in OPC. I don't He's like it. He's not wearing Sam pants. Loves it. He's yeah, wearing yeah. no pants. Yep. He loves it because he does his shit show from there, the shit hour. Oh, nice. Uh, which is right after our show. It's Sam from 10 to 11, um, supposedly playing best of clips of our show, which I've never heard. No, it's one just play. him. It's just him babbling yeah. to E-Rock about wrestling and stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what it's all about. But it, uh, It's not that bad when when Roland comes in. is yeah. very funny and they, yeah. they fuck around with Oh, the, and they banter. Yeah. I know. Yeah, the only bad part about it is Sam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, Sam. the actual host of the show. Hey, guys. <laughs> now, Bobby oh, Kelly oh, is yeah. sitting there. Yes. Uh, it's in a the good high show. chair. It's it a good is, show, Sam. It is. Behind but the I board. do wish AIDS on you, Sam. You're yes. not, uh, I don't know. Sam, you're not going to stay behind, kind of near right. the board if mics well, need to around. be activated Stop running around. or something. Uh, just going? tell me what button to push. I got it. I'm a no. quick study. I'm the way you're not a quick study. I'm a really quick study. Our guest. Her name is uh, Marnie, Marnie Kinries, and she does something called, it's called Meet Your New Wingman, but she's uh, a very attractive girl who I guess teaches guys how not to fuck up with women. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess we make a lot of mistakes when we're out on the prowl, as they say. And uh, Only you say that. I say. <laughs> we say. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, only I say only out on, say the, on prowl. the prowl. 
I say out on the prowl. Who says that? <laughs> Nobody what says is this? it. Film that noir. Like what do you say? Oh, he right. does? Yeah, definitely. Oh, but yeah. Charles, your dad's a rapist. Yeah. Charles yeah. Bronson. <laughs> so, Charles that's Bronson. What say. Out on the prowl. You're sowing prowl. your wild oats. Oh, <laughs> yeah. please. You have a you. <laughs> use a harmonica. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. hey, lady. Um, you know when I uh, could have used this back in, uh, when I was shooting, I guess around the time I was shooting Lucky Lily, which is 2006, I was out in L.A. and I had a real big crush on this girl. Ooh. And there was a guy named Neil Strauss who wrote a book called The Game. I read it. And uh, it was a good book, the great book about meeting women. Oh, not that one. And I wanted his help uh, as to how to, to get this one girl I wanted to hook up with. I had no, she was way hotter than me, which most, I always bat out of my league. But this yeah. one was like too far beyond for even a sense of humor to work. <laughs> <laughs> so what is exactly that you do? What do I do? Like, like how do you help people? Yeah, talking on the microphone. I do what Neil Strauss does, but I don't use uh, pickup and lines and routines yeah. and manipulation and all of that you stuff. You know what? That shit just never seems like it would really work. I don't know. It's it been going no. great for oh, me. It works well. <laughs> yeah. Amy buys all those dumb lines. Yeah. It does work. There's, I do. There is. Yeah. I got a copy of the game beside yeah. you right now. There is. There is a couple of things that work because it fucks with self esteem. Hundred percent. And you, you're like, uh, you know, you you'll talk to the her friend instead of talking to the one you want to talk to. That fucks. Up, but that's she, a thing. That's not a dumb just line. Me hate the guy. That's psychology. Like the, the line, you know, you have the whitest teeth I've ever come across. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that would work on me. That wouldn't work I'd on me because like, that took me a second to get there. I was oh, like, really? oh, I went right horrible. there and I want you to meet my parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in love. Yeah. I like it. Lines it. don't work. It's a whole attitude thing, yeah. right? Is yeah, it, 100%. That... Exactly what you were saying before. It's all about feeding off insecurity. That's, so there's no success right. in what you're uh -huh. doing. Your I piece. had him on my show and he's not... And he tries to come. I thought he would be a guy's guy. He tries to make it about like hippie love and about fun. It's yeah. like, I thought he was going to come on and be like, yeah, you bang chicks. And, you know, he was like, nah, man, it's just about love and finding the per Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, wow. He wasn't a pig. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, that's so weird. That's a different direction. I actually yeah. am. You're talking about Neil, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm friends Not with Neil. Neil. Not oh. Neil. I had. I'm sorry, not him. The guy, mystery, oh, mystery. mystery I had. Whoa, on. is that the direction that he's going in now? That's completely the opposite. Because I met him mm. about five years ago at a David D'Angelo seminar, who's another pickup artist, and um, he pulled me away, got me on a couch for about two hours, just talking on oh. the couch. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, legs wow. spreading oh, out. Just, just joking. Um, yeah. And yeah, he was able to like keep me entertained for two hours, but that's it. It was being was able he a to good keep talker? me entertained. Yeah, he was great. He talked at me for two hours, was and he... I was competing with him, trying to get his attention. Was and then afterwards, I forgot about was it. Was he peacocking? He was totally peacocking. He was peacocking. wearing a spandex unitard, big boa, <laughs> yeah. nail I, polish, and a I, lunchbox. I did that, and I was accused of being a fat superhero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you did Rightly fight crime. So. You did fight crime. <laughs> but no, you're right. That, that does. It's like as much as these guys are assholes, sometimes it works. It does. And talking to the friend, I'm always afraid if I hit on her friend, the girl won't be attracted to me, and she'll be so grateful, like, oh, thank God, ugly is talking to my friend. <laughs> uh. And you give, and then you you kind of fuck with them. You get, you go, oh, you get something in your hair, and you get it out. Yeah, I got it. And that, that fucks with them. Like, oh, fuck, I had something on my hair the whole time. And that breaks <laughs> like, down their confidence. <laughs> See, I, I've done that really? before, but I always screw up. Well, you got something to your shirt, and you like, oh, it's a tumor. I'm like, oh, oh God, oh, damn. Sorry. Shame. Yes. Jesus, Jimmy. That's a really unlucky, Jimmy. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a chicken cutlet, because my breast <laughs> is gone. Work. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn it. Sorry. There's two women in here. We I'm sorry. Can't even, two That's just, all right. Mine are real. I'm not all insulted. There's three women. Oh, I forgot. Lady came in. Okay, yeah. Four. Actually, four. Sam. 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 Vagina. But of course, you have to make it a cutlet. A little <laughs> woman. Uh, so, so what? You, you wrote a book or no? No, I haven't written a book yet. I but am going to be writing a, great a book. Article I've, here in Penthouse. Yes, I'm yeah. the only clothed person person in the magazine. My, yeah, my mom was really proud. <laughs> but um, I, I'm really proud of myself. Like, yeah. I, it's a big thing to be in Penthouse. That I'm is really, cool. Really it's awesome. It's a great magazine. I feel empowered. I feel sexy. So yeah, very proud of it. That's, That's awesome cool. Picture. Are you yeah. married? I am married. Now, how did your husband get you? I asked him out. Actually. Did you really? Yeah, I dated his best friend, and then oh, I dated boy. his friend, oh, and then no. he. Th Smart. I didn't work out with his friend. And his friend's like, "Oh, come to the beach and hang out. Maybe you'll like some of my friends." And so I met my husband there. I'm trying to get rid of it, by the way. <laughs> He's like, "Get rid, get over, get over it. Bring yeah. your other friends. I don't want you anymore." <laughs> um, yeah, and I met my husband on the beach there. And, and you then, asked him out. I asked him for his phone number, and then we started hanging out with each other. How I'm long? Quite aggressive. That's cool. I like I'm that. I'm with you, Marnie. Mm -hmm. You like it. You, it's always are, my right? idea. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. You have to ask for what you want for men and for women. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. You don't have to be a dick. You don't have to be ma manipulative or dishonest or well, most an people asshole. are so Just do it. afraid of the rejection, of you know. They, are. they don't want to get rejected. If you go up to a girl that's out 
and uh, you you ask her not let's go out. But you, you, you kind of just, yeah, <laughs> I would like to go with out with her and try to, pro and she's exactly. just like, nah, nah, blah, blah, blah. and odds are she's probably going to say that. Yeah, like, it's probably going to say, get away, whatever. <laughs> you know, something to the effect of, no, I'm not going to go out with you. No, that's not true. So well, nah. it's better that you reject yourself before she even gets a chance to reject you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you never get what you want. That's horrible. Oh, no. If Bobby starts pressing wow, fucking shit. buttons, I am going to pull the plugs out I told you. and throw that machine. I, I am going to throw the pressing? machine. I've never sat here before. There's yeah, just buttons. Yeah. What do you there's do? All now do I do I start pressing all the little there's buttons? A, <laughs> see, there's little buttons here that do the, you know. Boring. Oh, what do you boring. do? Uh, rejection. I don't know how to say that. Like that was a good rejection one, though. Marnie, have you ever met a guy and you're like, he has no chance. Like, I, there's nothing I can do to help you. She's in a room with <laughs> six of them. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I was going to say, I'm right saying, now is the first moment when that happens. I got the SH out on that one. She. Yeah, I have met a couple of guys where I'm like, it's not going to happen, mainly because they don't want it to happen. They fought me back on everything that I was saying, didn't want the help that I was providing. Really? So I fired them as a client and was like, listen, you're not going to, you have to give up this bullshit. And they were like, mail order. Yeah. I see what they do. So <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, so you Tell actually, me. you charge to help. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I've gotten so jaded doing stand up and radio. It's like, I don't know how to approach a stranger. I literally have no idea. How to approach a woman who doesn't like know me from the radio? And go. Well, oh, I, I was abused as a child, so yeah, I'll you do. I know it's, yeah, dude, radio. What it, try approaching me, it, dude? It's in a car oh, yeah. at the meatpacking district. You do fine. Yeah. With the roll down your the window, window roll down halfway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it's the fact that Bob made woman. the roll down the window with his fucking hand. Yeah. The circle roll. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, you know, evening at the improv. Oldie time. <laughs> I, I think what you're talking about also is is becoming like a lost art because of Facebook and Twitter, and there's so many other ways to meet people and get even intimate to up to a point without even having a you know face the rejection face to face or or anything like that and then and by the time you hook up you're all ready to fuck yeah. because you've already <laughs> gone through up. all the bullshit part right if, if you meet anybody on the internet face to face and the preface to it hasn't been i want to fuck you and i'm gonna <laughs> suck your fucking pussy I'm gonna, you're an idiot yeah. So by the time you do meet face to face, you both know what you're in store for. Everybody I know who comes over, any, there's not a woman that shows up at my house that doesn't know that my dick will be out within 45 minutes. <laughs> your, your mom? Let <laughs> <laughs> me correct you, within 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's very aggressive. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, what were you saying? Uh, what was no, I, I saying? I was no, just I saying that that's like kind of a lost being... art. So. Oh, it totally is. The thing is, is that not enough people are asking for what they want, and they're too afraid to look up while they're walking around to work and actually interact with people. Start interacting with people at Starbucks, walking on the street, so that when a hot girl comes along, you have no problem saying, hey, what's up? Because she's just another person in your day. I would Rather you... than a freaking hot woman who you, you know, you're mm. afraid but of being rejected by. Do you by. think yeah. being married, though, that your technique or your skills or your knowledge, uh, you know, is, is, is uh, not as good as it was when you were single i would say maybe not as good but that's why i have about 10 to 15 other wing girls who can help me be single and give me that point of view but i can still feel attraction i love going out and flirting i love feeling the buildup of attraction when i'm with my clients and i feel feminine and flirty that's when i know that i'm doing a really good job now how does that work with a client uh do they are you helping them with other girls at a, a location, or are you playing the part of the other girl? Everything. I, Everything? Do, I do a lot of Skype coaching calls, not a lot of in-person. So oh, Skype. Yes, yeah, Skype. I Skype <laughs> my guys. You're walking um, into a terrible <laughs> world right now. Yeah, I know, Just, seriously. Yeah. It's like, you Skype me off. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you notice so, that they're only shooting themselves from the yeah. chest yeah. or neck yeah. up. What's wrong with your There's all this Nothing. painting, and I don't understand yeah. what's going on. I'm washing the dishes. Yeah, Whatever, little, I'm little getting my Parkinson's, money. It's totally don't mind me. I'm <laughs> just a little face cloth <laughs> thrown over his shoulder. Yeah, but I work with men all over the world, like Egypt, Spain, uh, Australia, Canada, South America. But what do you tell guys from Egypt? Like, walk up and go, hey, I like clits, and that'll get you in right over there. Right 100%. Because they cut them that off. Right think, yeah. Of course they do. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> they take them away. But yeah, I, do, I, I work with them in person as well. Mainly what I'm doing is I'm off offering men a female perspective. That's what the wing girl method is. I have a blog. I have tons of free content on there, giving men the information straight. Okay, from a here, point here's of view. the basic gist of what guys need to know. Maybe you could give a little quickie on this one. Quickie. Uh, you're, you're, you're out in some type of atmosphere. It could be a party. It could be out at a bar. 
Uh, awake. You're, you're, Perhaps you're, oh, an OGB. Awake. 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 Good place to meet women. Awake. Always. <laughs> Oncology uh, ward. <laughs> yeah. uh, VD <laughs> clinic, abortion <laughs> clinic. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. We could keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you're at a, at a flash mob. You're in a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> you see a woman being bludgened <laughs> by eight people who are stealing bonbons. Side. I love that. Oh, <laughs> Places to meet women. Yes. <laughs> You're at a well more conventional place that most right. people do meet a uh, party, a, a bar, something library. Like that. <laughs> right, Jesus. right. Jim say all the places he's not Thank allowed. You. I yes. that one. Yeah, pre now a preschool. <laughs> a preschool, a library, and a preschool. Yes. <laughs> what can a guy yeah, do that is really like the most important thing? That that could get his foot in the door. Can you and say hi? Door, can you coach I mean, Anthony vagina, to hit on my me? foot. I mean, put Ooh, penis. Oh yes, <laughs> she's gonna coach you to hit on me. Oh goody! Let's do it. Let's do it. All yeah. right. So let's see your. Don't mention the fact. Right fuck now. me, Amy. Yeah. Okay, listen. Hey, I'd like to. I'd like to rip that country crop awesome. dress off you. Country <laughs> Put the gun down, Although, Anthony. Have you been sitting on that? Jimmy's <laughs> like sitting over there. I can't wait to whip that one out. I'd like to dine on her tablecloth shirt. Hey, Miss Miss Engels, can I take oh, you out? Oh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, these are things that wouldn't work. Yeah, these are. This gathering. is an example of not getting making fun yes. of her clothes. Nothing probably wrong with that not outfit. Good. You know what? The fact that you're saying everything with confidence and you're doing it with some sense of humor actually would work. Really? But then I would have to, I have to walk around with this microphone attached yeah, to my yeah. head yeah, exactly. because the second this goes headphones. away, so if you I, grabbed uh, her, if you grabbed her by the front of the hair and pulled it back like a wig and said, "Hey, come here, I want to talk to you," would that work? That would work oh, backwards. Yeah, backwards. Backwards. Yeah, backwards. 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 Because it might be she a real wig. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> no, I want to know what is something that could be done that, that you're very unfamiliar with. Is this a bad line? I've tried this in clubs. Oh, no. you think if you ask for something, like I'll walk up to a girl and go, do you know where the bathroom is? Because I have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would go home with you. I would absolutely go home with there you. There are certain See, girls I that, would, well. that, would that would find that very funny. You, I love that stuff. I love when guys just stay, stay know, straight. I love to see that. I was that <laughs> might work. <laughs> you know what the bathroom is? I what, to, wait, yeah. what if a girl like, The whole reason why that would work is because you don't give a shit. You're living right. your life. You're asking. Well, you are yes. trying to give a shit, but it's you yeah. know. But it's like you're just living your life and not really caring. The minute that you put focus onto it and you're not really clear with your intentions or state yeah. your intentions, that's when you get mm. fucked up. So you can say hi. You can make an observation. You can ask a question as long as it's genuine and authentic. That would real? be authentic. So Jim that's authentic. genuinely if you really needs to drop shit, a tent. Yeah. If you didn't, then that would be inauthentic mm -hmm. and that would not work. I'd have to laugh and be like, you know, that's pretty funny. Go, I would be and like, he'd yes. go, no, really, I got to no, shit. No, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. See yeah. you later. Like, I got to go. I need to punish a bowl. Have you ever had a girls might be pissed. Some girls would love it. Have you ever had a guy that you just said, I can't, you are too much of a, just a nerd or a piece. I just asked that, Bobby. Did you hear what I just said? I know. Women like it when you listen, Bob. I don't listen to women. Yeah, he's like, I don't hear you. I was just anything. looking at your tits. Thank you. Thank and I don't you. care about the question. I'm just looking at her tits. Okay. <laughs> Answer. Go. Thank you. No. I, 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 Aren't they great? Aren't they just sweethearts? Yes. I'm You're sorry. wonderful men. This is yeah. I thought, who's who of child molesters. It really is <laughs> Yay. the worst Yay. group of people you could be in. With, no, uh, you guys right are wonderful. I've been up since like 5 30 in the morning. It's wonderful. Well, oh, I guess he no. does come up earlier. Yeah, so no, actually, no. No. We don't prepare for this shit. <laughs> yeah. How would you help? Show how up. would you help someone? Because literally, my game sucks. I stand up and all this. this is, these are built-in things that help right. you. Right. But on my own, left to my own devices, if she's not familiar with Live me, game. I'm finished. Don't know exactly. the girl. Have to go up cold. What's what's the move? Never gonna... Well, you have to take ten steps back first and start approaching uh -oh. people in Maybe general. Yell at her. I know you're like great, not oh. a magic bullet. How metaphorically, fuck? wing girl method you. sucks. <laughs> um, no, but really, like take this, take this ten steps back, and you got to start liking yourself first before oh, any woman's ever <laughs> no, going they're to finished. like you. Oh, they're exactly. Finished. exactly, you're like we all hate no. her. So no. so no. Time of jerking off. <laughs> I don't have a problem with fucking picking. I'm a vampire when they're picking up chicks. No, I would think you would. Be. I fucking ha when I when I used to pick up chicks before I was married. I used to bang. I used to pick up chicks all the fucking Bob was, time. Was actually I think he very would, good. Because yeah. he was about a good-looking like... guy. Uh, well, you still not, are not right? smoking hot no. chicks. You know, from from fives to no, eights. No, Bobby would pick up fucking really hot women. Yeah. Like Bobby, like New you York was eights? new. Yeah, yeah, New York. New York. Ah, I, oh yeah, some hot. Because uh, but I had comedy too, which is for the last twenty years, which always helped me. But even before comedy, like AA meetings, you get them when they're still shaking. <laughs> right. But, 
But <laughs> you're really comfortable with who you are. You can tell that but, you are. But no, your your perception is wrong. Yeah, I'm he not. hates himself so much yes. that he's kind of come through the other side full circle and appears comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he's just it's, 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 for you. it's the black hole of fucking yes, shit. Yes, <laughs> surrender to your hatred. Of this yourself. is what you get if someone could blow their head off with a shotgun and then still talk. This is what you have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I know for a lot of people sense? who are comedians or psychologists or whatever it is, they rely on their expertise to to get them to their comfort level. So that's where they usually go first. But then that yeah. sometimes gets them into the friend zone where they are the entertainer or they are the psychologist or girls that they're interacting with and can't transfer it back that to is a the sexual dangerous, thing. Uh, the yeah. dangerous part, especially with the more the girl that is more uh, uh, shallow. And likes Definitely. just the good, well, the good looking, likes the good looking guys. And then you're funny and entertaining, and you end up being a friend and well, get the pleasure of watching her fucking, you Fuck know, some dolt. See, I don't care. I don't need a guy to be like really good looking as long as he's rich. Right. Oh, yeah. Cash. Cash. You know? cash is definitely a bonus. That's, uh, that's a lot. I'm cash not... and power. That's how, yeah, that's how that's it is. That's it. So if you can get that, that you'll win. That's kept Every me That's kept me in girls for a good 10 years now. <laughs> yeah. I just do it yes. more directly. I don't. I, there's no faking it. It's like, here's your, here, oh, here. here's your money. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's Get different. me a towel from the that's bathroom. I'll go to the drawer. Uh, <laughs> well, the difference is between establishing yourself as a friend and, and like funny man is incorporating some sort of touch and also respecting yourself. So you're oh. not there to entertain the woman. You can engage and disengage at any time that you want. Sometimes. Sometimes though, you'd be surprised though, like being the friend, and I, I hate guy friends because they're all cock blockers. <laughs> right. There are times where it's worked because uh, I fucking grow on you. That's that's like that's my thing. Like I, I women don't look at in. me and just go, I want to fuck him. Never does that happen. It's never that reaction. I don't. Yeah. It, there's some, it's like when you lock into somebody's personality and you start to really know what makes them tick, and, and you kind of know how to fucking to kind of sneak around the back door. Uh, it's and, described uh, as so serial when you killer. Really become yourself. In front of them, is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, but when you figure out, like if you're trying to fuck somebody, when you figure out exactly how to fuck them, and there, everyone's got a way. There are people who are in relationships or married that you can't have, but most people. Unless you look like a burn victim, if you know how to work them, you can eventually fuck them. I mean, that really is the way I it is. I think so, too. I'll but fuck a burn victim. <laughs> uh, again. <laughs> We've lost you for a second. Sorry. Sorry. Daydreaming. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> but so I'm saying, sometimes being a friend helps, but... I love the well, smooth you, fingers. Mean, That's me like being, being a friend. You're saying listening, having conversations, just connecting talk, with somebody. Talking to somebody. There's women I know who are in relationships, who I'm friends with, which is... But there's people I've talked to who are in relationships... And uh, I've stayed friends with them. And uh, one girl I was friends with for three years before we ever dated. Like, that will happen once in a mm -hmm. while, too. And I've noticed that most of the women that I've been platonic with, that I wanted something more with, eventually it's happened. Not always, but the majority of times. When but it's they... exactly what you just said. You wanted something platonic with them. You weren't. No, no, no. That I, I'm sorry. Oh, wanted I, mean, I wanted more. something more with, yeah, that I've been platonic. Like, one girl, I was one of my best friends, but I was in love with her. Really? And, yeah. And so what, what changed? What was the snap? And I, I told her I wanted to go out with her, and uh, she said no. Okay. <laughs> what? She, I emailed her because I, I felt it was courteous to not... To not uh, speak to, straight to her face. Just be, and it wasn't a fear thing. It was I wanted her to be comfortable with her. I didn't want her to have to fake her response out of courtesy. Okay. I wanted to give her her own time to read the email and process it and not... Pack her bags, move out of the country. Exactly, right. change exactly. her email address. Yeah. Her number. Yes, Quit download the attachment I sent for <laughs> enhanced genitals. Um... <laughs> But she's like, no, because she knew too much about me. And she's like, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. So for a year, we, uh, I kind of just didn't talk to her for six months. And mm -hmm. then, uh, then we started dating. No, but that's a good thing. You separated. There's a lot of guys who say, I really want to be with you. I love you. Or whatever it is that they're saying. They're, they're expressing that they don't want to be friends. And the girl's like, no, I don't see you that way. You're like a really good friend. Don't want to ruin our friendship. And then they stay in the friendship, but like actually enhance it. So they hang out with them more. They give them more. They pounce oh, yeah. on them more. So that's completely unattractive. You did the respectful thing and said, I, I want to be more with you. If I can't have respectful. it, I'm separating. That's how you get you out of the friend zone. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good point. Because I, I this was again when I was away in LA uh, for a while, and, and then and then she's like, "When did you come back from LA?" And I was like, "About six months ago." <laughs> yeah. And she's like, "I was like, see, there me. you go." Yeah. No, but what that's the, the whole thing. It's because not it's not because you've taken away the attention, but it is partially because you've taken away the attention and you've taken away the neediness of needing to be with her, where she finally can see you as being an attractive option. Oh, yeah, almost, as soon as you stop giving a fuck about her, she yeah. starts giving a fuck see, about you. That's true. Saying. 
that treating a girl like, like shit, shit is the way it's to get her. No. And that's always no, been no, the... She's saying that's ignore always her. The, not treat her like shit. Ignore her. Ignore that's her. Exactly. Someone no, told it's you. not about that. But it's you, about respecting yourself but, first. You You're not have, getting what you want. You, you gotta walk away and You separate. have to be careful, though, because you can develop a hatred towards women right. when you start fucking around with this psychology shit where you start manipulating and, and getting... Let me rephrase. That's what the PUA stuff is. It's like referring to it as tactics and routines. When you start thinking about it that way, that's when it becomes becomes negative and actually really hurtful because it fucks around with you and it fucks around with women and ruins your chances in the long one long run um yeah yeah, mm. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I guess so, yeah. no it's uh, true no, can you do a scene with i mean can you teach him something right now with amy can yeah. you do yeah, a, cause no, you, I, I read in the, the article you actually do uh you do mock pickups. Yeah, no, I definitely do. I would mock love to get picked up. It's all, yeah. I'm like you. Like, it's always, like, my idea. I'm like, we're going to go out. And the guy's like, no. And I'm like, yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah you're yeah, going yeah, out with We're me. going out. Okay, yeah. so you're going to go up to Amy, and you're going to squeeze her boobs. Is that uh, going to work? <laughs> right. You can squeeze mine. <laughs> Fucking fat pig I am. <laughs> so let's see it. I want to see a pickup. Uh, uh, I'm really bad at it. Do you listen to Opie and Anthony? <laughs> see? There you go. Uh, no, I don't. Well, no. you won't fuck me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> try, try just say, try saying like, hey, how you doing? My name's Jim. Thanks, Bob. Oh, look, you're going to be a coach for me. It's yeah. wonderful. Try it. <laughs> no, you just say, hey, what's up? Hey, Hi. how are you? Good, good. Cool. And then I'm just thinking, <laughs> all, all I'm thinking after and the hey, what's up part, and, walk away. And, no. and she says, uh, yeah, uh, no, not the, all I'm thinking no, is in her head, she's just thinking, oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Listen, she's not going to carry me. on the conversation. If you're not approaching her with yeah. something or with purpose, right. then what's the point of her talking to what you? Do, what do you, is this your first time here? Uh, no, I ride the subway all the time. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> a lot of times I'm here earlier where there's a lot better asses to press up against. Oh, God. <laughs> See, I like that. I, I, I like that. I, 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 I love engaged. that. The observation and sharing, even though, okay, then you, you would have right. continued after that to, like, make a more serious <laughs> statement. But I like that. You're just being I think yourself. it was good, too. I just think you should blink more. Wait, you're on the... Yeah, more <laughs> blinking. More twitching. Well, I blink and twitch a lot when I'm talking to a girl. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so we're on the subway together. Yeah. Do you have a cell phone camera? Yeah. <laughs> right, I won't jerk off in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No matter where you are, make it sound like that's the place to be. Hey, hey isn't this great? Exactly. Isn't it's this so great? exciting on the subway. Yeah. Oh god. I am so fucking bad at it. Kiss me, you, you won't. You're not that you bad. You are pretty good at it. No, because it, my it sense it. of humor is very barbaric and I go to things like that. Like that's really like <laughs> things I want to say. Really what I you know would that, say. okay, you gotta say the things that you wanna say. It's as if you have Tourette's or to insult anybody who has Tourette's, but like literally yeah, say the things them. out loud that you want to say so you're not keeping them inside your head, but then show the sincere side of you that you just showed two minutes ago. That was super sexy and attractive. If you have a balance between those two, this is why you can she's... get very good attention he, from he, women. Here's why fucking Marnie is great. Because what I just fucking did... Marnie is great. No, no, you know what? That gets, that was, <laughs> she's a giver. Yeah, she's you know what? That, that was one of those little language things that the pickup artists talk about. It wasn't intended. No, NLP, you're using it on me. Um, <laughs> no, but this is why Marnie is very good because what I just did was basically repulsive with Amy, but she has a great way of taking the repulsive and going, hey, you know, and, and you basically. Work with it. She you, found you, a silver lining to your dog shit. She yeah. found <laughs> a, not even a diamond in shit. You found a, a nugget of corn. I won't even give myself a diamond. <laughs> Corn's great. Yeah, it's delicious. Corn is great. Take but no, you're right, because it's rape. like when you start seeing someone, you meet them, you're you're being like a fake version of yourself yes. usually. Yeah. So better to come out, you know, come out swinging. Let Jimmy let me know right away. Yeah. I'm a pervert. I'm into uh, sodomizing children. Like I knew right away. <laughs> I, where didn't it was coming from. I didn't say children. I didn't say I would only say that during sex. It would come out. <laughs> yeah. I, would, would, I would say call me pop pop instead of daddy. <laughs> and I don't want you to scream. I, I want you to go Google Gaga. <laughs> I just did a boot camp in Toronto and it's all based on obser observation. Like you, you teach people how to walk around and really just have conversation by breaking in with observation and then going into sharing where you're sharing something about yourself to connect to the other person because if you go in approaching with your penis she's not going to respond to so you have to put an observation like uh, all right um hey how are you good good you know the jews control the banks <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jewish and I appreciate that. Observation. So, there you go. Love it. Observation. Oh Quite an observation. Oh my god. This guy really knows his stuff. <laughs> Do you want to go see my place? Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. That's I know you're saying it's I'm easy find for porn a girl. again. 
there's it's not, it's not easier for it, well like it's here's what be. i do okay yeah, it's got to be easier for a girl the guys. way i got on this show i actually did i met anthony on the subway and i went up to him yes, and, he, yes. and I, he was with a girl but i just went up and i said hey i i have a wet hole too and that yeah. was it and i was like you know You're what like sold you, you gotta come on the show he said you've got a face for radio <laughs> yeah. and here oh. i am but then he heard then anthony said i heard it wasn't wet i heard it felt like an inner ear <laughs> it's like a nostril. <laughs> this is sticky. <laughs> oh god. No, no you're right. It's not it's not easier for a girl. No. I I also need to use it's really hard especially cuz you know these guys have a, a good level of fame. It, it's easy for them to just people come in already like loving them. Right. So to be just a dude at a bar it's like fuck it. Why would you know? It's too hard to go back to the drawing board. It feels like. And you're not going to tell a woman either. Practice it's harder for women to, to drawing board. It's harder for women to be aggressive too. Because if you're a comic and then you want to fuck a dude or you come off, that that could weird a guy out. Like, what is this chick's? A, you know, what does she got? Talking about what, yourself. What exactly. AIDS does she have? You <laughs> yeah. know, what herpes? Yeah. You know, I always get flipped out at aggressive, sexually aggressive chicks. Flip me out. Like, what, what do you, you think want? about diseases oh, yeah. before you come? What's wrong with you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is my method. As I'm wiping my dick off with a sock, I'm like, you've been tested, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have my diseases circled. I have my diseases circled on my cock where I got them originally. Here you go. Uh, yeah, the warts like, over Idaho. here. Oh, oh, yeah. He's got pulled pins out of his dick like fucking, uh, like mask. What was that, what was that uh, movie? Mask. Yeah, yeah, mask. Yeah, you got it. You nailed you got, it. You got it, right stupid. Right. I'm not, Bobby, I'm not sexually aggressive. Like, I was with this dude about a month ago, and we did not have sex because we didn't have a condom, and he said no. So I was like, listen, everybody is HPV. Like, I just let him know that we all have it. So, and the he's best, probably just a carrier. By right. the way, the, exactly. the best, can I point out the best part of Amy's bomb <laughs> is the way she's trying to make it into a serious yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> I she's saw you do your eye contact, you pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just stared at me like, hey, feel it, bitch. Take it. Uh, Enjoy really? it. Really? Really? So it was yeah. funny to watch her turn that into a serious thing. She's like, a condom, and he said no. But, you know, condoms are important. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people. I wasn't trying to make it H serious. H H HPV, that's the one where the the uh, you pussy cervical gets cancer Hewlett Packard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> What's the one where it makes you your pussy look look like someone who's uh, talking, but they have dry mouth? They have the white stuff in the corner of their mouth. What? That's what probably a yeast that? infection. Oh, yeast, yeah. yeast, oh, yeah, yeah, yeast infection. Yeah, it looks like your pussy is manic depressive. Yeah, <laughs> it's on Prozac. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> oh. Hey, look, your sleepy eye vagina. Oh. Did your pussy your, just wake up? Oh my god, <laughs> pussy oh, is god. eating its curds and whey. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie, what can you do for these guys? Yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying all of them. Oh god! I think it's great. It is horrible. <laughs> the wing girl uh, method cannot do much for the men in these rooms. That's no. true. That's true. <laughs> that's why you suck at that button. That's why. I, 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 that's why I was just asking. Like, like the the cold walk up seems impossible. It's not impossible. I, as I was saying before, with, with baby steps or little steps, if you do a cold walk up to people during the day, then you can work yourself up to unattractive women. Yeah, but I mean, you're most not guys don't want to do a cold walk up to just the fucking, you know, somebody just sitting there well, smoking a cigarette somewhere. Shaking in their booties when they have to go approach a really hot girl. Do you know how uncomfortable people I do that friendly Bob shit in the elevator. Uh, I know. Friendly Bob yeah. is the worst. What's that? Oh, hello. I, I get into an elevator and I. I I just go, hey, how are you? I I'm Robert. How are you? And it's like, how oh, are you? Hi, I'm, I'm good, but what? that would freak me out in yeah. the elevator. I, but I'm, but I'm I just being friendly. I know but, what you're doing. But if you do, if you walk up to a girl and go, hey, I've actually, I believe you have energy. I believe you have energy as well. And you can send my orange beam of energy to a woman and make her make her do make her like me or make open up the channel really? and i've done this I agree. in a massage i kept my hand open and i shot my orange beam of energy <laughs> to the masseuse to, your hand. What a to hold my hand and she actually held my hand yeah it's from the masseuse. celestine problem and then she massaged oh, like it, it. that's what no, she does i like yeah. that you, I like that you <laughs> walk into an elevator and engage <laughs> people but the, the 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 hey how are you is freaky to most people but if you continued having conversation afterwards and you right. get freaked out by them not responding then you but my point the most attractive is, person in the elevator. My point about <laughs> that is that people get so uncomfortable when right. you actually say hi. Yeah, he does it to make Everybody's people uncomfortable. Wait, like do you zombies. live in New York? Are you a New Yorker? No. No? Okay. Because I think from? it's different. From Toronto originally. Oh, I think it's different outside New York. Like, in New York, if someone talks to you in an elevator, you're like, uh, you get off at the next floor. But yeah. in other states, I feel like people just More say, how, how's yeah, your day going? Hello, you're like, how are you doing? Yeah. Very good. Oh, that's wonderful. But I'm in the elevator coming up. 
to hear. And I was like, hey, what's going on? And nobody said anything. I just and go, I made these things about the plummet, numbers. you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, it really I was makes like, everyone nervous. How about a good right laugh, though? <laughs> I'll say, I like, laugh. the elevator's got, it's a good job. It's got some ups and downs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chip. Oh, oh, fucking shit. hate Chip. Yeah. <laughs> if you continue past the high, how are you, and continue conversation, I do. Breaking into a st- then, you're, then you're fine. Then you're attractive and sexy. But if you're just the guy who says, hey, no, how are you? No. It scares people a little mm. bit. It does. I but then you can continue and you're open. You're an open person. Right. That's attractive. What, what is a girl thinking? In, yes. in, uh, you're sweating ooh, over time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she was thinking she's taped. Sorry. It's an assault joke. Yeah, yeah of course. 1500th it is. one of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Misogynistic slobs. Uh, for the most part, a, a guy approaches her at a bar mm-hmm. um, or a social situation and, and starts talking to her. Before he, she could even figure out what he's saying, what, what his intent is, what is she thinking? Like, what is what, she thinking yeah, when a guy's approaching? Yeah, what is a girl thinking when a guy just about Isn't she just thinking, oh, here's another guy that wants to get laid? Yeah. Yes, initially, okay. yes, and then it shifts. All okay? right. Depending on which character he presents to her. So if you start having real conversation that isn't approaching with your penis, then you might throw her for a loop, and she starts thinking, do I like him? Do I not like him? Do I want to sleep with him? Do I not want to sleep with him? Don't you is think he interested? you're attracted to them? It is if you're attracted to him. See, Definitely, and that's where the you get excited, though, but if you're not instantly attracted, you are evaluating. Because if a girl walks up you're to a guy in that situation and just starts talking, the guy's instantly thinking, God, right. can I fuck her? Exactly, because men are single focused. So, so women are multi focused and they're multi scanners. So we're constantly evaluating and seeing whether or not you fit into certain slots for, for each of us. Slots. So it's <laughs> you're like See? slots. Let's, let's uh, slot, into a slot. slot. I like it. You're not uh, even listening to me anymore. I, no, <laughs> Concentrating on my <laughs> slot. Um, but yeah, that, that's what we're doing. So when we're like a lot of guys think that women are testing them when we ask them questions, we're really just trying to find out more information about them. Because mm-hmm. if, if, you, if we do let you fuck us, we can get pregnant we can get diseases we can get like, yeah. fucked over like crazy can i just stop for one second just uh, we have a, a caller i'm just gonna go to the caller i think we should just take this call <laughs> oh, hey no. what's up al how you doing uh, this- really Stupid callers. Hate the callers turn the out uh, uh, stop the okay so uh <laughs> Yeah, it's really, so where were we? Yeah, slots. Yeah, I've, been, slots. I've, been, I've been single for four months, and it's like oh, I have. I'm t- honestly, I've not fucked anybody. It's like it's, it's brutal. The have listeners you been trying to? No, not really. <laughs> well, the the audiences, the listeners, audience, <laughs> yeah. your friends, Yesterday. your friends, family. <laughs> Constantly trying. The government. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I think a girl knows like pretty quickly if she wants to fuck a guy. Yeah, yeah that's always been I, the thing. It's like, how quick does a girl know that I think this race, is going to happen? I think race has something to do with it, too. Oh, yeah? We have Puerto Rican girls, black girls. They know right off the bat, I'm going to... F- I- I'm gonna fuck him. I'm fucking you. I had because white girls, you have to kind of give them the excuse. You have to kiss them, rub them, get them all horny. Where they're like, well, they also I just have can't to get t- up for work in the morning. <laughs> 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 all right, another racist joke out. <laughs> Keep them going. Racist dick <laughs> molestation. Racist dick molestation. <laughs> rape, 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 rape joke. Rape. You can wear a woman down though. Not always, but a lot of times, if you know her, they don't always know if they want to fuck you. Like they might know initially. But once you figure out, I've, I've had a lot of women that I think are fuck me just because they know that they're garbage deep down. Like, they know that they're perverts, <laughs> and they garbage. know that it's okay with me, and they're not going to be judged. I've had yeah, women you have fuck to me get for them, weird reasons. You have to get them to there. I but, think yes. other, other, like Puerto Rican girls or black girls that I've been with, they, I, I had them go, relax. You don't have to do all this shit. I'm fucking you tonight. Let's just have a good time. Where it was like, wow, okay. But for you, for them, Bobby, you're a racial difference just like they are for you. So maybe they're not like that with Puerto Rican and black guys. Maybe it's because, maybe the way they are. not hitting them. (laughs) 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 Or it was the way like white girls. trying to make them go to a parade. Yeah, I don't have a pit bull. (laughs) White girls act differently with black guys than they do with white guys. And that's basically the same reason. Well, white girls, you have to give, there's so much to, you have to take them out, talk to them, listen to their fucking hopes. hat. (laughs) <laughs> buy them a hat? <laughs> yeah, buy them a jam or, or toast. <laughs> a jam or you, a toast? Yes, you <laughs> are quite the guy. Yeah, yeah, I just doesn't know anything. Anthony, Anthony has to put popsicle juice around their lips so he can get a hard on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. 
That's true. Or Similac. <laughs> oh, Nothing likes them young. <laughs> oh, get a little younger, why don't you? <laughs> I think for a lot of white girls as well, they, they still don't want, they don't want to think of themselves in a certain way. So if they're like, I'm just going to fuck this guy, yeah. then I might be a slut or a whore. Right. You have to give them the excuse. Exactly. You, have to, you exactly. have to get them to the point where you talk to them, blah, blah, and it, 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 it escalates. And then to the point where you, we all say the same shit. It's like, hey, we don't have to do whatever you don't want to do. I've never but heard we're that. sitting there with our cocks out, like trying to hypnotize them with right our now. dicks. You know, you don't have to touch it. Uh, and, uh, I don't want to say Anthony likes young girls, oh, no. but the last girl who sucked his dick had the morning after pill on her breath. <laughs> see, was, oh, see, you can't get much younger than that. You cannot. Uh, what a zygote crawling up my dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys experience the same thing? What's that? Like women of different races, do you see a different reaction uh, to you? Anthony's racist. Because I think <laughs> Anthony's <laughs> never. You have a different uh, demeanor. White, you white. hear yourself way is... differently than the two well, of you. Well, Anthony's never been with a black chick. His dick wears a hood. No. I'm a white. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. 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 His dick is called the Grand Wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, I'm just saying. I guess it's just who I'm attracted to. I think you're the exception, Jimmy. I've never been. I've no. I always know like pretty much right away if I want to have sex with a guy or not. But is it? Do you want to have sex with him or do you want to date him or do you want to be? In really, is it just like that? I'm interested in you and I'm attracted, or is it I want to fuck you it's, right now? It, no, it's not. I want to fuck you right now. But it's like just something I, I know if I want to fuck that guy right mm -hmm. right then right away. And then you know I, I've had sex with uh, my last two boyfriends. We had sex like immediately, and then it it wound up turning into a relationship. But really? uh, but that wasn't but my intention. You feel it in your belly, right? You can feel it. Like it was actually my my oh. clit. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're, but center. Amy's pussy is okay, magic. Is. She no. has a magic pussy. Uh, hey, so yeah, yeah. 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 Magic. No, but I, I thought, oh, we're just gonna, I'm, we're just gonna have sex a couple times, and then it turned into a relationship. I don't know, but, uh, but I, I, I feel like I know right away. But didn't you ever have somebody do something that all of a sudden the click happened, like, uh? Whether for men it's more visual, like a girl like who you just think is a regular girl and you're not attracted to her, will wear something that shows her nipples, or she, and all of a sudden, like, but literally, or she'll say something that I can lock into sexually, yeah. and then I want to fuck her. Like a lot of times, it does not happen right away at all. Not that I remember. Okay. If anything, the other way. Like I, I uh, you know, Kurt Metzger. Yes. Has he been on here? No. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Kurt, we like years ago started dating. Like we never hooked up or anything. Oh, wow. But then really? I realized you like. Metzger. Muppet eyebrows. I realized <laughs> you were you, you were really into facial expressions. Yeah, I don't know. He decided yeah. he decided like that that he thought I, he didn't even really know me, but he was like she's like the one, and I was like, and then I realized I was gonna hook up with him, and then he said something. Um, it was probably about like fucking prostitutes or doing coke or something. Oh. But no, but he, I was like. I realized he looks exactly like my father. Ooh. Oh, shit. And my dad is MS. He's in a wheelchair. And I was like, uh, Kurt, we're not going to be able to. Uh... And I showed him a picture of my dad. Like, to, to get out of fucking someone by literally oh, showing him. He's like, this is why I can't it. do it. He understood. He was like, oh, yeah, I do look yeah, exactly I can't, like your dad. Can't fuck you. Right? I, had yeah. girls that, I had girls that, like, reminded me of my sister. And I was like, I got to go. Really? And how she kissed? Jerk off. She reminded me the same way they kissed the same. Like her tongue, she kept her tongue hard, Ew. like a dick. And I, had, and I had to suck it. No, I'm joking. Bob, why? I'm kidding. I just went too far, Jim. I go I feel too like far. I know right away. You don't think so? You, have you like over time started to want to have sex with somebody? For for uh, being attracted to somebody, mm -hmm. I know right away. For, oh, for yeah, sex, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, right away. But I know when I feel that I'm attracted to them. Like Does I it? know when I'm trying to impress them. I can tell when I'm nervous. I can tell when I'm uncomfortable. Um, I can tell when I want them to like me. Yeah. Could, uh, does this does this fuck with your marriage at all? I mean, does do your husband get pissed no. that you do this at no. all? At first, yes. Okay, because I met him a month before I started my company, and I went to I went to a, like a Jewish singles mixer, and <laughs> really, <were> you, yeah. <laughs> what? Bobby, why don't you, you don't just fucking meet somebody on the street yes. with your technique? Yeah, exactly. called the Compl <laughs> Complain Fest USA. <laughs> but I just started dating Jordan, my husband, who Jesus. is the best man in the entire world, and <laughs> why are you doing this? Sorry, this so is cold. No, okay. no, my no, back you hurts. Funny. I'm you hungry. Funny. It's too hot in here. It's when too cold. Makes a good joke, there's like an award ceremony. <laughs> I get it. No. I'll Reward you. Amy knows this shit. <laughs> she got the shit down. Yeah, this. <laughs> like I've been here before. Hold on, the trophies are well out. Yeah, the, awards, around. the awards are going to be given out. <laughs> Most improved. Yeah. So you met your husband at a mixer. No, I didn't meet my husband at a mixer. I met him on the beach, and then a month later, because I was still open to, to meeting other people, I went to a singles mixer with my best friend, and mm. nobody was talking to each other. So I started grabbing guys, 
and making them go talk to women, gave them instant feedback, telling them, like, tucking your shirt, stand up straight, don't approach like this, don't hold your hands here, you're shaking. Cut those and curls like off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the pants off, get rid of them. Exactly. Yeah, take that crucifix off. <laughs> <laughs> and I put an ad on Craigslist, and 75 guys responded by the next, uh, the next morning. Yeah, I'm And sure my they husband did. was actually <laughs> away over the weekend, and he came back. I'm like, I started a business. And he's like, what are you doing? And I told him, and he's like, Craigslist. He, he, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these pictures. He's yes. like, you're an escort. I was like, no. Uh, you're an I'm escort. Not. Yes. And then my parents thought that too. They're like, great. We send our little Jewish daughter off to LA at 23 and she's become an escort in Los Angeles. That's awesome. And then after I got my first article, like in the LA Times or something, they were like, oh, you have a business. That's great. And then it started molding and changing and I started doing more coaching with people. So I would help them really grow, grow their self-confidence so that they can attract themselves and then attract other women. And then they became very proud because I started getting emails. Yeah, but you saying you're awesome. You changed my life. Wonderful. So my husband's really. But proud you're of meeting what I do. guys, these single guys, all the time, mm-hmm. and I, it would be hard for me because I don't know what type of person you are. But for me, I'm a weak, sexually weak deviant. I am and not. If you okay, so because you meet guys that are lonely or whatever, but they could be attractive, and there could be an energy between you because you're helping them. You're you're kind of in with them talking do you ever get attracted to these guys or have something where it's like oh this is getting a little too fucking hairy no. it's never. never like that for some reason you never crossed I, the line no i've never had that i've had some of my wing girls have that where really? they, and i love that if, if that happens they make a connection of some sort do it off of my time but absolutely amazing i love people are your wing girls pretty way. Oh my, oh my god, god. Smoking uh, are they really? all penthouse girls those guys are too hot for me penthouse girls like I mean, I'm saying like, is it, are they all like penthouse type girls or no? Do you have like an uh, ugly no. intern maybe that you need to get? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will Slightly find one for you. Looking. You have one with an eye that leaks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one that you a are kind of for eye. affirmative action. A furry yeah. as well. No, I got you. One that made it out I'm of a fire you. but not fast enough. <laughs> yeah. You have one that Just looks like him. Just the nose. <laughs> yeah. the whole back of her fucking head is burned off so she... Right. Done. <laughs> I'll put that out on Craigslist once I leave here. Yeah. So where are your wing girls? How many wing girls do you have? I have 10 wing girls and then I have other girls around the world who work for me um, and who contribute with their research and advice and information. And then I've, I've interviewed and researched and so you're talked a to you like thousands. Yes. No, I'm kidding. Well, they go out, the wing girls go out <laughs> with you. Wait, the wing girls will go out with you to a club? And watch what you're doing or pretend to be your girlfriend to get... Not to to pretend to be your girlfriend. Nobody ever pretends anything. There's no lies. It's always that they met here for that night. And it's really going out anywhere. It's not just about going to clubs or bars. It's about going anywhere. Shopping malls. Will they sit with you while... When I say pretend to be your girlfriend, I mean like sit with you. If there's a girl you like, say, walk into a a place with you like you're together. Okay, so they pretend for that. Yeah, either not like making out with you in the corner. But there's usually two wing girls and one guy. So it's like two girls hanging out with one guy, validating him, making him look attractive. And then after... She's pushing him but, to go interact with other people. I, you don't think that's kind of fraudulent, though, for the the girl that is going to meet him? You guys are pretending that this guy is something. Is it all going to fall apart? After, you know what I mean? Because yeah, he no, meets, no, no, uh, you got two hot chicks, and this girl's like, wow, he's got hot chicks, and her self esteem gets a little fucked up. She wants a little piece of that. They wind up hooking up, and then you guys leave, and now this fucking dummy is just the creep again. Do, can they go back to you? And do you just dr- is that it? Or do can you, the guys go back to can, me? Did, are you with them through the whole process of with this girl when they have questions? Yeah, when, you know, she's definitely. taking her clothes off and he's panicking because right, he came right already? Right, we're right beside them, right in the bed, exactly. <laughs> like, they're coaching him the whole way through. <laughs> that is, it's amazing. Like when, when a woman sees you, with, it's almost like when you're in a relationship, women know it because I guess you're not hunting as much. But women, like if they see you with hot women, they're much more likely to want to fuck you yeah. because they see other well, hot these women. These guys who you're, are you're... going out with with the girls have, have worked with me first. They're wing girl certified by that point. Yeah. So they have done a lot of coaching with me to be like a freaking amazing guy who can do everything by himself. Initially when I started this, I would go pick up women for them and it felt weird. I was mm-hmm. lying. There yeah. was like 50 year olds who I was saying I was their niece and that felt strange yeah. and now it's not <laughs> like that anymore. What yeah. they do is they take my method, the wing girl method right. and they, these girls help them put it to practice out in the open. So, so you give the guy coaches, con- you got Actually, he's gonna be if you're hanging with two hot chicks, no matter who you're, you're gonna get confidence, yeah. And then working you're gonna with be me, to, they're gonna yeah. get extreme confidence right. on their own so that they can have these two girls there who can help assess. So, and by I the give time they go feedback. out, yeah, they're totally fine. It's not, it's not, it's not false. And that actually was why I stopped doing those outings initially because it seemed escorty and false, and that wasn't what I was trying to do. Mm. So, I went back and I started mm. making programs because I would be with guys and they would start asking questions. I'm like, damn, you need a lot of work first before you can even spend right. the amount of money. Are you helping guys get? Let me ask this: Are you Helping guys get relationships, Anything or 
pussy, as long as they're, whatever as they long want. As, yeah, they're just options. Get laid. What options? Whatever as long they want. as they're okay. still being That's honest cool. and non manipulative. Like, I don't want guys to fuck girls and screw them over. If they're going to be dishonest and douchebags, I do not want to work with them. Mm -hmm. But if they just want to finally have options in their life where mm -hmm. they can look at girls and say, yeah, I want you, 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 and you. And I want to see if I want anything more from mm -hmm. any of you. Those are the guys that I want to work with, and those are the guys that I want to help. Because every guy is fantastic. But sadly, for a lot of women out there, the, the only ones who are being aggressive and actually approaching them are the douchebag assholes because those are the ones who have the extreme confidence the really great guys <laughs> think that they can't approach yeah. a woman and ask her for what they want and they can they absolutely can what is the name of your company wing girl method and uh how obviously how much is it how does it work? It's different. There's a whole bunch. There's like tons of free content on my blog. You can sign up for my newsletter. You get even more free content and discounts. And then I have instant download programs you can do by yourself. I can do coaching with you. Do you have an app? Where you are. I don't have an app yet, but I, I want one. You do? Jimmy Show does. Ups. Oh, yeah. My app's Wait, Wait, so wait. <laughs> So if a guy, do you do like a one-time consulting thing with people? Yep. All right, well, how much does it cost for a one-time consulting? A one-time consulting is free. Oh, okay. It's, it's 15 minutes with me, and we talk about what you possibly Jimmy, need. Because some guys that. may not need it. You can afford that. <laughs> what, <laughs> what kind, what kind of guys up. usually uh, get in touch with you? Are they kind of, you know, geeky kind of? Yeah, no. You know, I know what? That's what the main like. question guys ask. They're like, yeah. what kind of losers are coming to you? They're actually amazing guys. They're yeah. wonderful. Yeah, I did a boot camp in London where we had 22 guys. We went around the room, and it, there was doctors, analysts, um, entrepreneurs, engineers, like with great minds that were in the room, all well dressed. There's not something very... that they all have in common that you, yeah, you see a pattern. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, some kind of pattern <laughs> like ah, yeah, yeah, it's like missing a limb. It's called England. <laughs> England is no just limbs fucked up are teeth. missing. Premature They're amazing. ejaculation. <laughs> the guys that I work with, every every girl who is listening will understand. It's like you you always have this one friend, or even like guys, you always have this one friend who you're like, why aren't you with anybody? Like oh, why can't you find my friend anybody? Teddy B was like that in Florida, <laughs> Monday. <laughs> oh, oh, <see>. It <laughs> smells bad. Yes, yeah, you can someone fart. I did. Oh, way, way, way over here. You're though. the worst, oh, man. Oh fuck! It's really it's bad. Wrong. Wow. That, see that's. So how now? Stop right too. now. So now we're on the train. I just did that. <laughs> hey, how are you? No, we hate you. That was me. That we was hate me. You. That so was like, me. Bobby, Spoiled that's, meat. Bobby, that was that me. Is horrible. I would have yeah. sex with you right then and there. Yeah. See, see, that's a guy. I could throw yeah, that is strong. <laughs> Actually, something just popped in that's my ass. That's not a fart. I feel that like I could just... cry right now. I'm going to start crying. Yeah, that literally sm bad. That smells like spoiled meat. Shit. Yeah, it's spoiled meat. It's, okay. it's something I ate a week Bobby, ago. There are girls in here <laughs> today. Here Dude, I didn't fucking harlot. Amy's, Amy's leaving. I didn't, She's leaving the premises. Can I just tell you how small it was? you It was It was this little time. I didn't think it would affect the world. It was it went like this. This is how it went. <laughs> that that was it. I I have something wrong with me. I told you there's something wrong. I'm shitting like ribbon candy. What? It's, I don't know. <laughs> what is it coming out like? Yeah, it's not coming ribbon out like candy. a nice. It's coming ribbon candy. Oh, well, like when it goes. It's when you tease candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get it, your ribbon. <laughs> Boom. Yes, My fucking wow. mouth should have fallen off. Boring. <laughs> 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 Oh Are you okay, Amy? I, I feel um. That was I bad. Feel like I'm never gonna trust Bobby again. So this is her, going to her hair is That's different. That's the step that it takes. Yeah, her hair is curly. Hair, my hair frizzed up. From that. <laughs> <laughs> like an egg McMuffin that just fart. came out of your taint. That was awful. <laughs> oh jeez. That was really awful. So uh, now, how can people uh, uh, get your services? They can go to my website, uh, website? winggirlmethod.com. And again, there's 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 tons of free content on there, free information. Method.com. Yeah, sign up for my newsletter, and anybody who mentions this show gets a 25% discount. Are you going to get your own TV show? Is that in the works? I, yeah. I can, yeah. So, because they have the other show, The Millionaire, whatever it is. Oh, right. You know, I, I've, I've met with a lot of producers, and I've gone around to networks before. I actually yeah. went around with Jennifer Love Hewitt last year as the producer to pitch me and they all, so i thought i had a good chance of getting a tv show what did you say she has cankles that's not really the point she, we're trying to say she really impressed, yeah though. Who somebody cares about her I, she's gorgeous she's her, oh. somebody bummed me out about it i think dane told me one day he knew her and dane what now every dane, photo uh, every no 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 Mc, mccarthy oh, oh okay my friend I was from high school which dane it was he he told dane told me that and it ruined it every time <laughs>
body. I, honestly, I she has a beautiful body. She's beautiful. But she's if you look very, at the photos, very nice. She's yeah, but like well. Jamie Kennedy, I, that wasn't even the point. Inside her, so it's over. Oh, geez. right. That does ruin it. It does ruin it. Might spoil things. So, so because that show is kind of has its own. She has her own technique, but I don't agree with her fucking. No, neither do I. But it's weird. Many people said the exact same thing. They're like, you're not fucked up enough for television. Yeah, which, you, which is a, a compliment to me, but I want a TV show, so... Yeah, but the guys you get are fucked up. That's, right, exactly. She gets millionaire guys who don't need her. If you're a millionaire, I don't give a fuck. No, but if you're a millionaire, you actually need me, probably, to work with you and whip you into shape so that right. you stop being a douchebag and flaunting your money, because you're never going to get a quality woman. If the only thing you have to rely quality, on is, is your... Quality. Yeah, exactly. Who needs <laughs> quality? Who needs quality? Yes. Quantity. Yes. Give me breasts. Uh, that's I all I want. need a backpack and a lollipop. Get yeah. over here. <laughs> Lord, I, want a, I want a fucking want pleasant a gimp. <laughs> I know oh. what a personality she has because she had to develop it. Oh <laughs> wow. my god! Yeah, the girls that don't After need any I'm personality. After I'm done working with men, I'm gonna start working with women as well, really? and just relay the information that I've learned from men and tell them because there's the, women are not taking enough charge either. Like as an assignment to anybody who's listening, I want you to go up to three people that you find attractive and say hi. Number one, and then say, I find you really attractive. Oh, Let's go for coffee. Oh. That's and the then, assignment right there. And in this, you give up uh, no fail pickup tips yeah. to guys in yeah. the uh, Pentos issue. Yeah. What's, so the no, what, what's some... one of the no fail pickup tips? I don't know what's in there. I've given so many tips. So. Tips from a pro? Wait, wait, right. no One fail. One thing I will oh. tell you, it's Tips. not about what you say, it's about how you say it. I can have 10 guys lined up in front of me saying the exact same yeah. line, and I'm going to have a different feeling from each of them. It says, play the odds. Yeah. That, that means you hit on a lot of people. Yeah, it means what? put yourself yeah, out there. Yeah, hit on a lot of people. people. Yeah. So how, exactly. Exactly. how you say something. Like you. How, how you, you say, say something's think... important, right? Yeah. How yeah. you say what? How you say how something's you say. important. Yeah, exactly. Like if you, you say if you yours. say, Hey, how you doing? That's cool. But if you go, Hi, hello <laughs> and blink a million times and like really close in front of her face <laughs> and grabbing her boobs, that probably won't work. How about if you go, Hey, how you doing? Oh no. Oh, that's wow. a good one. <laughs> yeah, that'll yeah. have them just fucking wet. Yeah. Or how about if you're an Indian and you go, will be thrown How off. <laughs> <laughs> you doing? <laughs> how about if you go into the bathroom and you go, You want to come with? <laughs> Don, do that. Like David Mamet? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So what's a tip? For what's a, a tip? Give us a tip. One of the tips out of the magazine. Do you want the magazine? I don't know uh, if you know. You no, I can, give you, I can give you a few tips. Okay. okay. The, the biggest mistake that people make, uh, uh, people in general, um, but men, is not approaching. You reject yourself mm. uh, before giving a woman a chance. Um, another mistake is I hate when people say that women don't want to be with a nice guy. Women absolutely want to be with a nice guy. They just don't want to be with a wimp. Someone who uh, gives up his needs and his self-respect to, to smack him right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, so they want to be with a nice guy who actually has a backbone. My hey, husband happens to be one of the fuck. nicest guys yeah. I've ever met, but he stays his expectations. He has bad. He respects himself and he respects his time. Don't make you but flinch nice. if you don't have dinner on the table. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll exactly. immediately a harsh backhand. I like, a nice guy in life. I like the guys nice in life, but in the, in the bedroom the he's a little bit of a degenerate. Like he's a little bit. Do, yes, do is I? That you? I, I, I was gonna say like you're very you know aggressive and um. Like I don't, I don't mean controlling like in a bad way. I'm you. You can control a situation, but in bed, I bet you're like you I like when your husband woman. takes the reins. Yeah. I want to feel feminine when I'm feeling my most feminine. That's when I'm the most turned on. And when he's attractive. like choking you, right, and <laughs> slapping you across that's the face. Nice. I love it. I'm the Fucking same way. In life, I'm controlling, but I like to. Yeah, yeah I, like, I want to yeah. feel like a Fist dainty little lard. woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make. I'll give a girl a noogie it, when she's about to come. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably like that. No, but for women, especially uh, women of New York who are a little bit more aggressive take charge, and yeah. take charge, yeah, you do. You it takes a lot more for us you to feel be feminine. Yeah. So don't hold the iPad over your wife's face when you're having sex. Right. With your okay. picture of yourself right. on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Bobby does. Else on it. Uh, well, uh, hopefully that that helps some people out. We're definitely oh, done, running sure. low on time. Okay. Um, wow. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. This month, Penthouse, Penthouse. Marnie. Eden Adams is the cover girl. And if Fuck the, she's attractive. If wow. the, uh, if the tips is. don't work for you, you could always jerk off to the Penthouse. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a win win. Win win. Yeah. Right? Everybody no, wins. There's no losing there. Yeah. But definitely uh, go to my website, winggirlmethod.com, and yes. sign up for my newsletters. 25% off. Opie and Anthony. That's pretty yes. cool. Very and, cool. and go see Bobby Thank Kelly you. at Uncle Vinny's Bobby. this weekend. Uh, Friday night, Ooh. yeah, Friday night. Uh, and go see Amy Schumer. Pittsburgh. This Thursday. Thursday. Her own little show that she's that. putting together. Pittsburgh that, Improv. Pit, improv that she's doing. So make Best sure you go you fill it the fuck up so she can make we'll sign your. We'll sign your penthouses. Yeah. I'm in, t I'm in Tampa in September. It's the next road gig I have. <laughs> Make sure everybody 
mark your calendar. Let's just keep. I, I have a podcast. Go check out Do my it. podcast I'm on Glory next week. Gloryholeradio.com. And she's in LA next <laughs> yes, week. Yes, I will be in LA next week. And then, and then uh, Portland the week after. I have a uh, Portland, Oregon, or Portland, Maine, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Canadian. I don't know how to answer that. I think it's uh, Portland, Oregon. Oh and I, wow! I'm horrible, really didn't know right? how to answer yes, that. They have hair under their arms. It's Portland, Oregon. <laughs> okay, Portland, Are Oregon. you on Twitter? Oh, I am. Wing Girl Method. You can Wing follow Girl me. Wing Girl Method. Twitter. You're on Twitter, Amy. I am Amy Schumer, and you are also. I'm, I'm Amy Schumer too. Wow. No, you're not. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Um, uh, Amy Schumer Deuce. <laughs> are you guys me. performing in New York this week? Yeah. Yeah, we do a live sex show. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. But it, it's, like it. it's, no, it's, it's I, called I anticlimactic. Yeah, no <laughs> one ever comes. We just look sad. Yeah, yeah. we just <laughs> yeah. We, then we watch TV. <laughs> we take turns disappointing each other. Then we watch Judge Judy. <laughs> yeah, That's deadliest awesome. catch. Like a good time. We no, I, try I to like fuck again. It doesn't happen. Yeah, never happens. She tries to mush it in like an old water balloon. It doesn't get in. Yeah, you're missing some great stuff over there. No, you're missing nothing. The magic that is. She knows when to tune out. All uh, right, and uh, Amy, you've uh, where are you going to be? Did you uh, Pittsburgh already? Improv? Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Improv. Okay. She's going to be there. Jimmy, <laughs> anything? That's, that's the crowd. <laughs> 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 that's the worst. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Anthony just no. got plugged. <laughs> oh, <laughs> plugged. There. I just pulled the plugs out of that <laughs> fucking thing. Bobby's got too much power <laughs> sitting in that seat. Yeah, <laughs> it's addictive. That's too much power it's for addictive. one man to have. <laughs> Remember Malcolm X? Is that X? Cosby? <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hang out and just gaze at you people all day, but Let's I'm do out of it. here. Oh, We're done, okay. right? That's Thank it. you, Marnie. Oh, Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, audience. Thank, Thank you, Lady. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Eric. And Eric. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Eric. And, 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 and all the people that have been fired, too. You're home. You know Thank you. You know the easiest day in the world today? Troy Kwan. Oh yeah, phone screener. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Because we, we didn't take one we, fucking. No, we got call. Al. Oh, well, I got Al. Call. Al, interesting Al. <laughs> yes. I have a question. No, you don't. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. All right, later. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. The virus. Serious XM. Hey, hey, hey. And now the Opie and Anthony show continues. Continues. This is after O and A live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. Oh, yes, we're still on. It's after Opie and Anthony live. I'm Sam Roberts. A little dead air there, E-Rock? During the commercial? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that right? Yeah, everything ran fine. Well, then I guess it must just be me. The Ron and Fez interns are setting up, uh, getting ready for a big Ron and Fez show today. When are we getting, uh, when, when, when are the Opie and Anthony interns officially coming back? Um, I believe... They start after the September 11th uh, weekend. Huh. I'll double check on that, but I think it's that week. It's not too far away until the Opie and Anthony interns come back. Yeah. And they start really running shit around here. And if anyone's interested, um, go to SiriusXM.com slash internships. Fill out the form. You'll see the Opie and Anthony selection there for the show that you want to intern. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, uh, you got to be a college student. You have to, Well, you have to be earning college credit. You have credit. to get credit. So if you're in CSB, you can probably uh, finagle your way, no pun intended, into that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to be an intern, just go to, what is it, SiriusXM.com slash internships? Internships, yes. Yeah, and you can, you, you, you can be an intern for the Obi and Anthony show. It's how a lot of people get their career starts, folks. For instance, me, Sam Roberts, yes. I was an intern once, and you can be one too. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. We have a This Day in o a History I'm going to play. Uh, Bubble Dating Game is this week. We'll give out all that Yeah, we're running those promos a lot. Good. Because uh, I, I know... I actually went to a wrestling show. Uh, I was I participated, I should say, in a wrestling show over the weekend. How'd you do? Uh, well, I, I managed the new Tag Team Champions of the World. Did you interfere? Well, I mean, I got up on the apron once. Sure, but I had to make sure my guys were being properly represented. Gotcha. You know what I mean? What would you what would you compare your ma since Ant said oh, all we do is talk wrestling I'm going to do this sure um, what would you compare your managing styles to would you be like a Bobby Heenan it's a great question Jimmy Hart it's a great question Eric Nagel but I was Oliver uh, Humperdinck I was <laughs> that's a good reference I was given of course the manager of the Beast of the East Bam Bam Bigelow uh, I was I was given quite a compliment back uh, in the in the locker room area of this show uh, one of the guys came up to me 
who was like, a, I think a wrestling student. He did one of the pre-show matches. He was just like a skinny guy, but he was a fan. He was a good guy. And uh, he said, let me tell you something, dude. I saw you out there. And it was like Harvey Whippleman all over again. Oh, no. So, you know, he was successful. <laughs> he had Sid Justice. What did Harvey walk out with? Because I, well, I, I want to say the, the covered tennis racket, but that no, was Jim that was Cornette. Your, he was Dr. Harvey Whippleman, so he had a stethoscope in a doctor's bag. But he had something else, didn't he? No, just a stethoscope. Just well, like, I mean, how much stuff could he possibly well, he have the, with him? He wore the, the, the Pee Wee Herman suit, like with the bow tie. Yeah, but he had a stethoscope in a doctor's bag. How much stuff could he possibly carry to the ring? I don't know. Um... I also want, I mean, are there any girls around? I saw Nicole walking around a minute ago from the morning mashup. I want to ask one of these girls because we just had, uh, what was her name? Marnie, you know what? Uh, her, Marnie, uh, how do you pronounce her last name? Kinry, Kin, Kinry's? I don't know, I don't know why, but Marnie was in. K-I-N-R-Y-S. Marnie from Penthouse. She has an article in this month's Penthouse, and she's a wing woman, so she coaches guys on how to, on how to get girls. You probably already knew this because we talked to her for an hour, ten minutes ago. But... The thing that stuck out at me was she said that uh, going up to a woman and saying, hey, you know where the bathroom is? I got to take a shit. She said that would work if you said it with confidence. All right. Roland says that all the time, and I don't see Roland with anybody. He goes home lonely every night. But, I mean, if you see any girls, you got to stop them because we have to ask a female. And, I mean. Where's your call screener? Isn't she around? Monica, I don't know where she is. She picks up odd jobs. She's and she's a bit of an airhead. So I mean, I don't know how she keeps anything on track. But uh, I mean, let me tell you, Eric, you told us back in the days of the sex bagel, you used to uh, sling it around quite a bit. And by it, I mean that dick of yours. You know what I'm saying? All right, if you want to put it that way. What was your What was your method to pick up these chicks? Uh. Uh, you know what? I, I, what did you forget? What no, it's just, it, it wasn't you... like I, I didn't have any lines or, or anything. It's just, I don't oh, know. I just, I just talked to them, you know? I, I'd find out little things hey. that they liked, and then it would just harp on those little things all the time. Can we talk to Julia on the air? I'll find out. Hang on. Come in here. Because she's shaking her head. No, get her in here, Eric. All right, hold on. ASAP, come in. Come in here. Come in here. Come in. She's saying one minute. Now, tell her to come in here. Who, who does she work for? Eric's going to get her. I gotta find out who she works for so I can properly introduce her because I gotta get this question answered and I have to ask a female before we uh, before we do some other stuff. Like we said, if you want to intern for the Opie and Anthony show and be part of all this magic that happens, this is what happens when the show is not She'll on. Be the there air. one second. Everything is happening and you can intern for us at uh, SiriusXM.com/internships. That's how you apply and you you click the little Opie and Anthony uh, uh, button. The Russian dolls are back. What are they doing back here? They were just in Boris here. Boris and uh, Anastasia just went into Shave 45. Is Anastasia the older one? She's the the, blonde, uh, the brunette that kept saying, stay thirsty. Oh, okay. Her. I don't know about her. Julia. Go to the, Yeah, that mic's good. What, where do you work again? What, 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 how do we introduce you? Hello? Yes, you're on. on? <laughs> is it on? I'm like, is it on? I can't hear anything. Well, you're what on. A, Trust me. What a horrible producer, Iraq. He said, yeah, I have nothing terrible. to do with that. How come everybody who works here... Thinks that you're horrible. Steve Sterniolo yeah, comes I'm in kidding. here. Iraq's great. Yeah, well, come on. You you were being honest a minute ago. Steve Sterniolo comes in here and is trashing you. Now, Julia, what do you do for Sirius XM? Um, I work for Sirius XMU Indie Rock Channel. Oh, that's the channel chill. that Rob Cross works for. Yes, chill. Down now, tempo electronic music, first wave. Troy, you remember what was it? Because I don't remember. Do you remember what Opie said we should do with XMU a, a couple weeks ago? He said to get rid of it. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what he wanted oh, in his right. place. A second Opie and Anthony channel. Yeah. Because he that said... Be oh, um, no. Didn't he say XMU was college radio? Yeah. Huh. So, well, welcome to the show, <laughs> Julia. The question well, that we have the here... the underdog, we, XMU. That's the way people like the underdog. That's why everybody loves E-Rock, because he's the, he's the perpetual underdog, and everybody gets behind him, except for you. Julia, the first thing she did, she walks in this room. Her first words on the virus were... Uh, e Rock is a horrible producer. Well, I couldn't hear anything. He was like, "Go, go," and I was like, "Am I on? What?" Yes, yes. No, you're he's alive. fine. Now tell me this, Julia. We had we had a wing woman on here uh, a minute ago who helps guys get girls, helps guys say things that will allow them to pick up chicks, and she claimed that if you go up to a woman with, if as long as you do it with confidence, and you go, "Hey, do you know where the bathroom is? I got to take a shit." <gasps> really? She said that like. Oh, as long as, as long as as long as you do it with confidence, it'll work. 
I don't know. You know, my my go to that I say to my my guy friends is sometimes I'll even purposely spill something on them. Yeah. And then I say, go to that group of girls and be like, my friend just spilled stuff all over me. Do you have napkins? Do you think start talking that uh, way? I wouldn't go to someone and be like, somebody washed me. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Where'd somebody you... washed me chick flicks. No, that that's work. not. No, that's a much better. Well, why if... does I go? I pee my pants. Yeah. If up? you if you pour it all over there, like crotch area and, and then you say it could looks you like pat i peed my down? pants i'm so embarrassed would you, yeah. would you like to lick it off of me no 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 that's what you say, say would you please wipe me. wipe this off yeah for would me? you help me yeah please now, wipe my pants down what if somebody like troy came up to you in a club troy's tall dark and handsome and he comes up to, that's wait, how wait, i Studley. always describe wait, if you. he is drunk he is angry sometimes sometimes angry but he's not drunk yet because he's picking up girls and he just walks up to you and he says excuse me my name's troy do you know where the bathroom is i have to take a shit once he's done taking a shit and he came back, does he have a shot? Um, or are you just thinking about I'm, him shitting? I'm going to tell you why that does work. <laughs> it does. It does. You're gonna, okay. Go because ahead. if Julie is in the, in the bar or the club and she's getting hit on all night, it's like, hey, can I buy you a drink? Hey, you know, you look pretty. Oh, I like your dress or whatever. And you do something so far out of the, the realm of what's going on that mm -hmm. night, you're going to stand out in her mind. And as long as you just have a little bit of game and know how to kick it after that, you've that, already broken the ice. Is that right, Julia? I mean... I or are you thinking to yourself, wait, this is the guy who took a shit. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know. I mean, that, no one's approached me with that line. I had a friend. But... We, we went to uh, Senior Week. We would go down to like Ocean City, Maryland sure. for Senior Week. And my friend would walk up to the hottest girl he would see on the boardwalk. And he would go, uh, he would just start talking and he would just fart really loud. And that's he'd my like, move. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. <laughs> See, oh. that's, that's funnier than I and, think. And they'd be like, like, oh, you fucking pig. And he would, sure enough, he would end up hooking up with these girls. Really? Yes. Wait, so do you think that would work on I you, think... Julia? I... <laughs> if Troy came up to you, he's like, hey, what's up? I'm Troy. Let's out a giant gasser. And then says, I'm sorry, I get nervous around pretty girls. Well, listen, farting's Would you be funny. charmed? Farting's okay. always funny. What about taking... Shitting's not as funny to me. Because it's like a physical product. Yeah, because I'm like, ew, like you couldn't have just taken a shit before you went out. Like, really? <laughs> or like, did you have to talk to me about it before? Yeah. <laughs> like, you couldn't just have just fart. found yeah. the bathroom? Guys, fart. Rowan? I do both. <laughs> you fart and shit? <laughs> I do whatever it takes. Do you, you, that's your line you said? I use it many times. Like, hey, what's your name? I go, I can take a shit, I'll be back. <laughs> Does it work ever? <laughs> No. no. No, I'm just like, no. you're probably gross. You probably didn't wipe. You're probably disgusting. Okay, right, you're gross. Just, you're thinking about them uh, shitting. Or go, can I buy your lemon from your drink to wipe my, clean my hands a little bit better because the smell's still there. Yeah, see, oh. that that doesn't... Even Fine. Troy, even you would have to say. <laughs> if you, you can yeah, do but, uh, Troy, stupid I feel, shit. I feel you, like you and your friends are the type of people... Well, they're, they're like eight-pack people. Come on Yeah, now. first of all, <laughs> they're, like, they're all like, they're all in shape guys and they all go and talk to like really dumb girls. And no. I feel like that's how no. they end up, like, the girl thinks it's charming that well, you just said, dumb, I, I have to take a shit. Like, that's a stupid yeah. person. Eh, not, I don't think so. I mean, I think if you just, you own it, and you're just, you just say it with confidence, and you look like, uh, you know, you're a cool dude Boy, just girl, hanging out. If and a girl like... came up to me and said, hey, do you know where the bathroom is? I have to take a shit. Understand this, women. That would be the end of it. Like well, that's, see, that's because in, I, in guys' I minds, girls don't never shit. Happens. Yeah, in I guys' don't. minds, girls don't shit. I like so. to hear that, Julia. Yeah, I don't. I like so that. So, girls don't shit. Why do women in that work is serious disappear for twenty minutes from their desk? They're powdering their nose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're <laughs> taking a big <laughs> deuce. <deserve. laughs> They're women. They have to powder their nose. They're ladies, for yeah. one. Well, uh, yeah, but Troy, I, I do think that it's because I'm not saying that the women that you and your friends get aren't good looking. I think they're dumb as a box of rocks, though. Yeah, but you don't know that. You don't I, know I think, though. I'm assuming. Well, yeah, I'm assuming. assuming. And any, I think... You've, you've met my ex-girlfriend. She, she yeah, but dumb. I don't think you picked her up by saying, Hey, what's up? I see you're a model. Uh, I am I just took a shit. <laughs> well, honestly, if you're going out to a bar to meet girls anyway, I mean, it's not going to be a lasting relationship, I don't think. I mean, that's not the best place to meet a long-lasting relationship at a bar. Probably You not. know what I mean? Like, you're just there for to fuck you're just there for like it's just a, a, a you know whatever i never got the what were some of the because uh, i was trying to get a little of the days when sex bagel used to swing that thing around and by that thing i mean his dick yeah we got it <laughs> the second time i said it um <laughs> you like that right Roland? um what were some of the lines that the sex man used to use because julia i don't know if you know this but the sex bagel told us you know eric oh he, that's sex bagel you sexy. didn't know that was his name? No, I didn't know that. Sexy B. 
Got it. Yeah, the sex bagel. He said, because he used to go by the sex bagel, and he said in his sex bagel days, he used to uh, be with bed so many women that it got to the point where he was taking his used condoms out of the garbage can, tying them in a knot, and putting them in his pocket to take them home because... His Nagel DNA was the <laughs> seed, valuable. The Nagel seed, oh seed of Prince Nagel. I love was how this story has evolved. Was of such <laughs> value to the ladies of the United States. That is that so gross. He had to carry it with him. And they cut. The, he's afraid that they're going to cut it open and like a uh, like a like a cookie batter. Yeah, like you're squeezing out the last little bit. Like like a, like, like like a designer cake. Yeah, like you ice. You know how when you're writing on a cake and icing, you oh, have the yeah. bag and you squeeze out. Like they thought they were just going to squeeze a big N for Nagel inside themselves oh. with Prince Nagel's seed. He thought it was that valuable that he had to carry it with him. So what I'm that asking... That's so gross. But that's all besides the point. <laughs> What's wrong, Roland? Are you okay? He loves the idea of that. What Prince do you... Nagel! <laughs> that's what he referred to what himself is... as. I it's never like, said it's that. It's so <laughs> valuable. This story has grown so much from when it was originally talked about. It's such... It's a, <laughs> such, a valuable seed. It is. It's it's so much more yes. valuable than anything else in that garbage can. Right. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like he throws it away like common trash, but to that young lady who's <laughs> in the bed, that's as good as gold. She's never seen such such pristine <laughs> sperm. I mean, and she knows the family he comes from. There's a lot of wealth. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's like she's taken care of. To her, each oh. spermatozoa is of such value. That she can't possibly let this go to waste. She needs to take it and once Eric leaves, squeeze it inside of herself so that she too may one day bear a nagel. Ew. <laughs> well, that's that's what was going. That's what was going on in Eric's head. Right. Prince oh. Nagel. Uh, yeah, she wants she wants her very own Prince okay. Nagel to to carry in her womb and one day. Uh, unleash on the world. Where did you go from shitting in the bathroom to Prince Nagel? <laughs> Prince Nagel. That's the after show. That's after Opie and Anthony Live. What I was trying to get, that's all besides the point, though. Mm -hmm. What I was trying, that was just a backstory, so you're more familiar, Julia, what, from XMU. What I was trying to get to was he didn't, Eric didn't really have any pickup lines or strategies that he remembered from the Prince Nagel days. Uh, the sex bagel days, he calls them. Do you remember Troy seeing the sex man in action? Uh, I do. I The only time I've seen him, though, in action was uh, with the band that I was playing with at that time, and he was there hanging out. And, you know, I mean, at that point, you can just say you're with the band. And, like, if you're in a band, it puts you in a whole different world. So it's like what Jim was talking about, where for him, comedy and being a comedian, he has that, so it makes it easier. He said if you strip that away from him, he doesn't have a lot of game anymore. Right. It's Mo the same with a band. I mean, if a girl watches you play in a band and there are people there to see you... Well, I mean, we're talking about Eric, though. Did he play in the band? Oh, uh, he was on stage. Oh. He, was, he, was, he was with the band. Okay. So, you know, they see you play, and then you just... Afterward, you just... You have that. She's already seen you play, she, and people have liked you, and the people are kissing your ass afterward. So it oh, sort so of makes you that. attractive. So you don't have to tell her you're taking a shit. You don't have to be charming at all. You could be as disgusting and as filthy as you want to be, and they just sit there with a smile on their that's face. Weird. I thought that's what telling her you're taking a shit was. Yeah. Eric, uh, is that true, or is, is Troy short-selling you? Uh, I was never filthy or disgusting. <laughs> I, guess, I didn't say you were. You, you, oh, you, okay. When you're in a band, you can you be said, I couldn't. I could not compete to the level of filth and dis and being disgusting. Because you're a prince. That <laughs> Troy and some of the other guys could take it to. Is that right? Um, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay. But there, there, were, there were a certain... Um, like, they had friends that were, were also hanging around. So when they would hook up with uh, Troy and some of the other guys, their friends were around doing nothing. And if you just talk to them when they're lonely and desperate, then, you, you know, you it's can really like, rack up some numbers. So it's, like, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It wasn't a skill thing, Eric. It was like, I mean, it was like... It's like girls with low self-esteem. At that time, right. that, time, that time in my life, yes. It was just uh, right place, right time. But you did have the skill before that. Uh, before and after, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> That's true. That period Look, was a little different, though. I've seen, I've seen the woman that Eric is married to way out women? of the league. Woman. Oh, I, say, okay. I, I thought women. you said women. Yes, you're a polygamist. <laughs> he's a Mormon. He's a more, yeah, he's a polygamist. No, I saw, I've seen the woman and had conversations, interacted 
not in a sexual way, Eric, but interacted with the woman that Eric is married to. She's way over his head. Yeah. So I would assume that somewhere buried deep down inside, there's a beast. There's there's a sexy there's beast. A real beast. Yeah. Is that right, Eric? I'll go with that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, Julia, I hope that your your trip to after Opie and Anthony Live has this been great. informative, educational, and that you've learned something new about some of your coworkers. Yeah, yeah. And you see Julia at the bar, and totally they have to get shit. Exactly, because apparently it works on anyone. Julia no. says it doesn't we'll, work. We'll give out your email in a second. <laughs> yeah. Don't. We will, and your phone number. That's okay, right? Are you on Twitter, Julia? I am you on You could Twitter. plug your Twitter. Why don't you give your Twitter? Um, you can follow me at Julia Sirius XMU. You really didn't want to for a second. That's a public I know, I like. like I don't know if I want. Are you a jock on XMU? I am Sundays. All right, so you're public figure. You can give people the Twitter name. Yeah, and you. You don't have to follow. And me. your personal no cell pressure. phone number. Yeah, if you guys want to give me a call. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen to Julia Sundays. What time on XMU? Uh, four to nine Eastern. PM. PM. Because AM, it's like yeah, AM. That's listening. no, that's not it's even. It's like really when I'm on hits one, it doesn't count at all. And she also runs a great channel called Chill. Yeah, Chill first What's wave. Chill? Chill is um, an electronic channel. Down oh my tempo. Gosh. Easy like, just real, real like mellow electronic mm -hmm. music. You cool. You know, Super cool. you know, Roland. You don't like it. No, but just a Bruce channel. You just like Bruce. And first wave classic alternative. Yeah, just a Bruce channel. You do all those channels. Mm -hmm. You're very important around here. Oh my, you don't even know. This could have been an HR issue. I had no idea. I know. I actually consider we share a boss. Yeah, it could be. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> Remember, this is all done in fun. And plus, yeah, this is plus all fun. listening. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Julia, thank you for stopping thank by. Thank you so much for having me. Today was an important day in o a history, so I wanted to play. We didn't get a time to play it on the live show. Not that this isn't live, but we didn't get to play it on Opie and Anthony. Mm -hmm. So instead, we'll play it on after Opie and Anthony live. Into it. Uh, this is this day in o a history for today. Thank you, Julia. The Opie and Anthony Show presents, presents this day in o a our favorite moments from this very day in Opie and Anthony history. It was on this day back in 2007, our inept intern Craig got stuck in the elevator for the entire show. Are you really in an elevator? Now I'm in the elevator, I'm sitting on the floor, and I'm playing with a rubber band that I broke five minutes ago. <laughs> He's already losing it. Craig. Yeah. Why don't you give out a little, uh, you know, distress signal here. Why don't you give a big help and... Yeah, say help, I'm stuck in the elevator. Yeah, hello works pretty good, actually. Hello. Hello? No, no. Oh, so uh, Hugh Junit, Hugh Junit <laughs> is uh, suggesting you do a rock scream. <laughs> do a rock scream from the elevator. Yeah, with the little air that's left in the elevator. Yeah. Let's go. Go ahead. Rock scream, Craig. <laughs> has been this day in o and a in o and a our favorite moments from this very day in opie and anthony history we're back on after opie and anthony live that was such a a great day when that happened by the way if you want to hit on julia who we just talked to or just tell her you're shitting yeah she said she she wants to hear everybody's comments she does okay her twitter name is uh julia sirius xmu that's what it is right yeah. okay julia sirius xmu on twitter and if you're looking for a date, just let the girl know you're shitting. <laughs> and so, you know, she loves it. She loves it. But, Troy, that was before you were around. That was our intern, Craig, who uh, we all call Craigie Bra. I'm not sure why. Uh, but that was the day he got stuck in the elevator. And I remember sitting there. He was literally in this elevator on 57th Street for three hours. <laughs> yeah. It, got, it was the middle of the summer. And I remember he got so hot that he ended up laying down in the elevator with his shirt off. <laughs> and he's this big fat kid. But do you, do you remember we were over at K-Rock at yeah. the time, and he was over at the old XM well, building, and he was trying to... <laughs> I don't know if he was going back and forth, but that's where he got stuck early when we started the show at K-Rock, so he had to sit there until we came over It was like 6.15 in the morning, and I remember I went over with him, and he went up on the elevator without me, and it got stuck, so I got to watch him... On the security cam, <laughs> <laughs> just watching it <laughs> for hours. She's like, "What the fuck am I doing in here?" I mean, and and it's that type of thing that's like life experience. Can you imagine on Fifty Seventh Street and Roland? You remember that building? It was an Oof. old building. 
Yeah, you, you. I mean, you it, have to get the technicians. And I mean, rats running around the, at the Nazi bottom. guy in the bottom floor that and, checked you in. Yeah, they didn't want to help you. There was the, the, the guy would never help you. There wasn't a staff. There was one guard there and maybe one tech who was there sometimes. And it was in a, it was in a really old building. So he was literally stuck in the elevator for three hours. I think he had a bin or he had some kind of show stuff in there with him, and he had to just lie down. I mean. The thought of being stuck in an elevator for three hours is terrifying. I'd lose yeah. my shit. Well, well, over here though, you have too many like financial people. So right, they, they will they will fix it in two a hurry. seconds. I mean, I remember, like I always thought when I was a kid, I was afraid of getting stuck on elevators. When I got a little older, I was like, it's no big deal. Then I once got stuck in an elevator for about five minutes, and within two minutes, the walls start getting close, and you go, oh, I got to get out of here. I have to get out of here. Because you're not moving, and you start to realize you're dangling in midair in a tiny box, and nobody can help you. I would try to climb the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Is he, that what you he, I would he, lose he, my mind. <laughs> I'd be like, I gotta get out of there. My buddy got sick in the elevator. He told him there's a pregnant woman in there, and they tried to rush in, but they're just him. Well, <laughs> we had security cameras in here. Uh, I don't know what year your buddy did that, but... In the 80s. In the 80s, before they invented the security camera, but yeah. But it was a beautiful thing just to watch. Craig, Craig is the same intern who, in order to celebrate Halloween, uh, sat on the couch at CBS and for three hours ate candy. <laughs> like oh, just that's him. Sat there eating pounds and pounds of candy. Oh, yeah. Now, was that, was that where Jay Moore jumped out? Yeah. Okay. I think I think Craig is the same intern. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. It wasn't Craig. That was uh, Bobby the Champ. Oh, okay. Bobby the Champ had a new Jay Moore jump onto him, but it was Craig the intern who... Uh, who ate all the candy? He was stuck in an elevator for for three hours. And what I'm trying to say is, it's like, it's life experiences like this that shape you into the person you are. And that's what we do here for interns at the Opie and Anthony Show. We shape them into the future radio professionals that they can be. You know what I mean? It's like half the staff here were interns. I was an intern, and without that internship. And without the help of Scorch in Syracuse, I could never be shaped into the professional that I am today. So if you want to intern, and if you want some of these great experiences that will last a lifetime, and, let's be honest, a foot in the door of the entertainment and radio industry, you just go to SiriusXM.com slash internships, and you can be under the tutelage of the sex bagel, <laughs> the man in charge, <laughs> Prince, Prince Nagel, Nagel himself. <laughs> Uh, you can be an intern too. People, um, people are not writing flattering things to Julia on, on Twitter. Are you kidding me? What are they saying, Eric? Uh, I don't have it in front I, of I don't me. want to read that one. Pop it up. Read one, two, read, read one right. or two. I'll read this one. And her, and her Twitter name, by the way, we just talked to her, is uh, Julia Sirius XMU. You can hear her if you're into like a. She said Twitter, anything you want, whatever on your mind. Well, if you're into like a college rock type stuff it's bondage a, there's a lot of don't say that road there's a lot of variety going on <laughs> on xmu so you can listen to her sundays from 4 p.m to 9 p.m and i'm sure she brings the house down what are some of the people saying to her uh well one guy is asking how she can tolerate a little worm known as sam roberts that's i mean but this one <laughs> the first one that reached out to her uh said Julia, I want to put it in your butt. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's nice. Why would you say that? I don't know. They're they're abusing this privilege. Yeah. She, she really yeah. is a sweet gal. She is. She's very nice. Obviously, but I guess you, you fans don't... That doesn't matter to you. Yeah, uh, I, get, I get Twitters from them like, Hey, what's up, fat fuck? Have a great weekend. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like, what part of that did you mean? Oh, my, my favorite goes, Dude, you're so fat, I, um, you can't tie your shoes. Dude, uh, can you help me get this? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll like, help you. Like, what part of these tweets do you guys mean? Do you mean it when you tweet Roland and say, have a good weekend? Or do you mean the other half of the sentence when you call him a fat fuck? Hey, you fat fuck, have a good weekend. It's like, Roland uh, doesn't know you, so it's not ball busting. Like, do you mean he's a fat fuck, or, or do you mean he or, should have a great I got, weekend? I got a Twitter, like, saying, um, oh, you're an asshole, not Colin Kane. So I wrote back, fuck you and your family. <laughs> okay, see, that seems the, like... You're taking it to the next level. And then they get upset when Roland blocks them. Yeah. Do you block them a lot? Fuck, fuck them all. Yeah, you like the, the ones that who shit. are mean, fuck them all. I mean, they, they'll, they'll just write. What the hell? Just kidding. I would block all the people who are mean to me on Twitter. They have no followers. I have no followers <laughs> left. So I don't have that option. I want the followers more 
then that means more than you to you than yeah than yeah, than some ball bust the pain yeah. and the agony that I go but through. There, there are a lot of nice ones, but just when you get the couple like there are I don't I don't get them. I, there's a lot of them. Then when I get a couple of mean ones like, hey, uh, you and Uncle Nina should team up and uh, go on the biggest uh, loser, you fat fucks. It's like, what does that help? I was like, that hurts. That hurts. Why would you do that to Roland? Uh, Troy caught some heat though uh, because of how hostile you were to Eric the other day. Yeah. But you're okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, look, the one thing... Did you put the video up to show people how... No, because I haven't gotten Eric's alternative angle to slice oh, together. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Troy's, Troy's anger is out of control. Well, the one thing... That's just my opinion. ...is Troy is an honest guy. And hook or crook, he's going to tell you what's on his mind. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did. That's what he continues to do. And don't let, you know, some people not liking what you're saying... Change that about you, Troy Kwan. No, absolutely not. You wouldn't. Um, speaking of Julia and the girls, okay. we can't forget. Yeah, Eric. No, I, I didn't know you were going to move on. I was going to say we debuted some new production from uh, about Troy today too. You did? Yeah, during uh, one of the breaks, Troy the angry uh, phone screener. Do you want to play it again? Sure. If All you right. Hear it. Here it is. This is Troy the angry phone screener. I guess it's uh, a new phone promo. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi there, this is Troy, phone screener for the Opie and Anthony Show, here to help you with a helpful tip. When calling into the radio show, it's a good idea that you turn your radio down. Oh, and hey, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, make sure Opie knows he don't know shit from shit. Turn your radio down. What? I can't hear you. Am I on the air? Hey, asshole! Am I live right now? Hey, turn your radio down! Hey, you! Turn your radio down! All right, thanks, man. Punch it out. See? Wasn't that easy. It gets you on the air faster, and it makes you a better caller. Oh, and if you want to call the show, just look down at your radio. Yeah, right there. Take your eyes off the road and look down. See the number? Just call 866-WOW-1-WOW. That's 866-969-1969. Thank you, and have a nice day. That is very well done. Very well yeah, done. Good. And, uh, and uh, almost... Uh, biographical. Yeah, I, I mean, those lot, are, I mean, a lot of credit has to go to Diva. He put that together. But, but the feeling behind it are your true feelings. Now, the only thing I would have added is at the end, if I could, like, getting the vibe of this and your sentiment in it is mentioning something about when you said, "Take your eyes off the road, look down at the radio." Maybe mentioning something about hoping that they get into some kind of car accident or. No, I don't want them to get into an accident. I just want them to st to structure their call well. Are they? Are you telling me there's nobody that's called up this show that you would like to get into a car accident? No, there. Yes, there are. Okay, yeah, that's but, what I'm but saying. It's, but it's not a majority. But it's a very vocal minority. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, maybe throwing something like that in, like some kind of like murderous sort of angle to it. I don't know. You know, I'm not behind this promo, but yeah. A little history too. Troy and I went to Wendy's on Friday. Yeah. Number one and number two to try their new buffalo dip sandwich. What's the buffalo dip? First of all, that's not trivia. That's just what you did for lunch. I, I mean, it doesn't even. It doesn't even. It doesn't even correlate to what we were talking about. But now that we've moved on to sandwiches, tell me about this buffalo chicken. We were the first two people to order. I, what is uh, it? Is they get the chicken sandwich they dip in buffalo sauce, and the woman goes, "It doesn't exist." And they point at the big picture that's behind her. That sounds... It was brand new. Unbelievable. Well, do you remember the little chicken tenders that they had that were buffalo chicken and then they also had the barbecue? buffalo wings. Yeah, you love those. Loved them. Well, now they have the sandwich. I love hot sauce. Dude, it's awesome. It's good. It's, it's not good. as good as the Asiago. Yeah, but it's, it's Asiago. Good. Whatever. Um, But that's the one... I don't eat sauces. Just like hot sauce, wing sauce. Not Tabasco. I'll, I can handle Tabasco, whatever. Hot sauce, like buffalo sauce. And so that's... That's a sandwich. I'll ask for mayo on the side, but it's just a crispy chicken sandwich with, with uh, blue cheese. Uh, oh, we lettuce. got it. no blue cheese. You just order without it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's no problem. Yeah, and then Troy made the, his sweet talk, and he had more chocolate. Yeah, well, we go down there, and we were really nice to the Wendy's workers. And this is one thing about fast food because everybody just treats them like shit. Yeah. So if you actually treat them like a human being, and you keep going back, they will well, hook you up with shit. If you, I got, if I you got go extra caramel because of Troy. Troy goes. A little more squeeze, and it goes, ee, 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 squeeze, squeeze. But you go beyond treating them like human beings. Where Troy, I mean, let's be honest, because it's an honest show. You and I go down to Wendy's and flirt with the servers. Well, does it not get us free shit? I mean, we've gotten more free frosties than I can count on one hand. And we get discounts. <laughs> we get discounts. Yeah, exactly. She goes, no, you get the discount, and it pays off, doesn't it? She goes, eight twelve. Oh wait, I didn't put the discount in. Seven sixty four. Exactly. And I go, yes. Exactly. Yes. That's what I need in this life. You just treat them like human beings. 
human beings that you kind of want to nail. Give them that impression. Well, give them that. Not to say that we do, <clears throat> but give them that impression. Women don't do that to men all the time. That's true. To get what they want, flaunt their shit. Exactly. If, if you'd be like, look. What's up, baby? Yeah. Can I get a chicken sandwich? Yeah. By the way, you're looking fine. The Troy goes, are you new? Because, he has, because you're, they add to one of the sexy ones or something. <laughs> no, you know what Troy does? What his strategy is? He goes like this. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name's Troy. I just, I'm, I'm going to order a chicken sandwich, but first I got to go take a shit. <laughs> and then he comes back and he gets whatever he wants for practically for free. Yeah. It's an amazing thing. Um, let's play a bit real quick. It's short. Don't worry, Roland. I what? know you don't like when we go to clips. What? Eric, you're not a fan either? Amazing. Well, because I was just, I found it inspiring uh, when we had uh, the girl in here uh, from Penthouse, uh, her articles in the new Penthouse magazine, The, Wim, the Wing Woman, uh, Bob Kelly farted with Amy Schumer here. Bob Kelly here. Opie, of course, is on vacation. But, uh, and it just, the whole room, I guess, reeked. It didn't hit me because I was under a vent and next to Bob, which I was lucky. But the whole room was horrible. And it just reminded me that that was certainly not the most famous fart in Opie and Anthony history. Oh. Eric, I think you know where I'm going with this, don't you, buddy? Yeah, hang on. That's because you got your head on straight. It wasn't the most famous uh, fart. Jim Nor and you know, we were just talking about farts with Julia, too. It's a very fart-oriented Monday today on the Opie and Anthony show and here on After Opie and Anthony Live because Jim Norton holds the prize for most famous fart in the history of the Opie and Anthony show. Um... Eric, should we just, uh, is this, is, is, is this self-explanatory enough that we could just go for it? Yeah, just let him hear it. Here it is on After Opie and Anthony Live. Opie and Anthony's, the Opie and Anthony Show's most famous fart. After Opie Live. Hey, we got, uh, Anthony, Anthony answering Jimmy's, uh, fart. Can we say fart? Um, I think you can use the word. You I just, don't know. We're you still learning this. You, 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 you can't use it in some kind of context. All right. And we made a TV edit here, Danny? All right, what words did we have to bleep out of this for this side of the audience? We understand we have to bleep out. This pisses off the XM Nation. But, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that are hearing this part of the show, so we feel like it's worth replaying from yesterday. Uh, you want me to tell you what was what was bleeped? Well, well hint to it. Into it so see, let's not. see how good you are at terrestrial well, radio. Go yes. ahead, well, go ahead, Danny. We bleeped A-H, right? Yes. We could say that. That, that yeah. was... Uh, people the, can figure that out. The F had to go. Uh, and F had to go. And, uh, yeah, well. I'll say P. P. Mm -hmm. P. What's the second like letter? An excretory P. You, oh, okay. It, like, that uh, probably got dumped. <laughs> oh, really? No. I probably described it too much. That probably oh, got because dumped the because word. it's the word. It's not just the first letter. <laughs> It's the word yeah, itself. It's, <laughs> it's like being angry. <laughs> you might as well have just said the word. Yeah. All right, well. Well, they dump this tinkle. <laughs> Can you say that? The word tinkle? It's such a silly word. It's so harmless. All right, so we got the TV edit. Uh, yesterday, the setup, before we go to break here, um, we were talking about smoothies and stuff. I think I maybe the good. setup is on this a little bit. No, it, it starts with uh, you wanting to go to break. Okay, so, so then we we were getting ready to go to break, and we hear this uh, what sounded like someone going, mm hmm, mm hmm, agreeing. agreeing. Someone agreed with me when I said my smoothie was warm. Right, and you hear mm hmm in the background. Yeah. I turned to my left. I thought it was Z Rock, and I started getting confused. I didn't say a word, thank God. And uh, Anthony uh, pretty much uh, put his foot in his mouth. Oh, I certainly did. And he wanted an answer. He wanted to know who was talking. To him. Little did I know, it was Jimmy's little hairless white backside. I got, I got scared. <laughs> so here it is from yesterday with the TV edit because we got to play it over here today. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a break, I guess. No! Why not? I don't want to take a break. I don't have to. That huh? smoothie, by the way, was lukewarm. What? I thought I heard, mm hmm. Who said that? <laughs> Did someone say something? Do you know? I, you sw that? I swear to God, I got a gasser and it went. <laughs> your ass talked to me. Yeah, no, you <laughs> totally answered it. I answered your what? ass. What'd you say? <laughs> I answered Jimmy's tiny. It went, <laughs> <laughs> That's the TV edit. But we love TV edits. TV edit where you add the word in. Right. Oh, is that You horrid. sound so paranoid, like, am I hearing voices? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Uh -huh. Talk to me. 
Answer me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I went. Mm-hmm. After opening live, Jimmy is talking fart here on the After Opening Anthony live show. That also led to a production piece uh, called the Ass Whisperer. It's just that amazing. We used to play a lot. Oh, yeah. I, I can't believe that Anthony actually responded. There'll never be a more famous fart than the one that Anthony spoke back to. <laughs> It's really? like, uh, what? Huh? I don't want to spoil, wow, well, never mind, I was going to mention something about the new Planet of the Apes movie. Did you see the new Planet of the Apes? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, then forget it. Uh, we have time, do you want to hear Ass Whisper or no? Um, how long is it? It's one minute. Yeah, play that while, Travis, if you're in the office, I would love to get an update on how the Bobo contest is going, because I know Travis is checking all the emails from the ladies. How's the pictures of the ladies? And that's what I would like to know. So if, all right, uh, we'll play this while Travis... If Travis is in there, please... Yeah, he's coming down. Play yeah. that! For some patients, the ability to communicate is not an option. Weird, Look over and be like some 80-year-old woman with her legs spread. But one man is about to change their lives forever. Did someone say something? For the terminally ill who live in darkness. What the fuck is that? Dr. Anthony Cumia <laughs> who said that? Has found a way to bring light to their remaining days on Earth. Your ass talk to me. <laughs> Using a rare gift he never knew he had. Oh my God, what have I done? He'll learn to love those he never knew existed. I think I know what you're going for. You're going for sexy, you're coming off as whiny. O&A Pictures. What a hot voice that is. And depends on their garments. I love it! Present a true story. You're an ass. Of one man's inability to distinguish a voice from a fart. You're talking out your ass. The Ass Whisperer. Coming soon. Oh, stop it! To the Opie and Anthony Show. I mean, it's got production pieces after it. It's got to be the most famous fart of all time. Uh, the fart, of course, that Anthony spoke back to Travis. Now tell me, mm. the Bobo dating game, everybody has to get their entrance, entries, the entrants have to get their entries in by this Friday. Noon. Noon on Friday. Eastern. So not Eastern time. So if you're on the West Coast, guess what? You got a 9 a.m. cutoff. And that's it. And the flight to book. <laughs> <laughs> and a flight to book. Yeah, that's a good point, Roman. <laughs> if we pick you, because we're only going to pick three finalists. I was at this wrestling show that I brought up with E-Rock. I guess we got sidetracked. This is what I, why I brought it up. Because uh, one of the guys there was a fan of the show. And one of the female wrestlers, who was a good-looking girl, her boyfriend was trying to uh, convince her, the well, fan I don't of the think show, a good job. To, to enter into this contest. And I tried to tell her it's a thousand dollars. How is the entrance going? You remember how many we had on Friday? Slow, slow moving now. Well, we haven't had any more entries. Listen, ladies, let me talk. To I you. don't understand. It's a thousand dollars to go to lunch with Bobo. I would go to lunch with Bobo for yeah. free. Of course. Not only is it a thousand. Where you can go to lunch at, like barbecue place, Ted Turner's. We're uh, we're we're shifting towards Dave and Buster's. Uh, and let me tell you something. You, we like what thousand we'll, dollars for their entrees. Well, here's what we'll, for, this is a great thing, ladies. It's a free lunch too. We'll pay for lunch, and Dave and Buster's has those deals where you get an entree and a game card. <laughs> so if you order that, we're paying for your games too. And this is what I would do if I were you, ladies. You go to Dave and Buster's. You got to play some games too. You get Bobo since he's the guy on the date to pay for your games, like to pay to put the tickets on the card for you. That way, you walk home with a prize, get Bobo to spend some money, free lunch, a thousand dollars, and a chance to be a star on the Opie and Anthony show. And memories. And memories. You know I mean, they have a Dave and Buster's that I think Bobo and his dream date should do. They right. have uh, one of those picture booths where where oh. they combine your picture into <laughs> yeah. like what, what what your baby would look that like. That is so perfect. <laughs> And oh. we'll pay for it. And they have the Philly cheesesteak rolls. Oh, those are great. And the Philly cheesesteak rolls. This is what I'm saying, ladies. Like, let me tell you something. To all the women out there. It will get to the point where I, I'm the chaperone on this date, okay? I'm going to have something to eat, okay? Some, part of that lunch budget is my lunch. You'll definitely have lunch, whatever you want on the menu. Then, depending on how much money is left over, if there's not much money left over, we're going to use the money to pay for your games and Boba will go hungry. Because uh, Bobo and Anya wanted to get some oh, lunch. lunch. So does the lunch come out of the thousand dollars? No, no, no. This no, is what no. I'm trying to say. We have a separate lunch budget. Oh, the thousand dollars budget twenty bucks. <laughs> no, it's a it's no, plenty. It's good. Yeah, Ooh. the the thousand dollars is is yours. That's prize money. You win the contest. You get the thousand dollars. You get you go to lunch with Bobo. The lunch budget is set up so that 
You don't even have to think about it. And let me tell you. Unlimited drinks? If you want something that's not on the lunch budget, I'll pay for it and then have it expensed. Yeah. So Rob Cross will pay for it, okay? That's well, what, what happens if the girl's like a lush and she wants to drink a lot? Well, we'll probably limit the amount of alcohol just for the fact that if she has boo. alcohol poisoning. Boo. <laughs> but we're responsible for what goes on, and it'll be 1130 in the morning. So we're probably not going to – but you're not going to need alcohol. You're going to have all the entertainment of being on a Dave & Buster's lunch date with Daniel Bobo Curlin. So it's like and, – and we don't have that many entries. Some of the entrants that we've gotten are very good-looking women. Yeah. But that's not the only criteria. If you you have to if you write a compelling paragraph about why you should win and and you're th you're gonna beat Lady Trucker, that's for damn sure. And looks, that's that's not gonna win this competition. No, no, because you, just to be a finalist, we judge and we judge on our own criteria, which is a, a multitude of things. And then once you get here. You just have to tell a story about yourself that's memorable enough for Bobo to remember. If you're the ugliest girl here, but the story you tell is the simplest and Bobo remembers, you win the date, you win the $1,000, you win it all. So, I mean, this is what I'm saying. Can Eric go? Because he has like 100,000 points on those cards. We'll buses. take Eric's card. We'll steal it from him. I really hope it's a pig and she lets him put it in. You like that? Yeah. Bobo deserves it. I want to see Bobo get laid. And that's up to you. I mean, in terms of letting... Like, you want to watch? <laughs> I mean, you who would. wouldn't want to watch that? I would That's watch. just That's like a, a fucking train wreck. Hey, you don't have to let Bobo, quote unquote, get it in. If you choose to after the date, that's up to you. We're right. not going to tell you to or not to. But well, what, I, what I am saying is you don't have to touch the guy. You don't have to. You can if you want. You don't have to touch the guy. You, you should talk to him, but it's fun to talk to Bobo. <laughs> we do it all the time. You go to Dave & Buster's. You get free lunch. You get $1,000. If you want to enter the contest... If things work well, go to movies next door. That's right. If you, you could go to a movie, and Bobo will pay. If you want to enter the contest, go to SiriusXM.com slash The Virus, yes. and there's a thing you can click on, you, or, or just email us your picture and 500 or so. It doesn't have to be 500 or less. 500 or less words to Opie Anthony at SiriusXM.com. Yeah, we have a banner. Uh, a Bobo banner on the on the <laughs> virus great. page. Have you seen it? No. It's great. It's got a nice picture of him. Troy, you want to pop it up? I got to check it. Can we print that on a t-shirt and make Bobo wear that now, shirt? Of course we can do that. We could do picture. it all. But seriously, if you're a female fan of the show, and I know you're out there because I see you. Julia should. Enter. It's like any female that would enter to be on Couch of Zilches <laughs> should enter this. Because this is like being on Couch of Zilches, except you get to be part of a bit and you get $1,000. This is better than Couch of Zilches. If you're a female who would enter Couch of Zilches, you should be entering this because this is way better than couch of zilches scroll up a little bit troy let me see that that's hilarious you got to go SiriusXM.com slash the virus look at the banner click it and enter the contest roland troy's in charge of reminding me about the story that you were going to tell on the air that didn't get to about the concert we'll do it all tomorrow when opie and anthony and after opie and anthony live continue stay tuned ron and fez are coming up next <laughs> Anthony show is now over for real this time. Check out the ONA show on Facebook at facebook.com slash OP and Anthony and catch OP and Anthony live Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern. Ron and Fez are next. Hey. On the